if you ever feel like it's all so jover, just come over, hop into the stream at twitch.tv slash Hasanabi. Live almost every day from sunny West LA, I'll cover daily news. So tune in now, see what I have to say. Blast off, blast off. If you're unhinged, prepare to take a week of Hassan, Hassan. I swear to God, Allah, please end this long pause. <laughs> Boss makes a dollar. why I watch the stream when I'm on company time. Boss makes a dollar and I only make a dime. That's why I watch the stream when I'm on company time like now. I'm probably in the chat right now. How unhinged can one chatter get? Don't ban him, on there are new pets. Show me the light and set me free from this black pill reality. Can I find hope? Can I debate for this top of the hour break? Boss makes a dollar and I only make a dime. That's why I watch the stream when I'm on company time. Boss makes a dollar and I only make a dime. That's why I watch the stream when I'm on company time like now. Podcast coming to you live from yet another beautiful sunny day here in California, Los Angeles, ladies and gentlemen, I'm, and the boys, girls, and MBs. I'm live and alive, and I hope you're all having a fantastic one. It is 57 degrees and sunny here, partially sunny here in California, Los Angeles. We've been able to avoid the the um, what is it like, the river that happens up there whatever the hell it's called i forget what it is like the arctic river flow river cloud whatever um so far the atmospheric river yep that's right it's coming it's coming soon though okay so far so good though um bro is next door what does that mean um oh you can't hear me because uh, the music was so loud okay the atmospheric river um oppenheimer looking ass what Anyway, folks, I'm live and alive, and I hope everyone's having a wonderful one. Um, this is this is it. This is the part of the broadcast where I tell you a little bit about my personal news, about my goon sessions, about what's going on in the world of Hassan Hasanabi Piker. And let me tell you, not much is happening in the world of Hassan Hasanabi Piker beyond the fact that I started going back to my old stomping grounds. I went to Equinox. I've been working out with some buddies at Equinox 
gooning. You know what I mean? Just gooning, dude. That's what I like to call working out. Honestly, I'm goon maxing. Only part of the problem, of course, is that uh, that when I'm goon maxing, like obviously I, I leave Kai behind. So she stays at home. And that's it. So she gets a little gnarly and let me tell you okay we'll talk about vision pro casey nice that all that stuff in a second um that's why she's sad well she should be sad you want to know why she should be sad because she pooped in the house chat this is the second this is the second time where uh, she's pooped in the house. She just poops in the in the bathroom, which is like not as bad. It's like easy to clean up, but like it's crazy. I left her, I left her in the house alone for like three hours. That's nuts that she's just like she poops in the shower. She deserves a cheat day. Come on. Fuck no. No, that's bad behavior. You guys are literally the worst. <laughs> you are such bad. You are such bad dog parents. It's not even funny. Uh, I have to nip that shit in the bud. I'm going to be honest with you. This pregnancy stuff is like kind of um, kind of killing the vibes a little bit. So I need to figure that out. Horrible dog parent, but great dog uncle. Yeah. Accidents happen. Fuck no. No, this is the second one. This is the second instance where she's like pooped in the same spot. And I need to fix it. I need to figure it out. And I need to make sure that this never happens again. She's not actually pregnant. She's just fake pregnant. She's a uh, pseudo pregnant. Her hormones think she's pregnant. And she's like losing a lot of the. Um, she's like losing a lot of hair, which kind of sucks. I don't know. It just like hurts my fifis. Turkish food review later. Your tweet. Wait, what? Yeah, we're going to do that. Anyway, other than that, um, Better Call Saul season six is going slow, slower than I expected. People said that like Better Call Saul actually kind of like slows down a lot and it's not as good in the later seasons. And I didn't feel that way until I got to season six. It's honestly a little bit too, too slow don't rub her nose in it that just gives draw dogs trauma for life first of all i didn't do that but if good if it does make it traumatic for her then then good she'll never poop in the fucking shower again um i did not do it but it's definitely a little bit slower anyway um did you drop the Lolo drop? Lolo gave me exclusively his drop beforehand. <sighs> anyway, 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 anyway. Um, yeah, no, there's no way to like the only time where you can be loud and aggro with a dog is if you catch him in the act. Okay, that's it. If you catch him in the act, then you can actually punish. Um, but if you do it afterwards and like you fucking rub their nose in it, like they usually don't understand it. They don't, they have like a five second period of like immediately going action reaction. That's it. If you catch her shitting or pissing in the house where she's not supposed to, that's the only, that's the only time when you can like yell and be like, ah, ah don't do that. Hey, 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 that kind of thing. But outside of that time frame, how do you clean a shit in the shower? It's fine. You just pick it up. What do you mean? You pick it up and you you bleach it like you normally would anywhere else. It's if anything, it's like a better spot to do it in because then it's like, no, you don't waffle stomp it down the drain, you gross weirdos. Stop even joking about that. That is so nasty. Um anyway, it hadn't encrusted. No, because it was like a three hour time frame, and this bitch didn't want to fucking wait. Anyway, um, How often will she get fake pregnant? Never again, because uh, I'm going to get her obviously snipped up like before the second time she has her period. I don't want her to, I don't want this to be a thing, okay? 
anyway um it's saturday fun day uh but yeah as far as uh, why i'm late um i went to a place I, I i went to equinox i had a i had a girl's day you know what i mean uh hung out with the hung out with a buddy of mine did some squatting at a gym that has like all the weights and is indoors and where i don't have to like brave the elements while working out which is definitely a very unique experience for me because i've been like going to the same uh, outdoor gym with my trainers for the past uh for the past two years now so it's sick and uh yeah i did uh i did some squatting i did some box jumps some reverse lunges pretty good overall a little bit of accessory work on top of that um three hundred dollars a month ass gym yeah but it's so clean no but i'm going for free currently okay and can you curl kai it yes easily but i'm going for free what happened to the trainer's gym uh they're not here because uh one of my one of my trainers is, is uh he just he what is it called he just like proposed to his uh girlfriend so they were they're gone for like a week and a half or two weeks She thinks she is, dude. There's no, she has no way of knowing she's not. The fact that she's going to the shower where it's nice and safe and enclosed might be her trying to pick the territory for a nest for her fake litter. When humans have pseudo seas, they get a belly and everything. It's not like a pregnancy, but it's different than a fetus. Yeah, listen, I don't care. That's number one. And number two, nesting is very different than shitting. Why would she shit in her nest? If anything, it's the exact opposite place where she would be shitting. Stop having a fucking parasocial relationship with my motherfucking dog okay that's crazy animal expert here when are your bathtub pigs dropping i've posted from the bathtub by the way yeah i want to point out something here bad bunny stop fucking stealing my steez okay i can't believe it i can't believe that this is what i saw this morning i i, I saw this i was like come on dude like that's that's bullshit that's actually bullshit that's my shit i'm tub max and this guy comes in and he's like way sicker, way cooler, way hotter. Okay. And he just goes in and, and um, you know, makes it his thing now. It sucks. That's like literally, yeah, my camera angle and everything. But, um, That was frustrating. Anyway, yeah, but I went to Equinox, I worked out, and then my friend was like, bro, we gotta go to this place called Community Goods. Okay? And I'm like, what the hell is Community Goods? He's like, dude, you don't know about Community Goods? And I was like, no, I don't know about Community Goods. He's like, well, this is like a place that's really popping right now. It's like a TikTok place for coffee, and the coffee's really good. And at first I was like, um, at first i was like i don't know anything i mean i'm sure is it good apparently it's like justin bieber's like a secret owner of it and he took a photo and it went viral or he like took a TikTok and it went viral right so now all the zoomers go there all the zoomers go there five seconds coffee let me tell you something okay i'm gonna give you guys my opinion on this place it's a phony first type place yeah <clears throat> Okay, so do the burritos make you the burritos? Do the baristas make you suck the lot latte off their cocks like other TikTok joints? No, it's not like a TikTok joint like that. It's like a TikTok joint where it's like how do I describe it? It's one of those places where they do actually they where they do actually have like decent, like really good coffee, actually. I will say this much. I only had the, uh, dude, LA's so fat, uh, so whack. The fact that Erewhon is so expensive for a smoothie. Why would you ever get a smoothie at Erewhon? That's your fault. You went in, dude, it's like going into the Equinox sauna in West Hollywood and not sucking a cock. You're there to suck cock. Okay. You can't be like, wow, why are there dicks out here uh, expecting to be sucked? Like you can't go into an Erewhon 
and get a smoothie and be like, oh, it's so expensive. Like, bitch, you knew what the price point was. Why are you going to Erewhon even at all? Okay. Erewhon is like quite, Erewhon is quite literally known for being the expensive Whole Foods. Okay. If you were like, oh man, Whole Foods is not expensive enough for me. Let me go into... <laughs> let me let me up the ante a little bit. Let me just like take a loan out so that I can purchase a goddamn smoothie. Anyway, um Um but yeah. Jenna We'll be in the building later to taste, test Turkish food and review it. Dude, okay, man, I can't make jokes about like, like gay shit at Equinox if you take it super seriously and you, you just st keep going on it, okay? Like, stop making it weird, all right? Like I can, I'm making a joke. You're literally like going very serious about it. And it's making me a little uncomfortable. Okay. Just let me, let me joke about it without you seriously losing it a little bit. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to visualize you fucking typing that with one hand and cranking on the other fantasizing about me having like a gay sex experience or some shit. Be fucking normal. Jesus Christ, dude. Anyway. Like, there's a difference. There's a difference between, like, me being fucking LGBT. This is being that LGBT friendly uh, broadcast and, like, uh, being uh, fine with, like, a level of objectification versus, like, you actually openly being horny, like, to that degree. Okay. And by the way, this is not even like a LGBT faux meme or anything. I, there are girls in here that do the same shit. And it's like, when it gets too out of hand, we ban them. Huh. Okay. Um, Saturday fun day, mandatory fun. No politics. Generally, Mary will be in the building later to taste test Turkish food and review it. Uh, get in now. Hogwatch fun reacts and meme review. So, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Anyway, um, least gross host Twitter account. Yes, yes. I took all your blast off memes and I used them. Okay, so anyway, after the gym. After the after the gym. So we go to this like uh, community good space, okay? And and it, the line is insane. Okay? It is just like a regular old kind of cool looking kind of hipster coffee spot. Okay. With like limited, with limited space, by the way, here, blast off. Uh, I'm live and I'm alive. Let the people know. Let's welcome. Obviously, in easy on take to go over there. Yo, Kair. Take to this in easy on. Many easy on. Bisuri Turk var. Eskiden daha fazla Turk izliyordu. Şimdi daha az izliyor ama. Var burada bir sürü Türk. Um. Yeah, Apple Vision Pro memes are are out of control and it's really bad and we'll do that. Uh, anyway, ben varım kardeş, ben varım. Eyvallah. It looks like every coffee shop in Vancouver. Dude, the thing is, the coffee's actually really good. So, my buddy got a uh a espresso tonic is what it's called. Okay? And it was actually it was actually really tasty. Like I, I was shocked. Okay. I was shocked to see how tasty it was. 
all things considered um i just got the regular cold brew because personally you know that's my steez that's what i vibe with and i already know like where i already know where i can get the best cold brew from in los angeles like what i like all the stuff right so for that reason i'm very picky i was like these guys don't know it yet but we ordered ahead of time so we didn't actually have to we ordered ahead of time so we didn't actually have to wait in this like incredible incredible what is this when you thought you had a tinier hat but hassan piker exists That's funny. Okay. God damn it. That's a good, that's a good ass meme bomb left. That's just fucking funny. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I wear tiny hats, whatever, dude. Okay. What is that hat though? It's just a regular beanie that I, you know, double tucked instead of single tucked. It's just how it is. Are you going to get a vision pro? No, even for the memes, I feel like it's disrespectful to go and get one of those things. I just, I kind of hate it. But, um, God damn it. The point I was trying to make is this. The coffee is excellent. Is it worth the incredible, like probably two hour line that you have to sit there through, uh, which is, I feel like a ritualistic humiliation exercise like a humiliation ritual in my opinion um what is she biting she's really chewing on her thumb you having a good time over there kaya what are you doing you chewing on your leg a little leg chew huh you know you've been bad she knows she's been bad anyway um, but yeah, no, the coffee is really good. So, um, don't order. I mean, even if you order ahead of time, it's like impossible to get inside of it. It's like really, really shitty. Like the line was really shitty, but to be fair, we did go at like 11 AM on a Saturday. So I feel like that's peak. You know what I mean? What was the price point bestie? I don't know. I didn't buy it. My friend did. But when I was there, I'm like, okay, so this is a hype ass place, right? This is one of the lamest things, but it's a hype ass place. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like open. I'm gonna be open and honest with you guys, okay? It's this hype ass place that we went to with my friend. And normally when I go out in public, like a lot of people will be like, oh my god, Hassan, I recognize you. Whatever, like they come up, right? You guys are all over the place, Hassan Abi heads. But I was like, damn, I've been, I'm no longer with it with the culture, okay? Because like, I'm no longer with the culture because like no one here is a Hassan Abi head. Like none in my fan base is like any, uh, anywhere near this hype shit. Normally they would be. And then while we were on the way out, some people did uh, get really excited. So I was like, all right, never mind. We're still with it. We're still with it. We're still, we still got it. We're still hype. Okay. We're still hype. We still. There are still Hassan Abbey heads out there that are just like, they know what the fuck is good. Um, uh, including shouts out to Francisco, uh, the barber whose uh, barber shop I parked my car outside of. He got real stoked. He was in the middle of cutting someone's hair and he came out and he's like, started talking to me about my hair. I don't know if he's in the chat right now or not, but <laughs> he's like, so what's up? You, is it working for you? The, the hair routine? I see you all the time. And I was like, damn, dude, like, fuck. Why are you calling me out in front of my friend? Like, <laughs> like yeah i forgot you like live around here we'll never see us on in utah one day what is this cod is recruiting in game now I, no way no way why do so many people hate you on twitter sag because they're on twitter dog the fuck do you mean it's like Twitter at this point is basically Twitter at this point is basically like asking the question, why do people hate you on 4chan? 
Okay. It's no different than asking that question. Why do so many people hate you on fortune? Well, cause they fucking suck. <laughs> They're insane. Twitter has always been um, a place that was uh, filled to the brim with like obviously anti-social people like constantly yelling, constantly chirping about shit, myself included. But now it's just like very, uh, very uh, Nazi like focused, I guess. Enough. I gotta give her a chew toy. There you go. Uh, come to Kansas City, please. No. I think people are genuinely just that we want to ride your dick. I uh, uh, probably not. Did the Turks really begin the industrial revolution? Apparently, yes. I didn't know this, and I still don't believe it but I want to believe it. I feel like this is a, uh, apparently a Turkish man invented the steam engine 200 years before the industrial revolution, but he only made it to spin donut. I'm just saying, I don't know if this is real or not, but I want to believe it. Especially because like donut is so valid. I feel like, I feel like donut is a better use than is a better use of like steam tech then is a better use for steam tech than like the industrial revolution which is lame you know what i mean like oh man sick we we did the industrial revolution like now we can you know mechanize our productive output and greatly uh just greatly destroy society uh from the framework of commodity production commodity consumption uh you know accelerated into capitalism including finance capitalism global finance capitalism neoliberalism uh and and imperialism instead of all that imagine if it just stayed at donat this is like the utopian this is the steampunk utopia i say return yes return and turn okay um, there were five car chases that went live last night in LA. It was crazy. It's not surprising. This is our only economy chat. This is the only economy that we have. Okay. Uh, will you be finally playing final fantasy seven rebirth demo dropping on the sixth? Um, I don't know. I could potentially, I could potentially do that. I've thought about it. I've thought about doing a final fantasy seven, like full blown run through and like not ending the stream until I finish it or some shit. But what is this? The woman never thought this would happen after helping this bear cub. Aw, she began quickly trying to help the cub. Don't bother, you won't finish it. The bear cub shows up to the woman's house with its family. Bro, what the hell? That's crazy. It's like the bear cub showing to the woman's house with the whole family is like, that's some gang shit. Okay. It's Jover for you. They came to murder you. Okay. Uh, run away. I say run away. I think this is fake. Still got the, still the cup filled a special bond and got the majority of their interactions. Green envy, not a good color on you. Okay, shut up. Yeah, why, why can't it be me? Why can't I, why can't I personally save a bear's life and then have 
the entire bear family be like, I love you. I think you're sick. You are the chillest. You're a chiller. I bet she gave those bears pizza and changed their brain chemistry. Probably not. Anyway, it's true. Everything on TikTok is fake. That is that is uh, fair. Um. Okay. No politics. We're gonna do Doctor Mike's house. Uh. In a second. How do you see the future of Syria? Will the situation get any better in the future? Bro, what does it say? What does it say? Look at the sign. It says no politics. Okay? It says no politics. Why do you think that that means I'm going to talk about literally the absolute worst version of politics, which is like the never-ending conflict in Syria? Okay? You think... Like, just shoot me with a gun. Like, come to my house and shoot me directly in the head with a fucking gun instead of that okay that would be a more valuable use of both of our times than me and i and i'm not even talking about like i'm not even talking about like oh uh saturday fun day no uh no politics day i'm talking any other fucking day of the week this is like an awful 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 use of either of our times anyway all right Does Miskit want to have sex with you? Yes. Politics frogs are like meth heads, dude. They're, they literally are just like, please give me a hit of crack. Please, I'm dying. My children are dying. Okay. Um, I don't think you understand how popular he is with normal Americans. Yeah, oh, yeah. I don't think like... <laughs> I don't think farm owners are normal Americans, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Love it. Nice. <laughs> it's so funny because like people on Twitter, people on Twitter do not represent normal America. And it's always like some dude with a some dude with an American flag who just like greatly misunderstands what normal America looks like. Okay, where it's always like the same dudes who are white supremacists on Twitter as well that say stuff like tacos have ruined American cuisine or some shit. And it's like, do you have you ever been to like rural America? What the fuck are you talking about? They love tacos there. Even the even the craziest like fascist dude. Okay, in the suburbs is still fucking with tacos. Ain't nobody's doing that. It's only the sweaty, gross nerds who, like, fantasize about what the real racists in, like, the heartland uh, uh, operate like. Like, everybody loves the shittiest tacos you've ever seen, okay? The notion... Yeah, white people love that shit. The notion that, like, racist white folk in, like, rural towns don't fuck with tacos and only eat white person's food is literally fantasized by, like, dipshits on 4chan who live in, like, Connecticut... And, and and think about like what heartland America and what real Americans are like. It's a gross misunderstanding of what real Americans are like, okay? Just like thinking that like a farm owner in Iowa is a normal American. No. You think Biden can do that? I don't think. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think. I don't think, I don't think <laughs> anyway. That's a brief intro into politics. Spiegel. I see you hiding down there. Okay, a what little bit of politics. Yada, yada, yada mean? I'm not familiar with the term, Senator. Very uncool. Can we agree that what you do, not what you say, what you do is what you believe and everything else is just cottage cheese. Yes, Senator. He's very cool. Pope is racist as fuck. Wait, what? Okay, well, you know, I thought he was woke. I guess he's not. You agree with that? Speak up. Don't be shy. Anyway, um,
Taylor Swift is recognized as an official envoy of the United States by its allies. This kind of foreign policy cachet will be critical as president. Statement from the Embassy of Japan on Taylor Swift's reported travel from Japan to the United States. Are you ready for it? What the frick? Is this for real? The, Jap the Japanese Embassy DC put out a mention? The Embassy of Japan... In the United States is aware of recent media reports concerning the steps Taylor Swift will need to take to travel from Tokyo after her concert on February 10th to Las Vegas in time to watch Kansas City Chiefs play in Super Bowl LV3 or whatever the fuck, whichever one it is. I don't know. I don't know Roman numerals. It's like that to that degree. So they need to chill out with this. They just write the number, man. 58. Just say 58. What is this LV3 bullshit? Okay. This is... This is America, goddammit. I don't need to know what 50 is, okay? I, I didn't need to know what L is, L is like 50. I didn't need to know that. Okay? This is not Rome. What are we doing here? Put the real normal numbers on. Okay? Despite the 12-hour flight and 17-hour time difference, the embassy can confidently speak now. What, what is that? Is that like a Taylor Swift reference? Are they doing a Taylor Swift reference? Is the Embassy of Japan in the United States of America making a Taylor Swift reference? Oh my god. To say that if she departs Tokyo in the evening after her concert, she should comfortably arrive in Las Vegas before the Super Bowl begins. We know that many people in Japan are excited to experience Taylor Swift's era's tour, so we wanted to confirm that anyone concerned can be fearless in knowing that this talented performer can wow Japanese audiences and still make it to the Las Vegas Super Bowl to... Support the Chiefs when they take the field for the Super Bowl wearing red. Okay. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Stop it. This is, uh, it's, it's overboard. It's, it's, uh, oh my God. This is too much. I, I fear, I fear we've lost the plot. Okay. It's too much. It's too much. Uh, I don't know what else to say other than the fact that no one man should have this level of power, okay? No one man or woman should have this level of power. This is, like, so insignificant. I, dude, this is, like, she's now officially recognized like a government envoy. That's insane. I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say about it other than let's move on. IDF reports to put a blank space in Gaza to celebrate Taylor. Wow. Um, do people that work in embassies actually do anything? Yeah. Spying. Um, every day. Ev every day that goes by, I, I feel like, uh, you know, I, I make jokes about the PSYOP thing. Obviously. But also, having said that, every year that goes by, it seems to me like we are getting closer and closer to a world in which, like, um, conservatives are not going to be all right. The more that, like, the more that Taylor Swift gets, like, recognition from different facets of government, the more Republicans, I think, are going to, like, get crazier and crazier. I feel like we've gotten to a point where... It's just like being a Republican is just about being the craziest person. Does that make sense? Where it's not about like being even an anti-vaxxer or, uh, or this or that. It's not about like voting for a particular set of uh, deregulations or I don't know. It's just not like. It's just straight up about being the most insane person. What do the Japanese know about apple pie and baseball, brother? Yeah, I mean, I think they know a lot about baseball, but... Hassan is jealous because he wants to be in Japan. This is true. I do want to be in Japan. It's like they want to go back to the 50s. No. I think that they don't have any sort of discernible set of standards and they just hate whatever they perceive is liberal and what they perceive as liberal is so malleable. It can be anything and everything. 
Okay, it can be good things. I mean, a lot of people have already talked about this. A lot of people have already brought this up, but the greatest example is like, you have white boy Travis Kelsey. You have white boy Travis Kelsey, who is a football player, you know, who is as American as apple pie, okay? Dating the, the blonde, blue-eyed, uh, beautiful country singer. And conservatives hate that. It's over. At that point, they literally are just like, whatever you think, whatever normal people think is like cool and fun, I'm against it. And I think the government has designed this to like break my brain and make me want to suck a penis. It just doesn't make any sense at this point. Like, like this is quite literally the most normal thing, okay? The relationship between Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey is like what normal people would appreciate and it would it's supposed to transcend ideological boundaries, but conservatives have basically uh, conservatives basically uh, recognize that like, oh no, it's just like the normal people like this, then fuck that. It's got to be bad for me. No, conservatives hate Taylor Swift because she doesn't like Trump. I know, but like what you fail to recognize, I guess, is that her, her position as a 34-year-old white lady is perfectly normal to be like, yeah, I kind of don't like Donald Trump. I'm, I think I'm a Democrat. I care about abortion. That is like a profoundly popular position and a very normal position to have. Okay. So like negatively polarizing yourself against that position makes you come across insane. Okay. This is such a no politics fun day. I'm sorry, but like Taylor Swift being a conservative psyop is not really politics. It's just, it has transcended the boundaries of politics. Like this moment itself, this moment itself is like supposed to be something that like conservatives fantasize about, right? Like, like the markers of this, the, the markers of this moment is like a beautiful conservative fantasy, supposedly. Hey, I'm going to enjoy with you guys over here. Big burly white quarterback, big burly white quarterback in a, uh, you know, relatively diverse sport is like seen as a dominant figure or not quarterback. Sorry. A tight end. Oh, fuck. Yes, yes, yes. Shut up. I quarterback is like the classic. That's why I said quarterback. I accidentally, I told you he's a tight end. Shut the fuck up. I know he's a tight end. I said he's a tight end earlier. I, I accidentally said quarterback is like, it's the meme. The meme is like the quarterback gets the girl. That's why. Okay. Calm down. None of you fucking care about sports. You're all gay as fuck. Okay. And women. You don't give a shit about sports. The only reason why you know he's a tight end is because Taylor Swift is dating him. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Don't even fucking start with me on this bullshit. The only fucking time you know a single fucking thing about sports and you're like, let me cram it down your fucking throat. I know. I know he's a tight end. We're not talking about Charlie X, Y, X or whatever the fuck. Okay. Stay in your goddamn lane. Don't act like you're fucking knowledgeable on this shit. Fuck. Anyway. Yeah, the point was, yeah, they post that fucking photo of like the quarterback kissing the cheerleader and they're like, well, oh, we got to return to this. And now they're mad at the same imagery. And my point is they're just mad at it because like the two people that are doing this are just unfortunately for them relatively normal. Okay. 
I think we have done too much. We have done way too much hogwash, in my opinion, that we have basically decided that, like, it's normal to be so severely anti-vax. It's not. It's very normal to go and get a vaccine, okay? Like, the idea that a, a quarterback got a, a big bag from Pfizer to promote the vaccines is normal. The notion that it's even a conversation that, like, a lot of people are, like, severely anti-vax. Did I say quarterback again? Fuck. Okay, tight end. Okay, I'm, I'm just going to keep saying he's a quarterback. I don't give a shit. Whatever. I know. Quarterback is stuck in my goddamn mind. We have already established that I know he's a tight end, I, but you can keep correcting me. I'm just going to say he's a quarterback now. Okay? The, the other reason why I keep saying quarterback is because the weirdo position is an actual quarterback with Aaron Rodgers being anti-vax. Like, he's not a normal person. <laughs> anyway. What's the difference? No, it's there's a big difference. Football is a sport where a lot of people uh football is a sport where all, all the dudes have helmets. So it's different than basketball in that sense where like um where it is uh like quarterbacks are oftentimes and wide receivers are oftentimes going to be like the more famous uh celebrity status uh, uh players. Rather than all five people having uh, uh, all five people running on a fucking basketball court uh, because of the the limitations of such a the limitations of like uh, running backs, wide receivers, depending on like how good they are, oftentimes those are uh, oftentimes like there's a there's a limitation to like the celebrity status of like all the football players because there's way more players in general. Um, Like you're not going to know a lot of, you're not going to know a lot of like linemen, for example. Right. I mean, they obviously play a genuinely important role and, uh, and, and, uh, you know, if you are, uh, if you're deeply invested in like fantasy football and shit or gambling, you're going to know, but example, Jason Kelsey is also a hall of fame player. No one knows him. I mean, now they know him. He played for the Eagles. Even I know that, but Like kickers are only known. Um, kick kickers are only known uh when they fail. I feel like, or if they have like a big hail mary. So, point is this. Point is this. Point is this. It's a big roster. Everybody has a helmet on. You don't normally uh you don't normally learn about a lot of these like. Um, a kick hail Mary. Like, I, I don't know what it's called. Like it's a fucking, Oh God, I don't care about sports. I don't care. I don't care. Suck my dick. All of you. Okay. Whatever sports ball shit. Who gives a fuck? You're lame. Okay. You are literally the same as a fucking annoying weeb who literally goes, ah, actually only on season five of Naruto. Did Orochimaru do that? You're wrong. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. Nobody fucking cares. Suck my dick. I'm going to keep talking about it and I'm going to be fucking wrong. God damn. I swear to God, dude. Sports nerds like fucking calm down. Nobody gives a fuck. Oh my God. It's literally like being overcorrective about Warhammer takes, but because it's so normalized in public to be this level of a fucking annoying nerd when it comes to sports that you just think that this is normal. Anyway. My point was... You listen to the NPR at the gym. How's that normal? 
The difference is I know I'm not normal. I know I'm fucking weird. Okay? I know I'm weird. But I'm not gonna fucking correct you on, on like, idiotic things that, that revolve around minutia for hobbies. Okay? Oh. I'm getting... I, I, you said something wrong. People corrected you. What's weird here? Oh, people are just like losing their minds over being like, ha ha, you said Hail Mary, a Hail Mary kick. That's not a kick. It's a pass. Okay, bro. It's sick. So. I fucking forgot the point I was going to make. God damn it. Um, but yeah, this is overall like a, this is supposed to be like a normal thing. It's normal to like football. Okay. It's normal to watch the Super Bowl. It's normal to care about celebrities. Like these are all normal things and conservatives because they don't have any discernible politics have decided that like if a superstar celebrity that every single person loves and admires to a degree that is almost abnormal for the most part, right. Is, is, is understandably like anti-trump or understandably pro-abortion and like abortion rights they end up negatively polarizing themselves against that sort of thing and make themselves look way 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 more abnormal okay all celeb worship is abnormal i mean i i agree i want to agree with you but the reality is, uh, with Taylor Swift, it's now become normal to worship her like a god. Um, FYI, Will gets just as pissed as sports fans too, and it's not just you being uninformed. The only time I've ever seen Will mauled is at other football fans. Yeah. It's because they're super opinionated and they get like really annoying. If you get, there's no charitability there. If you get something like a little wrong, they're like, you're stupid. You don't know anything about this. It's like, yeah, I don't. And I don't care. Anyway, um, like it, it doesn't matter. It's nonsensical. It's meaningless. Hilarious statement from a politics, Andy. I mean, politics at least is like a little bit more important than sports in the sense that like, Um, anyway, speaking of like the way people understand certain things, uh, certain things, I, I feel like I'm developing a speech impediment here. Um, speaking of people like misunderstanding certain concepts, like Shane Gillis. Okay. Shane Gillis is like the perfect representative of a dude who's like kind of chud coded, kind of like right wing coded, but has, you know, liberal politics for the most part. Okay. And now uh, all of the right wingers are like celebrating the Bud Light, uh, celebrating Bud Light's demise because everybody forgot about that, right? Everybody forgot about Bud Light, and and they just kind of dropped the uh, whole like, yeah, we're we hate Bud Light, like Bud Light is for queer people, they're queer in our children, just like they forgot about the Target uh, boycott, all this other shit. They don't have enough like attention span to keep up this sort of thing. Um. Anyway, they have decided that, uh, they have basically decided that Shane Gillis is like, definitely, definitely right wing. He's like a super huge right wing guy. And, uh, he says like pro conservative things says guy who doesn't understand like Fox news dad is a bit, you know what I mean? And so now they're celebrating Bud Light working with Shane Gillis because they're like, oh, they're trying to win it back. It's like, hey, man, I don't know if you know this, but Bud Light was always supporting right wing politicians, as I mentioned, OK, from the jump. Bud Light has never not given more money to right wing politicians than left wing politicians. You're fucking stupid. OK. That's number one. Number two. These people literally think, and I guess some rad libs also think, that 
if you, I don't know, say the R word or say ableist shit as a comedian, that you are a right winger automatically. The people that believe this are all of the right wingers who are desperate for any kind of representation from um, any kind of representation from Hollywood. And the other people who also believe this are, are basically uh, the, the rad libs that are like, oh my God. This person uh, said something that I don't agree with, which means like his entire world revolves around being a fascist. Okay. So. Huh. His jokes are, I mean, he has some like, uh, he has some takes that are touch and go. Um, they're definitely, they're definitely a little bit like season is the same shit with like Nick Mullen. Okay. Um, calling Shane Gillis right wing is hilarious. Like he's mocking you, dude. I know. It's like it's like looking at Stephen Colbert. It's like watching Stephen Colbert and being like, "Well, this guy definitely is like a right winger." Okay, early Stephen Colbert. The gayer the army, the scarier. Forever, dude. Throughout history, think of any army throughout history. Imagine them gay. Gay Nazis. Just when you thought those guys couldn't look any sharper, they. <laughs> Gay Vikings? Gay Vikings, dude. You're just some villager looking out on the shoreline. You see a bunch of Viking longships coming. You're like, oh no. It's the Vikings. They're gonna rape our wives and daughters. Then they pull up their fucking rainbow flag on their boat. And you're just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's way worse. Dudes with Down syndrome. That's such a, that like, thinking that this is, like, inherently a right-wing joke is so stupid. But, yeah, it's literally, you're right, ha, ha, Hassan is a bi, is correct. It's literally because Shane Gillis said one slur and got kicked off of SNL before making an appearance. You say one slur and all of a sudden you're a conservative. It's so odd. It's odd because, on the one hand, like, conservatives are voluntarily admitting that if you say slurs, you're automatically a conservative. Like, conservatism is about saying slurs, which is a position that I hold. It's I'm supposed to say that, and conservatives are supposed to say, that's not true. It's about free speech. No, motherfucker. They literally are like, no, dog, if you say a slur, okay, you're automatically a conservative. No, I've mentioned this a million times over, and he, I don't even think he, was it, was it that he, like, said a slur or was he, he was doing like and he was doing asian bits okay he was doing like classic he was doing classic like i'm trying to be like nick mullen ass shit early on in his career as did an entire genre of comedians okay and the the reality is when you're doing it on a podcast if it's not fucking funny if it's not funny it's awful and if it's awful you, you're towing like a very you're you're basically towing like a very fine line. If you go to that area, if you go to that area, if that's what your like bits are going to be around, you have to be really funny. If it's not funny, then it's racist. Okay. So uh, he was up for SNL, and they found like his old uh, or they found his like memes about uh, Asian people or whatever, and they were very upset. And uh, they uh, SNL dropped him before hiring him, which is fine. I mean, he has a lot of he had a lot of banger sketches. Um, you know, he had a lot of banger sketches before this and since then. So that's it. Can't speak about his other stuff, but as a developmentally and learning disabled person, some of Shane's bits about Down syndrome were actually pretty wholesome and really humanizing. Um, I I don't I don't even know his bits about Down syndrome. This is the first time I've heard it, but bow flag on their boat. You're just like, <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, that's way worse. Dudes with Down syndrome love women so much that like. I've never been a believer of being gay is a choice, 
but I will say, every dude I know that can't think fucking loves pussy. <laughs> but there's a lot of people that automatically will associate homosexuality with some kind of perversion for whatever unfortunate reason. Well, it's because the reason is because it's guys fucking each other in the butt. <laughs> Yeah, I love that he he saw this and was like, that's it. That's my guy. He must be a right winger. Oh, I think that there's something to be said. I think that there's something to be said. That, that's literally the same exact joke that I would make. Okay? There's something to be said about your brain on uh on extreme politics and by that i mean like you've just done too much politics okay you've done so much politics that uh you have no way of like discerning through context or nuance or uh, or if someone is trying to make a joke or not okay where you just automatically go oh he's like saying something that's anti-gay he can't be like being sarcastic can't be making like a like a a, a classic, a, a classic like yeah you're fucking a dude in the butt like classic is on looking at a good joke and taking credit for it. Wait, what? No, it's just like conservatives look at this and go, oh he's homophobic, he's homophobic. Okay, that means he must think like uh, butt sex is gross and disgusting. He's he's homophobic. That means he's with us. And Radlibs kind of do the same shit too, where they're like, oh, dude, this guy, comedian, 100% bad guy, bad guy. Okay. 100%. He's a bad guy. He must be right wing. I have categorized him as a right wing guy. But anyway, um, Shane Gillis bit about his uncle who has Down syndrome. I've always loved this bit. But I will say, I don't know if you can tell by looking at me, I do have family members with Down syndrome. <laughs> It almost got me up. I dodged it, but it nicked me. It nicked me. Bit of a daywalker myself. <laughs> it's funny when you bring up Down syndrome, you can always tell who's never been around it in their lives. You know what I mean? Like if I tell people, if I'm like, yeah, I have family members with Down syndrome, people that have never been around it are always like, oh. Like Down syndrome is the fucking end of the world. Like, oh. Are they okay? You're, are they doing okay? It's like, they're doing better than everybody I know. <laughs> they're the only dudes I know having a good time pretty consistently. Sorry they're not on fucking Adderall and anti-anxiety like the rest of us. They're on fucking Capri Suns. <laughs> having a good time. Dude, my Uncle Danny, my Uncle Danny sneaks grilled cheese sandwiches into restaurants just in case they don't serve grilled cheese sandwiches. <laughs> I don't know where he's getting these fucking things. It's the best. It's the best. You'll be out to dinner with him. You look across the table. You see him sneaking at grilled cheese. <laughs> yeah, yo, where'd you get that cheese, Danny? <laughs> His dad's with him. He's like, that fucker, he's been making him at night. I know he is. <laughs> I'm not making him at night, Dad. <laughs> and he'll look at you and be like, I'm making him at night. <laughs> <laughs> What's better than that, dude? What's better? What's better? What's better than Uncle Danny? Uncle Danny, three in the morning, shirtless, baggy gym shorts, huh. quietly, secretly in his parents' kitchen on a secret mission to make 10 grilled cheese sandwiches. Just Every day his dad comes down the steps like, where's the fucking bread going? He's <laughs> got eight sandwiches in a closet. Just... Yeah, for the record, this is what I always say. Anti Gonzo, you're absolutely correct. Turns out jokes about people are funny if you actually have experiences with them and you humanize them instead of being like, ha ha, lol, look at Down syndrome people. Aren't they weird? Okay, that's the whole point. That's what good comedians do. That's what they do. They, they, get a, they develop a decent understanding of something that is like uh, not uh, the norm in a sense, uh, considering that like we do have a very a relatively ableist society. And instead of punching up, you just like de you just develop a nuanced view and you break it down and you explain it in a funny way. Um, 
That's it. That's and it's great. It's uh, it's cool. But he's uh, you know, he he does definitely he does definitely have like bits that I would say are not my favorite. But it's so funny to be like, new no, Bud Light appears to be in desperation mode. Partners with right leaning comedian Shane Gillis, remarkable Gillis, who is polar opposite from D Dylan Mulvaney, is popular for his gay jokes and pro conservative takes. Gay Vikings, dude. You're like, oh no, it's the Vikings. They're going to rip our wives. And then they pull out their fucking rainbow flag on their boat. And you're just like, oh fuck. For the record, I think Shane Gillis is hilarious. So that's it. That's like, he, he, heard a bit and was like i made up my mind about his politics and i have decided that he is like funny as a consequence of him being ideologically my ally and and that's where we're at okay that's where we're at that it's just like it's ridiculous and and everybody does this literally everybody does this okay everyone does this same with Bill Burr, like, unless you just openly are just like, no, I'm a fucking socialist or some shit. Most people are just like making up their minds about what your politics are and only deciding uh, on whether or not they support you if you are ideologically, in their minds, their allies. Okay? It's like civil war without the violence. I mean, it's just like so stupid. It's so dumb. Um, and yeah, it, it, it's hilarious because like he literally talked about getting a Bud Light sponsorship during the Dylan Mulvaney shit as he also made fun of like all the people losing their minds over Dylan Mulvaney. You know what I mean? That's it. And now they've given him a sponsorship and now people are like, oh yeah, we own Bud Light so hard. They're working with like right wing uh, celebrities. Not realizing, not realizing that Bud Light has never stopped supporting right-wing causes, you dumb fuck. They never stopped genuinely giving money to right-wing politicians. That never stopped. It's so stupid. Anyway. <sighs> did uh, his, did Chad show you his Biden v. Yeah, Trump bit? I will say, I don't care if they arrest him. If he loses the primary, let him debate, dude. If he gets arrested, Hannibal Lecter him out to the fuck. Just, here's my idea. Final debate of the year. Have one Republican candidate, one Democrat. You're like, all right, fellas. Surprise third guest tonight. Fucking stone cold music. The glass shatters. He walks out. They're both gay. <laughs> I think it is actually important to see how the candidates handle that type of pressure of debating with Trump. Every debate. He dude, it's, this is like, this is a great bit. I can't believe they're like cutting it though. That. So much, so much of the, so much of the beauty is like stolen from it when you actually do the YouTuber jump cuts. <laughs> it's crazy. Would you take a Bud Light sponsorship? The Dom Tom, he keeps asking me, would you take a Bud Light sponsorship so much that he got fucking uh, Fossa bot clapped? Okay. Uh, probably not. I mean, I don't really give a shit. Um, but... The only sponsorship I care about is the top of the hour ad break, okay? And the subscriptions that come from all of you at the top of the hour because you don't want to see the top of the hour ad break. I do want a Mountain Dew sponsorship, though. I fuck with that heavy. I don't really listen to Bud Light. I don't really drink Bud Light, but I do absolutely. I do absolutely consume Diet Mountain Dews like there's no tomorrow. He just bullied whoever was up there. The only one who did pretty good in the debates against him was Biden, just because he had no fucking idea what was being said, <laughs> which actually helped him. That worked out for him. Because Trump's whole thing is he tries to get in the other guy's head. Can't get in Joe's head. <laughs> Joe's not in there. Good luck, dude. Biden is Trump's kryptonite in a debate. Trump tries to drag the other guy into like a shit-talking contest. He can't get Biden. He, every debate, he's trying so hard, and Biden's just... <laughs> he tries. He just... You're a loser. Your son did crack. Biden's just... What? <laughs> All right, damn, dude, that's actually a pretty good comeback. You might win this. Huh. Um. But, yeah, he's... I mean, look. The problem with... Uh, the problem with comedy and the way that we understand culture... This is the last thing I'm going to say on this issue. Um... After I run the three-minute ad break, by the way, which I forgot to 
I, I said it and I forgot to run it, but um, the three minute ad break is here. Um, the problem with the way that we understand comedy is that like we we forget that the the goal of a comedian is to try to make you laugh, okay? And in that pursuit, in that pursuit, they can say things that they don't even personally believe in, okay? They can say things that they don't believe in. Their job is to try and get you to laugh. And if something is funny or it gets a lot of laughs, then that's going to be a part of their routine, okay? And obviously, it's no holds barred. You can make a joke about anything. It's just that jokes that are uh, targeting, in my opinion, as someone who's a comedy enjoyer and someone who is otherwise considered, quote-unquote, woke, okay? From where I'm standing, the way I understand it is that if you are trying to bring out humor in a uh, otherwise marginalized group, there's definitely a lot of funny things you can joke about, right? However, it is a way more difficult endeavor. It is very lazy and very hacky to just like look at a marginalized group, even like people with Down syndrome, for example, and go, they're fucking weird, right? Like, look, that's weird. That's a hacky ass thing to do. It's infinitely... It's infinitely harder to draw the humanity of, a, of a, a group of individuals that are otherwise not seen as like fully human as a consequence of being marginalized, right? What is it? You literally do that all the time pretending to be a hog? And I'm doing racism. Fuck the Taliban and the Muslims, okay? Joe Biden is responsible for all the wars and all the bad things. We are, as Republicans are responsible for all the good things. Do you like a gun? You want this big fat fucking gun? Yeah, I'm gonna shoot fucking socialism with this gun. You should sh shoot socialists with this it's gun too. Right. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, I I love I love portraying myself as a hog. Hogs have so much fun, and uh, hog politics is great overall. Like, it's just fucking dope. But we know what Hassan believes in. Okay, but the point is, like, you don't... Just because you don't know what someone else believes in, or just because you think that they believe in, like, right-wing politics, like, shouldn't change the way you consume it, okay? Like, you need to look at the impact as well as the intent, I guess. Anyway, my point always is that uh, if, if you want to be a solid comedian, okay, you can touch those otherwise, like, very edgy subjects... But if you don't come at it from a point of like genuine understanding and and um and and humanity, then yeah, you're gonna come across like an asshole. And maybe some people will laugh because they are also assholes, but that's not gonna make a good bit. That's not going to be funny. That's it. Okay? That's it. That's all I'm saying. And I think Shane does a pretty good job with a lot of this uh Shane does a pretty good job with a lot of the subjects he covers, especially when it comes to, like, the Down Syndrome stuff that he's done. Um, Ricky Gervais is a great example of someone who never does that, who never can do that, okay? He has never spent even a, a, a moment of his life being relatively curious about someone who isn't just, like, a white dude, okay? And that's fucking boring. That's boring as hell. That's why I yell all the goddamn time about people. That's why I yell all the goddamn time about people in my community that are like, well, this guy's right wing. Don't watch him. And it's like, who cares? Who cares? Like, chill out. Okay, be normal. Ricky Gervais is the favorite comedian of all the most annoying Redditors. Yeah, I mean, he's made, like, decent stuff in the past. It's just um, we're way past that point at this uh, at this venture, at this juncture. Um, it's 
Some of his uh, jokes maybe don't come from a place of understanding, but that guy absolutely saw jokes that came from a place of understanding and went, that, this must be right wing. Yeah, that's what I, that's what's like really stupid about that. Um, I can't be the only one who, I don't know, likes to maybe hear the perspective of the other side of the mom, people too deep in. I mean, there's a difference, right? Like, obviously, we like to make jokes. We like to have fun and we like to make jokes and, and minimize the impact of of people who are uh genuinely reactionary but obviously there is a there's a line there like there's a difference between like i don't know making a couple jokes about like nazis or whatever versus like normalizing that kind of behavior there's nuance to it that's it don't be a socialism is when no joke type dude though because everybody likes to laugh and if you are are uh you know making you're you're making it your global mission to not have fun and not laugh then you're going to be an uh, unlikable person okay <sighs> yeah it's just like so, so many people have decided like being lame is my politics and i don't understand it um which is ironic because like that's what a lot of the reactionaries do as well all right so, uh, moving on from this, uh, let's laugh at, oh, Tekken 8, Kuma's Revenge. Okay. We'll, we'll do, we'll do the donkey video as well. We'll do a sequence of like, uh, react stuff because I got some, I got some beautiful ones. All right. He's literally Kaya. Yes, Kaya is in Tekken. You playing Tekken online soon? No, I'm worried. I heard that you get like DDoS if you play online trouble. when you're streaming. cheeks with kuma for eight minutes that's crazy that he made a video of just him literally that is wild that he just made a, an eight minute and 30 second video of him just beating ass cheeks with kuma online Fake fan, he's done this before. I mean, yeah, I, I, okay, I didn't know that he's done this. I'm not caught up on the fucking donkey lore. Is there anything else, or is it just this? Where's she, Hachi? Hey, Hachimishima is completely dead. <laughs> that bear hits hard, man. That bear hits fucking hard. Donkey's best games of 2023 here. Okay, All there you go. I'm doing these where almost every game on this list came out this year. That's how strong 2023 was for video games. Although like half of them are remakes. Peter. You may know Peter family.
be from Fortnite, but me am on a different level of video games knowing because I know him from Feed a Peter. At first, I thought this game was about clicking the a JPEG fuck? of Peter, but then you gotta go across the street to the gas station to buy more burgers. Then you hook up the computer to the Peternet. Then you gotta raise Joe's income. Then you gotta water the crops, and then you gotta get the gasoline so you can burn the vines to enter the cave so you can buy the $19 Fortnite card. This is a very in-depth Peter game. Pizza. Pizza Tower reminds me of like a nice pepperoni slice from Fredicini's. If you love chopping down your times in neon white, Pizza Tower is like neon black. The levels is like the crust, the music is like the sauce, and the Mortha chicken is like the pizza bone that they put in the middle. If you're gonna make a Nintendo fan game, be smart like Pizza Tower and call the main character Barrio so you can make some money to buy some more pizzas with. <laughs> Cocoon is the puzzle game for people who get angry at puzzle games. It's also a game that looks and sounds genuinely alien. In a lot of puzzle games, when you get stuck, it's because the game is being a dickhead. When you get stuck in Cocoon, it's because you're a moron. I got stuck like four times on the Mario RPG has enough content for a 24 hour game and then jams all that material into a 12 hour game. Resident Evil 4 is the 7th and 13th Resident Evil game. Because we've seen so many action-packed Resident Evils now, this remake doesn't have the impact of the original, but in terms of execution, this game is just phenomenal. I even went for the 4 hour speedrun to unlock the chicken head and failed I'm gonna be honest, this is like, this is the one game that I totally cooked the books on, I guess. Okay. Which is that I should have I should have given it more respect and and definitely definitely the no no this is like the one game that I think about well I guess not just this Alan Wake two is another one and and Spider Man as well those are three like very solid games absolute bangers that I uh, should have kept playing uh, but it was just because like not enough people were interested in it that I stopped and I quit miserably but it you know it was a fun five attempts or some shit creepy for alan wake 2 now there's two alan wakes the one from fortnite and the one from alan wake 1 in terms of combat puzzles enemy design this game cannot go toe to toe with resident evil 4 but resident evil 4 doesn't have any musical numbers metroid prime i've tried to beat this game like 50 times but i guess this year this was the time. This game reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 2, where not only is it the best looking game on the console, but it also runs at 60 FPS somehow. Truly though, you played this game for the music. Hassan, you have not finished a single one of those big games you've been hyped about? Yeah, dude. Um, I think a lot of people forget that like I'm a, I'm a streamer, right? Um, the... There's... Oh God. I'm working, okay? I'm working. I wish for a world where it's like great uh, and I can do all of that, but sometimes I can't. Okay. Oh. Go Alan. Well, go broke. Everybody always is like, dude, this is crazy. Why don't you play these fucking games? Why don't you play these games? And then there's like fucking eight people left in the chat by the third hour of my gaming session. And then they're like, Oh, why don't you play these games? Yeah, because it's my fucking job. Also, I did play, a shit ton of games. I just didn't play it online, you know? Sick. My point is many of the people, this many of the people that, that uh, claim that they want to watch me play video games will not. And so yeah, I, I don't know why you're Samurai Yakuza, Spider-Man Yakuza, Yakuza 2, Yakuza 3, Yakuza God, 4, Yakuza and Yakuza so good. 6. Wait. So let me say Dude, Donkey went through a Yakuza meta on 2023 as well. Same, son. It's the best. I went through this exact same process as well. And now Felix is going through it too, where it's like, God, it's so good. Yakuza games are trash. No, they're not. The fuck do you mean? Yeah, Donkey's been on the Say, Yakuza meta for years. If you're going to play one of these, play Yakuza Zero. Yeah. But if you already played that one, then play Yakuza 7. 2023 is probably the last year I'll be able to beat a game this long again, so it's nice to have picked one where I didn't feel like a dumb fuck by the time I hit the end credits. There's too much combat, too much yapping, but there's also a lot of funniness. Video games need to be more funny. Games are getting too serious out here. We need more funniness out there in games. This game had like 100 funny parts, which is why this is one of the better RPGs you can play. 
Wait, there is a there is a mod for Yakuza 7 that turns it from a turn based to brawl mode. The side quest in that game is very good. Wait, really? Dude, I think. Um <laughs> Brother, respectfully, I don't want to watch you play video games, so I don't watch when you do. It's nothing personal. Yeah, no, exactly. I understand that, chatter. Don't worry. There's a lot of people like you in here. Okay? I get it. <laughs> With Mario, you always get a one. Um, one. but I can't play the modded version on the Steam Deck. But the thing I was going to say uh, is, look, I, I love chat, but unfortunately, chat doesn't have a d good understanding um, of like how this, uh, you know, how, how streaming, like the side of streaming works. But um, uh, we're not going to talk about this anymore. Please stop. Yeah, it's a dictatorship, not a democracy. I was yes. wondering how many wonder effects are they going to do on this game, and they did a lot of them. And there was like three musical numbers, so Capcom is really going to have to rethink Resident Evil 5 if they want to stay competitive. Street Fighter 6 is fucking garbage. Everyone online plays like the littlest bitch that's ever lived because this game is more defensive than Call of Duty. They only play two characters. JP is in this game. Guile is in this game. Hakan isn't in the game. The single player is for people who don't like fighting games. The arcade mode is depressing. There's no voice chat because this game is for cowards. The ranking system is super tedious. There's no unlockables. Everything is gated behind microtransactions, which are more like macro transactions. And the battle pass for this game is worse than the battle pass from Halo Infinite. Only Nintendo would use the C. Chat, stop trying to debate me on gaming, gaming streamings, please. I I'm I'm having a really hard time not trying to respond to all of your wrong takes about it. Okay, stop trying to figure out why it's like not working. It's just not. It doesn't for many streamers. There are very few streamers on this website that actually retain viewership, uh, and and or even grow their community while playing video games. This is just how it is. Okay, unless you're like a OG like Lyric and you've been doing this for fucking. 10 years okay non-stop it's not gonna happen please stop it's just like it doesn't work for nmp it doesn't work for misgive it doesn't even work for xqc really like it doesn't work for anybody it's just oh my god guys, guys, guys. that's it um it's like an mmo player switching to fighters they would lose yours exactly that's it like a lot of people have mains though you don't understand that there's like not a lot of people who are variety gaming uh, streamers. Uh, I don't think you guys understand that at all, but it's okay. It's okay. It's fine. I've had this conversation a million times over. <sighs> but it's just, I keep trying to explain it and people don't understand it and people will never understand it. Um, it's not because it's late in the day. Guys, this community is so allergic to gaming. My community is so allergic to gaming that when I even talk about gaming, people leave. Okay. So just, it's fine, but please stop. I don't want to talk about this any further. It's like the most annoying, uh, it's the most annoying, most like a uh, shitty conversation to have over and over again. Cool to Breath of the Wild as an excuse to remake Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. In some respects, Tears of the Kingdom feels like a PS5 type sequel where you're really just playing a better version of a game you already liked. On the other hand, this game is ridiculous. It does not make sense how a game this massive is also this polished. In this game, I built this thing, I built this, I built this, I said this. Heads up. <laughs> I said this, good luck. The last game to let me play this creatively was Mario Odyssey and Breath of the Wild. Only Nintendo would use the sequel to Pikmin 3 as an excuse to remake Pikmin 2 with a dog. Of course Pikmin 4 is the game of the year. Did you really think there would be any other game here? Please, don't be dumb to me. This game is the game. Don't ever question me on this. It's God, the most Pikmin. relaxing game of the year and the most intense game of the year. I'm not even going to expound on it more than that. Show me a game from this year better than Pikmin 4. You can't. But the actual game of the year is Super Mario Bros. 3? All right. Um, okay, let's do this uh, Apple Vision Pro because a lot of people are doing some dumbass shit about it. Okay. Top ten most disappointing games of twenty twenty three. Number yes. one. What is it? 
he's the top dog. Him? It's 227 murders. Men, women. Starfield makes sense. Uh, incredible hype. And it was a good game, but it was like a very above average game overall. For the hype that people had, for the hype that people had, it's just not, it's not going to work. It's ironic though, because the greatest thing that that game gave us was fucking pronouns, which is like a perma meme in this community. And I think that for that reason alone, it's like, it's wonderful. It's great. All right. The Apple Vision Pro is out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's like a $500 piece of equipment that is insane. It's bulky. It looks silly as hell. And yet tech reviewers and tech YouTubers and dudes who just love tech. Okay. They are trying to make it work. Apple Vision Pro is finally arrived. The users are coming up with insane ideas. Top 10 most incredible apps and use cases so far. Or not $500. What am I saying? It's like $4,000. Fuck. I was wrong. I was wrong. It's $3,500. If it was $500, it would be way, it would be kind of more worth. I think I forgot. You're right. I don't know why I said $500. $3,500. <laughs> Like what? That's wild. Like real? Yeah, I mean, you're. I'm gonna be honest with you. This is so bad. This part is like, I've seen so many people talk about this, like, and and talk this up as though like the Vision Pro FaceTime with the Vision Pro is great, and it's like, no, it's not. It's terrifying. Burn it with a fire type shit. It's literally PS2 graphics. Your eyes are close. Your it's too much teeth. I think I don't know. Um, I want to make a review. Come help me. All right, sounds good. All right, meet you downstairs at five. All right. All right, if you want like a normal review of this thing, I can't recommend enough to go watch, to go watch Marquez Brownlee's. His is fantastic. This is a different, like, I kind of have a different take on this and different questions, and that's what this is. But Marquez's is really good. What is this thing that I'm holding, literally? I feel like he had to wear that high visibility uh, jacket because like he's walking around with that thing and I don't feel safe. Okay. I feel like he needs, he needs people to be like, Hey guys, watch out. I don't, I can't really see that good. How do you find it? I had it for like an hour. Yeah. Okay. Can you put windows up now? If you want to yeah. So like I can put a window up now, yeah. but when I start walking, they like go away. They fade away. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, enjoy. Take care. Right, you too, man. Get a random pile of bricks, an old toilet. I found the restroom. And a bunch of random wooden poles. There's more poles. Sick. I love, I love having this three thousand five hundred dollar machine on my brain, so I can watch Mr. Beast videos while I wait for the train. Pile. Let's pile onto that boat, please. And as you can see. But well, later in this video, we're going to a hundred island and also super island. But first, we're gonna head over to <laughs> strategy for interaction. Okay, my controversial opinion on the matter. Are you guys ready for it? Wearable tech will only get like broad usage when it is a reasonable price point and also beyond that is not as bulky okay that's it like it needs to be so much smaller if it was like regular glasses like the ones you wear and that still somehow was able to do augmented reality and it was like 500 bucks then yeah okay that's valid because i do see the utility in this okay but it needs to have, yeah, and, and good battery life. It needs to have good battery life. It needs to be actually fucking wearable and not like this big ass bulky, weird dystopian thing. And um, everyone, wait, what? What do you mean everyone hated the AirPods when they came out? No, the AirPods do all of the things that I just mentioned. The AirPods are small, okay? Or, or do you mean the Air Max? Nobody made fun of the AirPods at all.
people hated the aux removal oh maybe that could be the reason i don't know but but yeah no it's it was small it had pretty decent battery life and it was actually very good like the airpods are super high quality I'm not an audio pervert, so don't yell at me for this, but they're pretty fucking, they're pretty high quality. And, and it's like super seamless too. You just boom, put it on and it automatically, it, it works really well with the Apple, with the iPhone, with the Apple products. So, um, we abuse people who wore Google glasses. I think that, um, I think that this is like way too fat is what I mean. It's way too fat. It's way too bulky. I don't know what the battery life looks like. We can watch the Marcus Brownlee video uh, to get a better understanding of it. But like, it's just, uh, you know, remember Snapchat glasses? I do. I got them. I have Snapchat. I had Snapchat glasses. Acting with people. They gaslight you into thinking. So if you're moving a lot while you're moving, this thing comes up that says tracking fail. So it doesn't track if you're moving a lot. So there's nothing for the sensors to like lock on to. It doesn't know where to put stuff. But standing at a subway stop watching a Mr. Beast video is a pretty special, it's a pretty special experience. Hold on, Jordan, let me try to figure out how to. What do you think? It's interesting. I, I can't imagine. I can't imagine why you're looking at. Uh... I'm looking at you right now. Oh, okay. I can see you clear as day. You got on a blue tie with a beautiful tie pin at the top, so I can see you. I get off here. Enjoy your adventure. Bye bye. <laughs> He's like, I'm done. <laughs> he didn't have to get off there, but he was worried. <laughs> He's uh, like, yeah, I'm getting off. I opened up you Apple TV, out, and it was like this window right here, Jordan. And as he started to move, the window went away with the back with the subway <laughs> car. You can't use windows if you're in like a if there's a lot of movement, like kinetic movement. And I imagine it works in an airplane because the airplane is so steady. But this is a subway and it's bouncing, so I gotta wait till we get there. I mean, that's like a big, that's a big deal. Uh, use it in public transit like it kind of doesn't work right? I listening tethered to my iPhone it seems to be working well enough but for some reason when I try to open Safari sorry I, I didn't realize the video was much much louder than me my bad here I fixed it I wasn't paying attention Yeah, that's ridiculous. Okay, come on, dog. At least use your Apple Watch or something. I mean, he's just demonstrating how stupid that is, right? I was just responding to text messages. One of the things I hate about a lot of this stuff is that... Um... Chad, stop saying this is megaphonics coded. It is the most megaphonics coded shit of all time. I I think that like we are losing sight of why get it losing sight of why we have like haptic feedback on a lot of things. Okay. I think I think that like haptic feedback is very important. Okay, touch is very important. Uh, both as a just like as, as what makes us human, but also beyond that, like there is the, yeah, muscle memory. Like there's a reason why keyboards have buttons on them, right? There's a reason why keyboards are the way that they are. Oops. Like you, you, you memorize it and you don't have to look down and it makes it, it makes it much easier with your muscle memory to be able to type. And I feel as though, like, um, you know, like the Tesla-ification of, of utilizing touchpads everywhere is genuinely ass. Um, there's a reason we went back to mechanical from rubber dome. Even a distinction that fine is relevant. 
Yeah, there's certain things that have to be. There's certain things, in my opinion, that have to be like this. Uh, people said the same thing about the first iPhone keyboard. The future will leave you behind. You will be a boomer using his BlackBerry phone with a physical keyboard. I mean, I use the iPhone keyboard, but it's not great. Obviously, uh, obviously, like the keyboard keyboard that you have is significantly better than an iPhone keyboard. And if you were doing something like using your computer, you would not use a uh, you would not use anything but a like real keyboard. Also, the Apple keyboard itself also kind of has like some level of like uh, like something that is still tactile, I guess, um, and is and has like um, some kind of uh, some kind of uh, haptic feedback as well. But by the way, it the last time we tried VR was the HTC Vive. The tech has improved tremendously since then. A lot of people weighing on the AVP are people who tried the HTC Vive once in 2017 and think they're qualified. I mean, yeah, I haven't, I haven't tried any of the new shit. Okay, Vive, Vive is the last time I used uh, any kind of uh, serious VR, and honestly, it didn't make me feel good, which is why I stopped. Because like uh, the VR Alex, for example, like Half Life Alex, like it made me want to throw up. I am a firm believer that the iPads in cars is uh, genuinely troublesome. It's not good. It's not. I did play Half-Life Alex uh, for a little bit and I never finished it. Anyway, something to consider here is that you definitely should, <clears throat> uh, in cars, you definitely need that kind of thing. You need knobs, you need buttons, you need all of that. You definitely need all of that. And I feel like in vehicles especially, the reason why they take that stuff out is a cost adjustment for profits, for profit margins. Um, people, I don't think, realize that. I think people think like, oh, no, this is a cool thing. It looks cool. It's like, no, you you need knobs because the entire point of muscle memory is that you don't actually, like, you don't actually take your eyes off the road to, like, touch anything. No, you don't. When you can just say things to the car also wrong because again the more mechanical things remain the better it is the more analog things are the better it is as a fail safe redundancy these are very important things in vehicles okay that's why uh this distinction dude you are so reactionary when it comes to tech also run the ad break is 144. What do you mean? Do you mean the middle of the hour ad break? I ran that 14 minutes ago. Nobody looks at a light switch before flicking it. It will always be better than a screen when you, where you have to look before you tap tapping it. Yeah. I the thing I'm talking about with uh with cars is 100% correct. Um it's because screens are cheaper than buttons and knobs and all that shit now. Yes, that absolutely is the reason. Um, but uh, like I was saying, I'm not even talking about like, oh, things feel weird now. Back in my day, things felt good. I'm simply stating there's a reason why, for example, Boeing planes have like, uh, uh, what is it called? Fly-by-wire. Obviously not the great... Uh, greatest example to make here because like their their track record for other stuff hasn't been great but there's a reason why in airplanes for example you have like multiple redundancies built in or sorry airbus has fly by wire boeing has like the mechanical um the mechanical suspensions i think but regardless you need to have you need to have like genuine uh uh haptic feedback and and uh tactile like a like a feeling uh so you can have muscle memory and have things run analog for instant for for situations where uh all else fails and yes it is not a luddite opinion to think buttons are superior in vehicles there's legislation about this in the eu yeah There, it's a limitation that we as humans, uh, that we have as humans, the tech needs to adapt to us, not the other way around for safety. 
Why do you need to have them? You need to have them because the... Uh, you need to have them for safety and you need to have them for efficiency and you need to have them specifically so you can... You don't have to shift your attention away to another screen. When you're doing something, okay? When you're doing something that requires all of your attention, like driving a 3,000 pound death machine, okay? Around pedestrians, you need to never have your eyes off the fucking wheel, off the, off the goddamn, uh, uh, the road. You have to look at the road. You have to have your hands on the wheel and you have to have, uh, and you have to have your eyes on the road. I don't think people understand that. You can't even find a 3,000 car in the U.S. anymore. Fucking SUVs. That's also true. And I say this as someone who does have a, a pretty high-tech vehicle. I mean, I have a take at it. It is a EV. And it does have a lot of the, uh, the, the cool iPad tech in it. Luckily, it still has... a. Uh, uh, some kind of uh, gear shifting in it. But... No way! You're the only person I wanted to be. In case he weighs, in case he weighs, I can't tell. Can you not tell? No way. Oh Literally my the god. We were, like, we were we talking. Yeah, oh oh my god! No way! I'm actually freaking out. The idea that I can have my whole like computer, digital, online world that exists in the real world that's what that's what feels like is bigger than ar or vr like i have the oculus it's great but it definitely feels like a toy boeing aircraft have physical linkages airbus is fly by wire neither of them have anything to do with physical controls although aviation did move away from touch screens very quickly because pilots couldn't accurately make inputs i worked in automotive ai and automation previously and your take on this is 100 percent correct thank you The haptic feedback and processing from our somato sensory system is vital for our proprioception, knowing where our body is in space. Jesus, you guys are using a lot of words, but you agree with me, so I'm going to go ahead and, and, and say yes. Um, but, but listen, 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 listen. It's just, it's, it's like this. Imagine typing something in a dream if you've ever had a situation like that. Versus like actually physically touching something. Obviously one is, is much more efficient. Proprioception, proprioception, body awareness in space. Um, it's like telling everyone they have to use a touch screen for their PlayStation controller. Yeah. It's just analogs are great for some uh, like the dual shock has two analogs or, or two joysticks right for a reason it has a touch screen but if you were to use like a, uh uh if you were to use like a touch pad like on your phone it's very different the the adjustments that you can make on touch screen controllers are always going to be limited in comparison to in comparison to like the actual physical joysticks that you're using this feels like a little glimpse into the future of what computing could be like down the road. Why is everybody staring at me? <laughs> Do I look as ridiculous as those people make me feel like I look? No, you're just your eyes are glowing. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> Jordan, you're standing right in front of my Mr. Beast video. <laughs> Come right there. Okay. Years ago. This used to be a bar? Yep. Yeah, you want to walk under this? So the idea of spatial computing, it doesn't make sense to me when I'm sitting in my office. I've got multiple screens. But right now I'm like in the city. I'm in the middle of Times Square. I've got my virtual. I mean, there is something that I do like about this, uh, I guess because it's like very much uh, in line with my mentality that like I always want to be on. But I also simultaneously want to like experience the world, which is why I've said before, like if I had a, a, a solid, reliable accessible uh starlink connection i would probably be able to do a lot more having 
this level of like computing power directly in front of your face is not bad, especially for someone like myself, because I am terminally online. Okay. The issue, however, in my opinion, is that this is a uh, tech specifically for early adopters who want to be at the forefront. That's it. It's just not like good enough to, to utilize yet. Apple keyboard here. I've got Apple TV there. I got YouTube safaris open here. And it all kind of works. <laughs> like this? What I've got going on right now, this is wild. It's impossible for me to imagine that you can't see what I can see. Everything seems so real, and then I can just stand up. Also, it's kind of, dude, this is wild. This is literally like simulating being a schizophrenic person in public in a way that is like, like you are literally, technically you are hallucinating in public. Like that's what you are doing. It's simulated psychosis. Yes. It's so weird when you think about it. I, I don't know. It's, it's so odd to know Hassan, you just sold 10K more units. I'm not trying to sell this at all. The butterfly is eating my donut. Like, what happens when you get scared? Like, you just have to do, like, a like a quick reaction. Like, and then you accidentally hit someone. I feel like that's going to happen way more frequently. I mean, we've often we've often talked about how like we live life now in the meat space specifically to get points in the internet, right? Going to a place so that you can post the Instagram photo that's going to get a lot of likes is literally the exact version that every normal person even engages in now. It's not just relegated to it's not just relegated to like the online influencers and whatnot. Okay. Yeah. At a certain point, at a certain point, maybe it was like originally the, the TikTokers and the, or not the TikTokers, but like, you know, people who were taking photos of themselves and like only, uh, you know, taking a perfect photo of a food before they eat it. Uh, because that was like all influencers did. Now everyone does it. 10 years later, everyone does it. Literally every human being does it. So much so that you have places in the real world specifically designed for people, like normal people to go there, take a photo, and, and gain, I guess, like a little bit of social clout from their group of friends, and then consume the food. No, they don't. No, we don't. You guys are literally on Twitch, man. You are the most permanently online. You are at the, you've already transcended beyond what normal people do. You just spend all of your time directly tapped in online. You don't even do shit in the fucking physical space. I'm talking about like 
regular people. I'm talking about a bus driver. I'm talking about a person who lives in fucking Kansas. No, it's not an LA brain take at all. You are wrong. There are plenty of normal people that do activities in the real world specifically uh, to, to showcase it on the internet. Okay? We have, we have transcended beyond, like, people who are influencers doing this to, like, normal people doing it. You're, you're wrong about this. Okay? It's because they don't leave their house to touch grass and take a pic for Insta. That's what I mean. Exactly. I just walked to the farmer's market with my neighbor and dog despite being terminally online. Okay, well, my point is... My point is, a lot of people do things now, um, originally things that, like, influencers or uh, whatever used to do, now normal people do as well. Normies do as well, okay? It's very, very common for normal people to engage in that sort of behavior, too. Um, yeah, museums have, like, Instagram walls. Exactly. Um, how else will I, will my ex know that I moved on? Yeah. So, so this is the next stage in this. Okay. This is the next stage in, in what I'm talking about where like, sure. I think inevitably, uh, uh, wearables will get like mass adoption. It's just not there yet. The technology is not there yet. Uh, uh, augmented reality is not there yet. It's not as wearable. It's in, it's also obviously inaccessible, uh, price point wise. Uh, I think, yeah, Google Glass's problem was that it was too early. Okay. That's the issue. But I do find it really crazy that now you can bring in a, in a seamless way, you can bring online to the real world making you even more online so that you can experience online while you're outdoors touching grass. Obviously you could do that with your phone, but now it's like directly incorporated into your directly incorporated into your regular everyday existence. It's kind of wild. The concept for this video was to run around New York city wearing these. Cause I thought that would be funny. I think it was funny, but something happened. Something happened today that was completely unexpected. And that something I don't think anyone else has really touched on. None of the reviews I've seen or read, none of them really uh, put to words what I experienced. So when you take these off, they kind of go to sleep like your phone. And when you put them back on, you have to unlock them. They scan your eyeballs and then to start screen recording, go through the, it takes a second. So rather than doing that, I just left these on the entire day. Um, the like two and a half hour battery pack you can plug into a fatter battery. So I never ran out of battery power. And that's crazy. See, that's what I mean. That's like, that is insane. Okay. That's insane. Jerry rigging to like specifically be able to run this for like a long ass time, uh, way beyond like what it would normally run for. Okay. A couple of hours of running around the streets of New York, as in not in a controlled environment, my brain sort of clicked and it just forgot that I was looking through cameras and screens. And it just, it, it took what it saw as reality. And that is where- I think what he's, what he's describing is like getting comfortable with VR in general though. Like, <laughs> Ew, I hate this YouTuber. He's so Zionist and Israel supporter. Okay, well, he's not talking about Israel. He's talking about Apple Vision Pro, okay? It's fine. We can set, we can differentiate in Whereas this circumstance. This this um it's ar yes i'm saying that it happens in vr too okay it's just vr is also wearable tech what are you talking about what i'm saying is like what he's experiencing is something that you experience when you ever when the first time you use vr like you start uh you start being more comfortable in it right you just get used to it
Yeah, we're going to talk about the dummies that have been doing dumb shit with it. And also some of the people that are using it in creative ways. That's where the, that profound moment came from. And what occurred to me as I was sitting there in Times Square on a bench, strangers all around me, the real world moving all around me. But I had like a big screen up where I was watching a Mr. Beast video. And then over here I had this keyboard that I could interact with. And over here I had my iMessages. And over here I had my Apple TV and then all of my apps. And they're floating in Times Square in the middle of New York City. They're floating there and I'm actually there. And there's actual humans around me. And in that moment, I was like, holy shit, this is it. This is the future of computing that everyone's been promising for like the last 15 years. This is something that like, let me like truly peek into where we're at, where all of this is going. I don't think he's wrong. No, it's not copium. I don't think he's wrong. He's absolutely right. It's just, he's right. It's just that it's not here yet. That's it. I like when people go, it was such a social behavior, but like that is where we are going. That is absolutely the direction that we are heading. Okay. I think that he is definitely right. I think that um, eventually in the next 10 years, I suspect we will start seeing way more ver wearable shit. It just makes sense that we are becoming even more isolated and then the only the only interactions inevitably that we will have with other people are going to be just online, okay? It's it's dystopian from where I'm standing and it should it, it, and it's probably dystopian for you as well because we're a little bit older. Um and we lived in a world where there was no uh we lived in a world where internet was not readily available. I did at least. And uh I lived in a world where I did not have a smartphone until I was 18 years old. Think about that. I didn't have a smartphone until I was 18 years old. So I think that um, that's the direction that we're heading towards. And I don't think you have to be like truly prophetic to, to recognize that. Uh, but yeah, I think, I think he's right. Mm. This isn't the, like the future of AR or VR. This is the, I think this is the future interface for all computing. I think when they figure out how to make these not be these heavy $4,000 metal ski yeah. goggles, but maybe, you know, maybe they look like these glasses or something even smaller. Yeah. That that is what it'll be in the morning. You won't remember your phone. You put it on and then that's it. And yeah. It's like, hold on. I've got a call. Hey, what's up, mom? I'll call you back. You look great by the way. And that's what it's going to look like. And these show you that these reveal that I am like, I chat is talking about editing Excel spreadsheets. You might not do that. Some people might, but you're forgetting how much time you spend on your phone. Okay. The amount of time you spend on your phone is what you would do with the wearable tech instead. And it would probably even increase. As a geek, that was the thing I've been looking for forever. And they did it right here on a product that has like, uh, a product that is so new. This has been out for 12 hours. And I. There's a meme about how you can tell a millennial from a Gen Z uh, by what device they use to send an important email. Millennials prefer to send it from a laptop or PC rather than their phone. Yeah, exactly. And then we will inevitably move into Butlerian Jihad as a consequence of the AI technology becoming uh, way, way, uh, way too intrusive. Um, but yeah. Like we still have, I just, I don't think that interacting with human beings online will ever be a decent substitute for like, will ever be a decent substitute for interacting with human beings in the real world, going outside. Okay. And I don't think that, I don't think that these glasses will uh, make us go outside more. Let's say if they were easily, uh, if they were easily accessible, cheaper and very wearable, Okay, I'm talking like 10 years into the future when we get to a point when we get to a point when these things are are easy to use, okay? Um it's it's not going to make us uh go outside and fucking uh, uh interact with one another in the real world is going to make us further isolated. There is like it's a way to bring the internet 
it's a way to bring the internet into the meat space rather the, it's like the next step in our evolution towards being able to avoid the top of the hour ad break right like you'll be able to sit at the subway station and watch Austin Abbey broadcast and at the top of the hour get served a three minute ad break and and just uh, skip it with ease in your uh, in your AR augmented reality wearable technology. It's crazy, but for the time being, you still have to subscribe for five dollars or for free with a Twitch Prime, or by getting gifted a sub. You seriously think people are just gonna stop seeing each other? IRL, come on, man. There's an innate desire to have human interaction and touch. Just look at how depressed everyone got through during COVID. I mean, this is like probably the worst community to talk about uh, this sort of thing in because we're at Twitch. Many people were already living like increasingly isolated lives and uh, they were already like relatively agoraphobic. But you have to remember, people said this about Google Glass 11 years ago. Yes, Google Glass was way too ahead of the game. Google Glass's biggest issue was that it was too early. It happens. Sometimes tech is too early. I think even the, uh, Apple, uh, the Apple Vision Pro is too early. And that's why they're making no... It seems like that, yeah, Google Glass is like the PSP, okay? Think about the Switch, think about the Steam Deck, okay? And then think about the PSP. The PSP had genuine limitations. It was the greatest technological marvel at the time, in my opinion, but unfortunately, it was ahead of its, uh, it was ahead. It was too ahead, and it also had some serious limitations with, uh, with the second, uh, you know, with the second controller. Okay? The PSP was hot, but the PS Vita wasn't. Exactly. But by the time PS Vita came out, it was already too late. That's what I'm trying to say. Nintendo did VR in the 1900s. The PSP was at least popular. Wait, what? I think VR is mature enough market at the release of AVP that any social normalization of this tech will have already basically happened. I really don't think AVP will make people suddenly think it's cool and normal in society. MetaQuest 2 plus 3 uh, together have shipped millions of units as holiday gifts is a known space. Yeah, but it's in your house. What are you talking about? That's VR. This is bringing it outside. There is still that major difference, in my opinion, between VR and AR. Like, this is wearable tech that you wear outside. You're, you're, it's still like, can you use a, a, a meta vision quest outdoors? No, right? Wonder what the porn industry would do with this tech chatter. I don't know if you know this, but there's VR porn out there already. Don't ask me how I know that. It already exists. Porn has always historically been at the cutting edge of technology. Okay. Um, they have always been early adopters. Isn't like, isn't one of the major leaps in technology, uh, one that directly came from porn? Which one was it? I think VHS and DVD, right? Both VHS and DVD were like directly, or was it Betamax? I don't remember, but one of those things was like, yeah, porn and porn and military technology is always at the cutting edge. Porn decided between HD DVD and Blu-ray and Betamax and VHS before that. He left. Who left? felt it so i don't know that i this seems like it only works in first world countries yeah there is like obviously first world countries are obviously like infinitely far ahead due to their material circumstances than third world countries yes and oftentimes due to capitalism third world countries developing nations unironically get like the shittiest and the most like safeguarded versions of the same product india for example or other like developing nations for example get like facebook phones right they get like the shittiest version of it where basically the entirety of the internet that you experience is walled garden but but there are also 
places in India where there are no fucking bathrooms, but in those very same places, motherfuckers are aware of the internet and use it from time to time, maybe like once a week. Okay. And it's kind of crazy to think about. Bro watched Elysium and started chatting. So the third world doesn't have Shane Gillis. Wow. Very Western brain. No, my, yeah. It's just like. What is this? I don't know if this is real or not. PlayStation Portable 2, the new report stating that Sony's actively working with AMD to create a new handheld. This handheld would be the same in line as something as a Steam Deck. Oh my God. I would lose my freaking mind. Okay. Uh, I, I think this is a meme. I, don't, I think it's a, this is not real probably. But the PlayStation handheld device that they sold was, was ridiculous. God, I love this Steam Deck, though. Man, it's such a good product. Oh, fuck. I ride for it so much. Gaben needs to give me a fat sponsorship, even though I'm doing it for free all day, every day. The tech is so too expensive and useless to ever be adopted where I live in a massively used way. Most people have a phone, but this is too much. Yeah, but most people, most people have a much more watered-down version of the phones that people used to have. My point is, Little Bear, you're in South Africa, right? A lot of income inequality, okay? The infrastructure is obviously not in the same level as the United States of America, and it's certainly not, like, across the board, right? When I, I suspect that if you go back to the 90s, and I can only speak on it from Turkey, right? Like... There were places in Turkey that were also utilizing mobile phones at the same time that America was, but across the board, you were still very much using landlines, okay? Like, like countries, countries actually, uh, you know, other countries, developing nations especially, will uh, will, will be following the, the technological developments like 10 years uh, after the fact. Like, it becomes uh, more, uh, more consumable and 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 uh easy to access and and actually genuinely utilized and adopted by the masses you know 10 years later uh, down the line Yeah, think about the first mobile phones. Bulky, the Nokia 5150. I think it was a Liberon 5110. Those things were indestructible, okay? But they were bricks, okay? They were absolute bricks, but it was a keystone for the new tech we have now as mobile phones. I'd say a similar keystone is here. Exactly. 3310. Oh, so, um, yeah, I mean, it's inevitable that we move in this direction. But while that's happening, let's look at some of the dumb shit that people are doing with this new tech, okay? Like this guy. I mean, this is obviously a meme and incredibly dangerous, and you should never do this. Abi uyacağız ama ne zaman tier list? Oh, daha bir iki saat var yani. Bir saat sonra geliyor kız. Turks. I I hear none of the big disappointments in the FOV. There's an apparent binocular effect from reviewers and it kills immersion. Yeah, 5150 is a psych hold. I was wrong. There's also this. I mean, these are all memes. These are all memes. These are all memes. Okay. Obviously, this is not like real. People are just doing this for specifically the purpose of like filming it and making jokes about it. 
But yeah. Elon's brain chips will also handle this. I don't even want to talk about Elon's brain chips. Anyway, let's I see recommend what, you uh, buy one of these at $4,000 because I can promise you this. This will be the worst Vision Pro Apple ever ships. It is going to get so much better. All right. And maybe I'll make another video that, that's, that, that makes more sense of this, but... <sighs> Yeah, um, you're absolutely right about the access to internet in India. My grandma scammer lives in India and she sent him Google play cards every month. It's so wholesome to see two people have a friendship that overcomes borders, time zones, and language barriers. Okay, dude. <laughs> yeah, if you're gooning on the go, three hours uh, is not enough. You're absolutely correct. You can't be you can't be gooning all day with this, which is uh, messed up. Okay, it's kind of fucked up. Um, where was the other one? Oh, here are the uh, interesting apps and use cases so far. Learning piano with guiding tiles. I don't think you learn like it's cool, but I don't think you learn that way. I don't think that's how human brains work for the record. Like, and also this is, this is like a technology that existed. It's not like Apple created the concept of augmented reality. So just something to remember and something to consider, but. Like, can you, can you learn how to play a guitar by playing Guitar Hero? A lot of people are saying no, and some people are saying yes. You're just yapping? Of course, that's what I do. I'm speaking Japanese. You're developing hand-eye coordination, maybe? I learned from Guitar Hero using just five buttons. But you're playing on a real piano. Yes, but... There's another part about this that you need to remember. Okay, sure. There isn't a direct, like, uh, haptic feedback or direct, like, uh, 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 well, I guess, like, you're still, instead of, um, instead of, like, pressing the strings, you're still doing, ah, it's not, it's not the same. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a little bit different. This is, like, literally uh, on the piano, straight up. Not Guitar Hero, but yes, Rocksmith. With Rocksmith, you can. Yes, there's a game called Rocksmith that teaches you like a guitar, but with a real guitar. <clears throat> I feel like you're practicing the hand movements. Your brain is absolutely getting trained by this. I mean, here, here's a better analogy, okay? Does painting by numbers or tracing legitimately make you a better painter or a better uh, a person who can draw? There is a, I think that there is definitely, there is definitely some help that you get. So you get a better feel for the mechanics. Maybe your hand becomes more steady. But I think that the real training still happens outside of the boundaries of this thing. So I'm saying that this doesn't hurt, but there's no way that this is a good substitute for like actual training. And I'm just trying to, I'm just thinking about it from the pr uh, perspective of like what I do know. Okay. It's like training wheels, but eventually you have to take the training wheels off to learn how to bike. An AI, an AI helper. That's busted. That sucks.
Yeah, this sucks. Real time captions and translation. Okay, this one's kind of cool. There's two places for coffee in my neighborhood. One is small and this is sick. This is fucking sick. One is a bit bigger. Do you have a preference? This is sick across the board. It's sick if it's like doing real time translation. It's sick if it's actually giving you subs, uh, subs in real life too. Oh, that's right. How was your trip? It was heel mooi. We vlogen naar Barcelona. En toen hebben we de trein geprakt naar het dorpje. Um, we zijn er drie dagen geweest. En we hebben vooral heel veel lekker gegeten. But it's only one way, unlike a phone. No, this is great for, like, people who are hearing impaired. This is great for... This is definitely accessibility cracked out. Um, so sad that it's uh, a fake language that they're using to demonstrate this. So, like, it kind of loses its impact a little bit. But it's great for accessibility. And we zijn naar een paar wijngaarden gegaan. En het was ook nog heel lekker weer. Dus eigenlijk alles bij elkaar was gewoon heel fijn. Het was een mooie vierdaagse vakantie. Touring homes for sale. I mean, I don't really give a shit about that, but. My native language is not fake. Sorry to break it to you. We have an ein serious problem is fake. Okay. We have an ein serious problem. Fake. Fake as fuck. Get the fuck out of here. It's, it's. Also many Dutch people I've, I've, uh, I feel like Dutch people themselves openly say it's fake. Like it's just like worthless. As far as the language goes. I made an exact demo of this at a coding hackathon and it was shit. Disney plus experience on vision pro. I don't care about this. Like this is dumb. It's just your, yeah, dude, it's everything. Okay. Everything that you watch, you can watch like this. That's so stupid. Draw to code. What? What is that? So much of the AI, uh, so much of the new apps are all like everything that has AI in it is like built on the chat GPT foundation. And it's just, uh, I feel like there's so much more that we need to, so much more that we need to do for this. Okay. I mean, this is also not like none of this is, is, uh, exclusive division pro. Or being bettered by uh, wearable technology. The two things that I've seen thus far that actually do make sense is this. Learning piano with guiding tiles. It can be helpful. And most importantly, I think it's this. This is the best one. This is the best thing. Because obviously this exists on your phone. You can use like real-time translation uh, or even devices specifically designed for it. But... Having it be a part of your wearable technology creates a, a structure where like real time subs exist on the planet. It's great for people with hearing impairment. It's uh, it's it's great for uh, it's great for real time translation. Uh, all of that stuff is awesome. Only because I'm uh, you know, gonna be able to go to Japan and and experience it with uh, real time subs. Taking cooking to the next level. <laughs> It is not recommended to prepare food while we All right, give me the give me the Wall Street Journal review. I want to watch that actually. The Apple Vision Pro. Okay. Sure. Don't worry. My producers were standing by to make sure I was safe. Prepping food was really natural, especially I could cut onions all day in this. My eyes do not burn. This is amazing. But the absolute best thing, so I see the timer here, and now I can move it over the pasta. And now I have a second timer for six minutes that I'm putting over the mushrooms. This is just the coolest. Was it perfect? No. 
God damn it, dude. Come on. You're still looking at life on a screen. In low light, I couldn't read things with smaller print because of pixelation. Is there even pepper coming out? I cannot see it. And some stuff just didn't look like the right color. It is not recommended to... Okay, that part is... It is cool, though. Why are you being such a hater? No, that's crazy. Okay. A $3,500 headset with timers? Like, dude, are you kidding me? That's just like, you're, you're hyper-focusing on the novelty of it, which will, I promise you, not be utilized at all. This, too. Like, this is fun, and I feel like it can translate to better things and not specifically this. Okay. This part doesn't, you know, this part is like, I don't know, F1 race in your living room. Okay, dude. This is kind of weird. Immersive memories, like. That that's also kind of weird. I don't really understand it. Like, I don't really understand what kind of impact this will have on our lives. Like, this is kind of dystopian. I mean, it sucks right now anyway, but like. Is grave reveal that hate doing things in general? PTSD simulator that she will fuck me up. People still read physical paper books, even though ebooks and e-readers are the most convenient and successful replacement. People just like tactile objects. I agree. And I don't think anything substitutes for, for a, a legitimate book, even though people swear by it to me and I don't understand it. I, I will never like lick in your finger and like uh, turn in the page. That shit is like, it's undefeated. But yeah, my point overall for uh for for this, okay? My point overall for this entire thing is that this is the future. It's just way way too early for this to be like mass adopted. This product itself is not the product for uh mass adoption, if that makes sense. Like this is not the product for it. This is not the time for it. This is not the product for it. It will get there. Okay. It will get there. And if you think that this is not going to happen, you're wrong. I'm telling you, it definitely will. Okay. All right. So you've seen the unboxing. Now it's time for the breakdown. What is using the Apple Vision Pro actually like? Yeah, I mean... This is the first iPhone? No, it's not the first iPhone. No, I think it's it's uh, beyond. This is like even earlier than the iPhone. It's like the first smartphone, basically. No, it's not the first iPhone. It's the first smartphone. Or maybe the second smartphone. It's just like... This is easily one of Apple's craziest, most radical, possibly dystopian products of all time. I like that everyone was gassing up this video saying it's the greatest tech review of all time. And then there's this one guy who's like, he doesn't say much. Don't watch this video. It sucks. Time. And I have a lot of thoughts here. Like I've been using it for about a week now. There are some parts of this thing that are absolutely incredible and some other parts that feel weird or borderline unfinished. There are all kinds of new technologies from a new operating system to infrared eye tracking to virtually reconstructed versions of you. I feel like there are so many actually new things that you have to understand in order to get a sense of what this headset actually is and what it does. So I'm gonna break this down into two parts. This video is all about using the Vision Pro. It's everything I've learned from the past week of wearing and getting used to this thing every single day. But I'm also working on a more wide ranging, possibly more existential review video. But let's just start with the more hardware fundamentals, right? Like what is this thing that I'm holding, literally? Apple Vision Pro at its core, well, it is a VR headset. 
Now, Apple would never say that, and they probably won't like that I'm saying that word. You know, I made an entire video about why they refuse to use those words, and they're calling it spatial computing instead. We'll get there. But the truth is, it's a really, really, really high-end virtual reality. There's nothing funnier than trying to cut through the noise and trying to be like, no, this is not a bulky and very restrictive piece of technology. It's spatial computing. It's not AR or VR. It's something different. Because like everything you know about AR and VR is that it's like it's bulky ver wearable technology that is like very limited, right? Except it doesn't matter what you call it. It's four thousand five hundred dollars, dog, or four thousand dollars. Who gives a shit? You already limited it dramatically, okay? You 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 already paywalled it to a certain degree where it's like, like if you can buy a fucking Honda Civic. Well, I guess not in this day and age, but if you could back in the day, you could buy like a 91 Honda Civic. I bought a, I bought, I remember a, a Jetta, a Volkswagen, a Volkswagen Jetta. That was like three grand. I bought this in like, um, when the fuck did I buy it? I mean, it was, it was an old one. It was like a 91, uh, Jetta. And I bought it in like 2010 or something and i bought it for like fucking two grand or something and it was just you know <laughs> you can still buy a car it barely works but you could buy a car at that price point and it fucking feels insane that like the thing you put on your head is the same price headset it's it's something we've seen before right it's got displays and lenses and speakers and fans and buttons and this is a form factor this is a thing that we have seen before but before i even turn this thing on there are clearly several things that are a little different about this one so first of all it's made of metal lots of metal and glass here which are high quality but heavy materials relatively speaking so there's this precisely machined aluminum frame around the outside and yes those are intakes for fans at the bottom and then vents for those fans at the top on the right side there's your digital crown that can be pressed in or turned and then on the other side is just a single larger button so kind of basically the same two buttons as an apple watch and then when you get a little further back on this band here these little pods with downward facing grills these are speakers, which are pointed straight at your ears and work surprisingly well. Though, of course, it also means that people around you can hear a little bit of what you're hearing. There's a little bit. Isn't this um, the same as, uh, what's it called? Open back? Isn't that what it's called? Like studio headphones? I mean, I guess there's those are, or am I, am I just like, kind of? You can't be gooning in public, boys. You can't do that. You can't goon in public. Everyone's going to hear. Everyone is going to be hearing Skybream moaning. Okay? If you try to goon in public, they're going to know. A little bit of bleed. And I have a lot to say about spatial audio, so stay tuned for that. But the main event is at the front. There is an enormous piece of glass, which, yes, is very easy to fingerprint and smudge. And then behind that thing, there is this outward-facing OLED display and a bunch of sensors all the way around, outside-facing sensors that go forward, sideways, and straight down. And there's depth sensors, infrared illuminators, LiDAR scanners, and just regular old RGB cameras, all being processed by an M2 chip and an R1 chip inside this thing. And then maybe the craziest part Okay, okay, is on to the, the battery. front of your face. So this is the battery, uh, as you saw in the unboxing. If you haven't already seen the unboxing, that just went up. I'll link it below the like button. But this battery is a surprisingly small 3,366 milliamp hours. I say surprisingly small because a normal battery bank of this size, you might expect to be 10, 15, 20,000 milliamp hours. I suspect there's a lot of uh, heat insulation happening here, but it comes with a non-removable four foot cable and a proprietary connector at the end of the cable that will twist and lock to the headset. And so the lock is really solid. It makes sense that it's not just straight USB that could get disconnected easily. Once you connect it, it starts glowing and then it starts booting up and there's even a little Apple logo that displays on the outside screen while it takes you know, a little under a minute to turn on. So there is no on or off button or switch anywhere on this headset, maybe kind of like AirPods Max or something like that. So if you ever take the headset off and put it down, it will enter a standby mode 
after some time, but it won't turn off. If you want to turn it off, you literally have to twist and unplug the cable. That's the only way to actually turn the headset off. Now, famously already, the battery life with this included battery is not super long on this headset. Two to four hours is actually realistic for what you can expect for just like this built-in battery. But that's also kind of right in line with a lot of other VR headsets. Battery life on VR headsets is not that great in general. If you do want to use it longer, the only way to do that is there's a USB-C port on the battery and you have to plug the battery in. So you could plug the battery into the wall for infinite battery life, or I guess you could plug it into like a, you could daisy chain another battery into the other pocket or something for even longer. That's what uh, 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 Casey Neistat did. Um, that's Apple's thing, garbage battery life. Dude, yeah, the fucking battery life is just like. Just ruin the battery by trickle charging it. I just, I don't, it's just the battery life is so bad. I wanted to see if it was good or not. That's all I wanted to see is just what he had to say about the battery. This shit can't be good for your brain regarding long-term health. No, I agree. I don't think it's good for your brain, uh, even in the short term. But I do suspect that, like, in the next 10 to, you know, 20 years, like, this is the direction we're going to move towards. How long until we are going to see people wearing this outside? How weird is it seeing people casually wear these shits outside? Well, it's kind of like the cyber truck, right? People think it's sick. People get excited about it. Uh, those people are lame for the most part. I think it sucks and it's ugly. All right, let's look at Mike, uh, Mike, uh, Dr. Mike's uh, house now. Let's see if he gets canceled for it. Probably not. It's official. I've moved out of New York City and got a brand new house. I'm going to show you the outside of the house as well as some of the coolest features inside dog. the house. But more importantly, I'm going to share some of my biggest plans Damn, for this house. Damn, he's yatted up, dude. Holy moly. Welcome to Bear's Estate. Come on in. Bear and I have put a lot of work into this place. No interior designers. This is this loser's guy's taste. So if you don't like it, you actually don't like my stuff. This is the official foyer, foyer. I, I don't know how to call it. I like calling it the entryway. And right away, I want this. Bro, this dude immediately in the foyer. I like call it the entryway. Immediately the in the foyer, look. Foyer, foyer. Those are Hermes, right? My man is, whoo, sheesh. 11 million subs on YouTube, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I, I don't know how to call it. I like calling it the entryway. And right away, I wanted it to be known that when you come to this beautiful nature, the city is a blur. So we have a place to take off your shoes. Beautiful Kinda, plant. Eh. I'd become a plant dad. Oh, that's lame. I'm dad, sorry. Not just a dog dad. This is a filming room. We like to use it as the filming room when I tell personal stories. Or the first expensive thing you noticed was the Hermes and not the fucking mansion because the entire video is about the mansion. Let's see. Let's see if it's like tasty. $50 blanket. Oh, never mind. Maybe it is the $50 blanket. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's not the Hermes. It's the Walmart. Throw, or please. we need a little bit more room on a couch. The cool detail I like to show everyone in this room is this ladder. This ladder is pretty, pretty cool. I've always wanted a. By the way, why are people not canceling this man? Yeah, because he's a YouTuber, and also because he's not like he doesn't have the most unhinged fucking haters. And also on top of that, I don't think people should cancel you regardless. Like, it's ridiculous. People oftentimes point to me like looking at Sniper Wolf's house, which, by the way, ironic because like I've. No sniper wolf in real life too, but um, uh, they point to that and go like, "That's or they he'll be like, oh dude, I can't believe like you uh sniper wolf bought this house or whatever." To point to me being like angry or or somehow incompatible with that sort of thing. Okay, he was canceled but got back. No, the point is, uh, only weirdos fucking get mad at this sort of shit. Okay. And secondly, I'm just looking at it from the perspective of like, is it nice? Then is it cool? House with Enjoy the, the video. And there's a lot of knickknacks, things that you have sent over over the years, as well as some ancient medical books. I and you'll also see I have a new hobby, building uh, 
model cars, building Galileo's temple, sound panels on the walls. You should film one of these. Yeah, no, I, uh, I will never film one of these. One, because it's not that interesting. Two, because it like will come across to every fucking hater as like me flexing my wealth or whatever. And um, that's it. It's one, it's not super interesting. And two, I don't want to get fucking canceled again for the same exact fucking point. It's good when people forget. It's good when people forget that I own a house. I'm a homeowner. To decrease echo. And this is pretty cool. My friend sent me this after my first boxing match with iDubs. It's actually really accurate. And wait. I'm pressing and nothing's happening. The battery's dead. The dining room. How does it feel being a modern day feudal lord? It feels awesome, dude. When we have group dinners, when we have office meetings, everyone- <laughs> Motherfuckers be like, dude, I can't believe you're a modern day feudal lord for ho owning a home, which is like, you know, your grandparents are modern day feudal Comes lords. and sits and eats here, not as often as we'd like, but we do gather in here from time to time. We have a yucca. This one <laughs> is struggling, clearly. Um, the things with yucca that you need to remember that they don't need a lot of water. You can overwater them, and I may have done that to this one. This top level here is actually also acoustic foam paneling. Light fixture matches the entryway because you know you got to have that all together. Now come on in. I'm going to show you the first bedroom of the house. This is for when Pam sleeps over when we're filming. Pam has a very big room. I made it very abstract. Oh God, the art, come on, Dr. Mike. What's happening with this art, man? What is going on? Bro, you really should have, he should have hired an interior decorator, designer person. Oh my God. It literally, the interior design is like, I, I, it feels like, it feels like something that, like, it's like a, it's like a, you know, holiday in ass interior design, but in a house. It's got the most hotel art I've ever seen. So she got abstract. Cardboard cowboy. Design is a very strong word. Lamps, abstract art, abstract light fixture. I'll show you the mudroom and the pantry, which actually is not aptly named. It says pantry, really nice. Nothing to do with the <laughs> pantry inside. Just kind of like my hardware closet. This is the mudroom. A lot of Bear's gear is in here. So his pet shampoo, his toys are in here, his brushes. <laughs> right, Bear? Catch. <laughs> this is the garage. It's unfinished because I'm building my gym. Video That's sick. Soon. All right, next up we have the place where we all eat. The kitchen, simple. I love simplicity. I love the cleanliness. I love the contrast off the floor. Amazing stove. Wish I use it more often and I will for upcoming videos. Diff yeah, he's got Viking. Top of the line, baby. Better than Miele. As a Miele haver, I will tell you, as far as I understand, Vikings are better than Miele's, okay? It's gas? Yeah, of course, dude. It, it's just... I don't think you guys understand. I, I, I feel like a lot of places, uh, depending on where you live, a lot of places still have gas. Is Wolf the best? I don't know. I don't know enough about fucking this shit at all. I don't care. Different ways to prepare food that I'm learning. You have an at-home gym, right? No, I don't. Are you trying to pronounce Mele? Is it, am I saying it wrong? Is it Mele? Melee? I don't know. Use. I feel like looking into my fridge is really personal, but it's probably valuable. A lot of hydration beverages. Oh my God, bro. This is literally my fridge. He has the same style fridge. Like th this, if you look into my fridge, I sometimes show uh, photos of it. It's just, well, it's not just like hydration though. It's literally all sodas. It's sodas, coffees, and energy beverages. That's literally my fridge. So we have some iced tea, some sparkling water. I'll actually have one right now. Not that much actual food in there. Also, one of the cool gifts that I got from Legal Eagle not too long ago when we played tennis together, it literally removes the top of it so you Wait, can drink what? it. Sparkling water, like out of a glass. High five on no sharp edges. Yeah, thank you. Wait, doesn't it cut your fucking... The living room. I really love it because the ceilings are enormous. 
I feel like the ceilings are enormous and it's sick, but I feel like it's not very welcoming. It's like so dark. I saw this and I was like, that looks like a jet engine, but it's a lamp. I'm gonna get it. <laughs> a really tall fig plant, a really tall lamp, a big TV, big couch for Bear to sit on and everyone else while we're brainstorming ideas. Obviously there's a burger for Bear, but then also a fireplace. I don't know where the remote is, but that's the fireplace. <laughs> this is more room than I ever had in my life. Uh, childhood home was welfare housing in Brooklyn. Then we were lucky enough to get a slightly bigger home in Staten Island. That's where I lived during high school and part of residency with my dad. Now I have this monster home. Let's go upstairs and see the rest of it. Bro, his, dude, the art is oof. Oof, the art. We have a large bed. Curtains were a disaster. I had no idea how complicated it is to do curtains, but I found out that the higher you put them, the more elegant your windows look. So you get really long curtains. They actually need to touch the floor. Some people don't, but apparently that's stylish. I don't know. We have my watches, this really cool little plant. I don't know the, the type of plant that is. I need to look that up. You've seen the bathroom routine before, so you know what this room's all about. We have a giant tub that besides clipping my toenails in or washing bear in. I Getting good. Uh, he's got good sunlight coming into the bathroom. That's good. Bathroom is pretty uh, classic. You can't really fuck it up. I don't really use. Big shower, toilet area, I guess. And this closet is really cool. We have suits galore in here. This is also where I keep my merch. Really it's cool dope. little details. This is fire. This is a really, really nice, um, walk-in closet it's sick i go a long way like selecting ties and drawers i'm a closet guy sorry and this i don't think it quite matches the aesthetic of the house but i couldn't not get this in the store this was 9.99 on sale at one of those discount stores and i was like how do i not get this this looks like my tub this looks okay it's surprising because like that literally is a better piece of art than anything else it's like anything i've seen so far interior design by target yeah, I mean, it is cute, though. It is cute. That literally is the most, like, soulful piece of art that I've seen so far. Looks like my bear. Let's move on over to our workspace. Most people would make this area a chill space, but for us, this is our chill workspace. So Sam and Dan sit here doing some edits, showing me cuts. I got to show you this cool feature. Sorry, Dan, I'm going to throw your stuff. But look at this. Oh. When you're editing or you need a little computer area, how clutch is that? I thought that's really awesome. You have a very feng shui room. Some of my art from New York City has made its way here. Something that you used to see in that previous apartment. My shelves, Teofimo signed that. Cambosa. He's like a cause guy. Like he's the, he's the type of dude to have a bunch of cause uh, fucking toys in his house. You know what I mean? Just signed that one. Some really cool things that I've collected through my travels. The most Hampton-esque room you see the I feel like a lot of this is basically just um like streamlined and uh made so that it's like it looks and feels the same. There's a sameness to every room, but it ends up looking like but it ends up looking like basically uh a, a wayfair ass house. You know what I mean? Like it has like hotel aesthetics uh, almost. The bed is cream, the carpet is cream, and you have a mirror here, a console, some decorative pieces, and a little je ne, je ne sais quoi. Look at this, curtains, gray, lamps, gray. Dude, every, oh my God, why this is, what is he doing? What is my man doing? He 100%, he 100% should have gone with an interior designer or something. Bed, gray. Bed, cream, floor, cream. What's up? The room in the house where we do the most work. The studio, where we film and make all the YouTube videos that you see every single day. We have Harry here, who's Bear's best friend. We have the logo that you see in the backdrop. Hard to blame him. It takes time to figure out the purpose for each room when you get your first suburban house. I mean, uh, me and him are on the same energy, I guess, in the sense that, like, my house is not exactly well-designed either. Like, if I did a fucking tour, like, I don't think you would consider it to be, like, aesthetically pleasing. It's very lived in, and now uh, three rooms have been converted into different studio spaces. So, 
this is you if cutie didn't help it wasn't cutie mostly it was my mom that that made it look uh better the plant that it's called having a house three times the size of what you need lol yeah i mean this house is uh probably uh word art in a house like this is absolutely criminal i don't care how great you think it is yeah um I think this is this is a massive house. I mean, this is a much larger house than mine, for the record. Um, but is your mom still buying stuff for the house? Yes. Oh my god, too much. I had to like stop her. It attacks me all the time. Some bones. Oh, the 10 million subscriber plaque. Check that out. Actually, in the back it says, "Congrats on passing 10 million subs." It's also really heavy. We have some frontline hero Bob. Rick Owens is home. I was Oh my God. All, right. heads. All the awards we've won. My little fake tennis trophy when I won something. Cool stuff that you've sent me. All the mugs that you've sent, really cool stuff. Here we have all the lights, the cameras, the microphones, my computer. I have my awesome chair here from Secret Lab. And this is where I spend a lot of time. Not only while on camera, obviously, but also when writing scripts, researching videos, that adds up to a lot of time seated in front of my desk, which can have some pretty serious impacts on your health. Sitting can be problematic. I see it every week in my office. Patients come in complaining about low back pain, neck pain, muscle stiffness, and while the causes are usually multifactorial, there's no doubt that extended periods of sitting improperly are playing a significant role. If you sit locked in in the is same he, position for a long for period of time, not only do muscular issues arise, but you can develop blood pooling and swelling in your is legs. This, a chiropractor? this no, usually this is a real happens doctor, in the veins, but now a YouTuber which can lead doctor. to skin changes, aches, and in more dangerous cases, blood clots. Frequently getting up from your desk to stretch your legs can help mitigate the issues that chronic sitting can cause. That's one of my favorite things about this house. Unlike my previous apartments in the city, here I actually have some places to get up and walk around while I'm working. And look, it's not reasonable to say never sit down, which is why it's so important to make sure that when you select- I'm an interior designer. He bought a staged home. All the furniture was included. It does look like it's a staged home for sure. You're not- you're, you're not wrong. Um, a YouTube doctor is still more legitimate than a chiropractor? Well, he's a legitimate doctor as well. Yes. He is a legitimate doctor. What the fuck's going on? He is actually a doctor, guys. Hello? He's just now more of a YouTuber than a doctor, but like he is an the right MD. place to sit, it is ideal. Like, he, he's a doctor who actually practiced... I don't know if he still practices medicine. I think he still practices medicine, so... Or uh, he is a DO, not an MD. Okay, well, he's a, a fucking doctor. Recently, I've become a massive fan of the Secret Lab Titan Evo chair. It allows me to sit naturally, which means regularly changing positions, fidgeting, sliding this way or that way. Bottom line is movement. When you have movement, you have improved circulation. And improved circulation means less blood pooling and more nutrients getting to your muscles. My college and med school, NYIT, actually conducted a study comparing Secret Lab to another top chair brand. They looked at professional gamers who can sit up to 16 hours okay, okay. This I mean, is crazy. a day. Is they found that muscle stiffness amongst Lab? the gamers was lowered while sitting in the Secret Lab chair. I can attest to this in as well, Arion? given the many he's ways you can adjust the fucking, chair for changes in posture. He's saying better than a Herman Miller area. legs and sit comfortably here That's because crazy, of its size. Dog. And funny enough, the unboxing and assembly process was incredibly- Bro, that is that, that has to be a fucking, that has to straight up literally be a fucking paid ad. You ain't beating the Herman Miller dog get the fuck out of here. Dude, I've, I've had a variety of different... I've never had a Secret Lab chair, but I've had a variety of different gamer chairs, and uh, I'll be honest, like, the Hermie is, is solid. And trust me, they did not pay me to say this. They literally... They literally actually told me that they would not work with me, so... And I'm still being real. Really satisfying and interactive. I put together a lot of furniture moving in, and this Secret Lab chair was by far the most enjoyable and simple of a process. Like, even the instruction manual is dope. Look how big this is. It has definitely become my favorite chair since I got into this house. So check out Secret Lab today by visiting the link in the description. And speaking of the house, I think we've seen plenty of the inside, but let's head outside so we can see Bear run around a bit. 
cute. God, the dog is so cute. His dog is so fucking cute. The outdoors here is probably the most special part of the home. This tree is officially my baby. This is a Japanese red maple tree. This thing was expensive because it's at the forefront of the house. We also, for the fall here with That's my buddy sick. Angelo, planted some mums to get some color going. But That's unfortunately, sick. they're taking their time to bloom. The beauty of getting out of the city is that you get a lot more room and a lot more room Jesus for activities. Christ. My goal here is to take Bro, he's on, he's sitting on acres, my man. Jesus, Lord, mercy. That's this a lot of space. giant space here and potentially That's... create a tennis court and or basketball court, or maybe like oh. a combo of both. That's a dream. Oh, but I think it might just so become sick. a reality. What? Also, notice that there's a steep incline here. What do boxers do? They like to do hill sprints. Let me show you one of my favorite HIIT workouts. This is the kind of house people thought you got? Yeah, I mean, it doesn't matter. My house is like literally fucking 750k in ohio max All right, let's take a look at the backyard. First things first, when you come outside, you gotta have a place to eat, brainstorm with the team. That's what this handy so table is for. Scammed? Do you unironically like them? Yes, I do. Because I'm not like a brain broken, cynical person. He's a fine person. He's a nice guy. He's a fucking doctor and a YouTuber that makes, like, doctor shit, he's chill. Like, he's fine. I, You don't have to always have, like, a, a opinion on every single fucking YouTuber that's, like, negative inherently. It's so weird. Yeah, he seems like a chill dude. People don't like him because he's, uh, they'll say he's fat phobic because, you know, he's a doctor, so that's redundant to say. Um... And also, he partied during COVID or some shit. I don't fucking care, okay? Uh, literally. The material is waterproof, rust-proof. You got care. waterproof, even fabrics here, so I can leave it outside when it rains. You have the pergola for added night effects. And then you got to have a hangout area where you... Like, um, he said Russia was communist, lol. Not hating, just thought it was funny. Yes, dude. I, I think a lot of people often forget, and you have to literally... You, you have to remove yourself from the space that you're in for a second. God damn it. This is like wearable technology is going to make people way more brain broken. Do you know how many people think like that? If you're writing off every single person, like, hello, that's like 90% of the American population is like so geared towards like having basically fascist positions. Okay. Like, what are we talking about? Chad has been like, I'm an anarchist. I murdered my parents, actually, because uh, they were incredibly insensitive, you know? You can just spitball some ideas, talk about life, and you do it near the fireplace, which is yeah, really... Yeah, also, it seems like, yeah, his family are Russian immigrants from the 80s. Well, that goes in either direction. For Like, I know someone who's... Um, I know someone whose grandma... Uh, loves, loves the fucking USSR, pushes Z heavily, pushes Z heavily, was a doctor in the, in the USSR, like, loves. Beautiful at night. I've never really had outdoor space like this. It, but goes, to be it goes in either direction. It goes in either direction. It's not hard. To, it's hard not to be jealous of this fine-looking, successful American dream ass. Uh, Chatters want you to address every apolitical YouTuber's opinions. Yeah, it's just like this is it, it's dumb as hell. He was literally born in Russia, and his dad was a doctor in the USSR. 
Just let him chirp. They don't have to like the guy. Let him chirp. No, I think it's good to. I think it's it's important for people to be like a little bit more. Like I want to bludgeon people's heads with like understanding and and develop help them develop important skills like uh, letting things go. Sometimes laughing at comedy and not immediately analyzing it as like what are the political underpinnings here? Like what does this say about the person that I'm watching? Or even like not being so terminally online that you immediately make an assessment about like how problematic a person is. That's it. Okay. Uh, that's my, that's my point. Just be normal. Okay. It's, it's basically, I think this is very valuable skill set for a lot of permanently online, terminally online individuals that frequent this community so that uh, they are just a little bit more, they're a little bit more normal. It's also, especially because like, you don't make this kind of assessment for so many other things that you consume because you just don't know about it, right? Like, everyone has, like, something that they care about that they're stands of, right? Um, watching rich dudes is a valuable skill set. Yeah, you just bastardized my position that I was trying to make. My position was more that, like, uh, you should just be uh, relatively more, uh, I guess, chill. It always is like, be normal. What do I always say? Be normal, be normal, be normal. You don't have to be a buzzkill all the time. You know what I mean? That's it. That's literally, that's all I'm trying to say. And I hope that people understand that because like, there is obviously, uh, there is obviously always going to be like shit that people have done that you would consider problematic or whatever. It's just, um, you know, take it in stride. Expand your horizons. Recognize that, like, uh, you, you have to, I guess you have to, like, meet the person and the expectations you place upon a person with, like, what the broader society looks like and what, like, the average opinion is on issues where it comes from. You said meat. Great example. There are plenty of vegans in this community. If they were constantly making an assessment and, like, we're talking about how, like, they can't. They literally cannot comprehend how people eat meat or consume meat and how is disgusting that is. Many vegans would have three friends, uh, all of them being vegan. Right? Like you, that's a, that's a part of your brain that you have to rewire to be normal, I guess. Um, it's just not, you know, it's not even remotely productive. Uh, also, you know, people that, watch the three minute ad break. Like we find that to be strange here, right? Because everyone subscribes at the top of the hour. So they don't see the three minute ad break. But, um, if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe, right? Like you can, you can change your behavior in that regard. Here's a three minute ad break. Now I've been vegan for 10 years and do not expect people or friends to be vegan or socialist. Exactly. I have no, I, I have no, oh, like I don't try to convert all of my friends at all even a little bit as long as they have like a decent moral compass i'm like yeah that's chill that's great able to have a cup of coffee and come out here early in the morning and get light first thing on you is incredibly healthy we talked about how the photoreceptors in your eyes send direct signals to your brain to set your circadian rhythm when you get exposed People say you defend your YouTuber friends, but you're actually just defending your class, feudal landowners. Yes, exactly. This is true. Goes to light early in the morning, which means that you're not only going to feel more awake, but you're going to have an easier time falling asleep when it gets dark at night. This is, uh, you know, a summer cooking video is coming when you see one of these. This. I feel like should be some sort of zen garden, but I can't quite figure it out. So far, all I did was throw a hammock in there. So if anyone has brainstorm ideas, I'm all for it. I've officially fallen in love with landscaping and gardening. I started buying all sorts of different shrubs, bushes, and trees. This is my holly. Don't eat these berries. YouTube is a historically progressive bourgeois class in the face of reactionary Twitch landowners. True. Berries, they're poisonous. I've taught Bear not to eat them. Hope he doesn't. And obviously, this is my sauna. There That's is going to be a full sauna video because we have to talk about the health benefits of saunas. All right, I've never been one who's too fond of having a pool, 
But now that I have one, I got to say, it's pretty awesome. I I I've been in my pool like three times. I have gotten a lot of utility out of the pool, however, because like, although I stream 10 hours a day during the summer, I will just like let my friends chill, which is pretty cool. Like, as you guys also know, um, I've personally been in my own pool three times. But, uh, but many people, you have a pool? I do, yes. Many people love that I have a pool and they'll just hit me up and be like, can I use the pool? I'm like, yeah, of course. I, I will literally just stream in here while there's hella people uh, that are in the pool. Can't swim, bro? No, I can actually swim quite well. Well, also the pool is not that big, so it's like three fucking strokes and I'm on the other side, but... That time when your dad was saying there's three Marats in the pool? Yeah, when Chapo uh, visited. I love being able to come out here and take a dip. You know who also enjoys taking a dip? This guy. This is a salt water pool. It has a little bit of chlorine, but much less than a typical chlorinated pool. In general, having a lot of chlorine is not great for your lungs. There's even been some initial research, nothing proven, showing that chlorinated pools and heavy exposure to chlorinated pools can trigger asthma in young folks. So I much prefer salt. Now the Newfoundland is actually a legit water animal and he likes to swim. He has webbed paws. Show your skills, Newfoundland. Come on. Come on. Show your skills. Come here. Ah, oh, there he is. That's crazy there that he, he did is. that. That's going to take like 11 hours to fucking dry out. That's the only reason why I haven't uh, put Kaya in the pool. Uh, no, Kaya does not swim. There he is. She probably would. He also would. likes to eat she the water would enjoy a little bit it. when he swims. And you also have to really be careful because he can scratch you completely by accident. There was, a, there was a girl in my exchange program that would try to tell me to just be happy and talk about depression and mental health problems as being spoiled. So I think there are for sure reasons not to hang with people based on worldviews. Yeah, remember when I said, like, when you're watching a YouTuber, um, you don't immediately have to be like, what are their political, uh, you know, uh, points on, on any issue whatsoever when they're not talking about that or telegraphing that at all? Comparing that to someone who undermines uh, or, or makes fun of uh, or basically, like, uh, says your own... Uh, personal mental health complications are nothing, belittles you for that, is the same. You're right. Yeah, when I said that, I actually meant, like, befriend Nazis, you know, who are literally in the process of doing hate crimes. Join them. That's what I meant. Remember that conversation from five minutes ago, ten minutes ago, before the top of the hour ad break was, was run? That's not what I mean, okay? I'm not saying that. And also make up your own mind, certainly in your own personal life. Okay. But what we're talking about here is just like fucking, I don't have to hear about like the background of every uh, goddamn, uh, every goddamn YouTuber. Every time I watch a YouTuber. <laughs> every time he thinks I'm drowning, I'm not drowning. Good for him, man. All right, how about his dog or yours who would win? His dog's pretty freaking cute. All right, let's look at Rick Owens' minimal home while I go pee real quick. working with a dealer in New York who would send me images of sarcophaguses that were up for auction. Finally, this one came. It was so worth the wait. We call her Liza after Liza Minnelli. Hi Vogue, I'm Rick Owens and this is my place in Concordia, Italy. My factory is across the street and this is where I come to do my collections. In this space, I don't like living with a lot of things. I'm not very acquisitive, but the things that I do live with are very special to me and I'm going to show you around. Okay. Oh, 
I wouldn't call myself a collector, maybe more of an eliminator, but the few things that I have are probably things that I've wanted for a really long time. This is a George Mean sculpture. He was a Belgian sculptor associated with the Viennese Secession. It's called Kneeling Youth, and it's a study, I believe, for a fountain that's encircled by these youths leaning over it. It's about introversion, introspection, narcissism. Well, this is my interpretation. I just like the mood that, that it creates. It's kind of severe and a little bit maudlin. A Did Dr. Mike say he's house in the motherfucking Hamptons? I don't think he said that, but it could be. A little bit melancholy, but also vaguely spiritual. When I am in Concordia, I... This guy looks like a necromancer. Is Rick Owens, man. <laughs> I am focused on creating. This is a period of rigor, and this is a period of training. And the gym takes up pretty much half the apartment. In any place that I've ever lived in, including Hollywood Boulevard, Los Angeles, I've always insulated and upholstered my spaces with army blankets, vintage army blankets. What? This is inspired by Joseph. That's kind of sick. That's, dude, god damn. Okay, chatters were saying you would hate this, but like, not really. I think this is dope as fuck. Boys, who was my first art hero when I went to art school, and he used army blankets as a symbol of protection and insulation and isolation. Bro, he he's just like, it's the, <laughs> I mean, I think like the sarcophagi is that, is that the way to say it? I don't know. That is not. The, the mummies are weird, okay? Really fucking weird. Why would you want to have, like, a literal... Why would you want, like, a real... Like, real-life dead person in your house? I mean, I, I assume they don't have the, the real Army dead person. The Army Surplus Store was where I would get my original fabrics. I would make clothes out of the duffel bags, out of blankets, out of parachute clothes. Since then which must be like 30 years ago. Every place I have, I cover with army blankets. When I work on interiors or furniture, I'm pretty much a reductivist. I don't think about domestic details that much. They feel a little fussy to me. So the domesticity in this apartment is pretty minimal. That's my closet. I don't have very many clothes. That's a little stack of t-shirts, a little stack of shorts for here, for the factory, for every day. And that's pretty much it. I always kind of like sticking to a decision. So when I think- Bro, he sounds like Asmongold a little bit. He also kind of looks like what Asmongold would look like at that age. I, I don't know what's going on. I'll pretty much stick to it for a couple of years. My clothing choices have evolved from- Bro, he's literally, he's Asmongold if Asmongold was, was dripped out, okay? <laughs> Hollywood Boulevard, it's always been some kind of shorts and it just gradually changes over the years. Every collection, I just have- Asmin goth. <laughs> Plenty more shorts made. The difference here is that there's clearly an intentionality to everything in the space. Dr. Mike's felt thrown together in Nouveau Riche. Yes. Like, I can't believe Chatters compared this to Dr. Mike's house. This is literally like, you might not appreciate it, okay? You might not like it. You might think it's creepy and weird, which, by the way, I think he probably loves that you, a normie, would think this is creepy and weird anyway. But this is literally like, this is, this man is like, he basically is living inside of an art exhibit, okay? Like, that's, th th to compare this to like, uh, to compare this to like, even when you look at like Dr. Mike's, um, uh, even when you look at his like shelves full of things that he's gotten all around the travels, like there was like cause toys and shit on there. This dude's house is like, he literally is like stealing art from countries that he's not supposed to have type shit. And I just have little stacks of them everywhere. When I first put this place together seven years ago, I wanted Italian rationalism. I wanted something kind of monastic, something kind of severe. I like the classical tone 
a travertine interior sets. I like putting myself into that zone. I wanted some place. What does this guy do? It. It's Rick Owens. You guys don't know who Rick Owens is? He's like an insanely famous designer. Remember those parachute pants? Not parachute, but like low drop crotch pants that I made Austin buy and the shoes? That's Rick Owens. Is it very, very, very famous designer? I don't know because I'm poor. Bitch, I was eating manager special chicken and I know what the fuck Rick Owens was. It's just about like interests. People always, people always personally. Oh my God. Oh my God. I'm losing it. No, no, dude. There's hella people in this chat that are also broke that fucking know who Rick Owens is. It's about interest. It's about interest. It's about interest. That's it. A lot of you motherfuckers want to, want to LARP as like, uh, you know, living ascetic lifestyles. You are interested in buying a 4090. Maybe you can't afford it, but you know the inner workings of an NVIDIA graphics card and what that GPU would allow you to do. Okay? Some people don't know that. That's, that's it. That's like... Forty ninety has a function. Sure. Okay. Warhammer figurines then. It's not about interest. Interest, Avi. If you knew you'd never be able to afford these things, you drop the interest because it hurts. I mean, I was still very much interested in this when I never thought I would be able to afford them either. But regardless. It would be a blank space for me so I could get into a zone of putting a collection together. I might have overdone. It's also another one of those, like, it's also another one of those instances where, like, um, this is, once again, probably the worst. Do you even own any Rick Owens? I own one pant. One of the pants. The, the same pants that I made Austin buy. And I wear it all the time. And they're sick. Um, but a lot of the stuff I don't really like. Uh, a lot of the stuff that he, he, he makes is, like, too crazy for me. The drop crotch ones, yeah. Being into the art of fashion, I sometimes forget this is so foreign for a lot of basic folks. Yes. That's the thing, like, um, a, a, a lot of people, especially in this community, will go and look at this and, like, uh, and, and I thought you had dark shadows. I, I don't think so. I don't think I have any dark shadows or anything. Um... Some people haven't seen Maison, Maison Margiela Hot Couture 24, and I'm so sad for them. Um, this is not a good space. No, Dark Shadow is, a, is the uh, Rick Owens is like other. I mean, it's still made by Rick Owens. Um, it's. Uh, how do I describe this? I don't think a lot of people that are spending a lot of time on Twitch, especially in this community, give a fuck about fashion and probably find it to be like disgusting, uh, extravagant, sometimes gaudy, and uh, and and and, um, and totally inaccessible, gate kept, paywalled, all that shit. Okay, they don't see it as like a way to express yourself artistically, or or they give a shit about the craft at all, right? And that's perfectly valid. That just doesn't mean that it is, um, that doesn't, that doesn't change the reality. Here's how I know most people actually don't give a shit about fashion because no one has even brought up how problematic Rick Owens is. Okay. Which if I recall correctly, much like many of the other designers, he's a very problematic guy. So that's how I knew this community has no fucking clue about, uh, about any of this shit. You just looked at him and you were like, he's a weirdo. Well, it's definitely beyond that. People conflate fashion with bourgeois excess, but you can be broke and still have drip. Yes. Um, all of the all of the fashion lovers in the chat are holding their tongues so well so far. Do you consider yourself a revolutionary communist? Do you think I consider myself a revolutionary communist? Ask that question to yourself. Does the guy who regularly talks about how sick it is that the abundance under neoliberalism, uh, neoliberal capitalism has actually created a, a, a effective sedation upon a mass population that he thinks should be replicated in every other 
uh, economic organization of society to the best of the ability of whatever central planning mechanism exists, do you think that guy who likes luxury items and is like very open-minded about people uh, in the, no matter where uh, he was in his own personal life and his own personal finances has always been uh, someone who understands that people like to consume things and it makes them feel good and they should be able to do that. Do you think that that guy's a revolutionary communist? No, I'm not a revolutionary communist. Yeah, gamers spend a fortune on skins for their characters. They care about fashion more than they will admit. That's, that's true, that too. And it, I put travertine everywhere I could. I put it on the walls, on the floor. I wanted a travertine box to work in kind of like a cave, a travertine cave, something stone. It's pretentious and for the most part, big fashion names, not about expressing yourself, but much more being a part of an exclusive in-group. I say this as someone who loves genuine individual style, but Rick Owens and all these other big brands are not about creativity or breaking norms. They were. It's just that when you are for an extended period of time, the way that fashion works is that it trickles down and it becomes the norm and therefore, if you are not constantly improving upon your original, uh, the original ingenuity of your of your artistic expression, then yeah, you end up becoming uh, boring. And just the only thing that defines your uh, your product is the is the price point. It's so funny though because it's like, it's it's funny because like, there are entire fields studying like what people like Rick Owens has done or like the history of fashion. Like this is an entire thing. So like people cast it. Like it's so funny when people just go, dude, this shit sucks. <laughs> it's so stupid. And you move on and you can, you could be a little bit more open-minded about it. I think it is, it is art, it's wearable art. I know that I wanted to live in stone. I've always been impressed by the skulls in Italian churches. This skull I got from a medical school auction That's years insane. ago. And I use it as a memento mori, as a reminder that all is vanity, that ah! one day my skull is gonna be on somebody else's desk. So seize the day, seize the moment. That is fucking, oh, oh, that's a random person's skull dog. That's weird as hell. That's weird as hell, dude. The pistols are from my father's collection. He was a very conservative, kind of stridently moralist who I had a. Oh, <laughs> suspicious that his quite conservative father had Nazi pistols. Okay, dog. <clears throat> Difficult relationship with. We used to be horrified, mom and me. About this is your hero? Wait, I never said he's my hero. What the fuck are you talking about? What? Let me tell you something, okay? I never even remotely touched upon that. Where are you getting this? Defending the principle behind, like, understanding why people appreciate fashion is entirely different than writing for Rick Owens. This man is... Far from a hero of mine, okay? Not even remotely close. About having guns around the house, but now they are an affectionate reminder of him. And I like the association with the kneeling youth, with the gym in between. The vulnerability of youth, the vitality of the gym, and the resolution of the skull and the pistols. The terrace overlooks the factory right over there. I asked the gardeners. Who are my heroes? Jeremy Corbyn. Okay. That's my hero. A real life, a real life in the real world existing person. Okay. Not fucking Rick Owens. The landscape artist who Y'all are so Never dumb. touch this <laughs> garden. I wanted it as shaggy, as chaotic. 
as wild as possible. Oh, look at those. Beautiful. Where does he live? Shaggy. These chairs are by the Italian futurist artist Giacomo Balla. Oh, he lives in Italy? They're very Italy. severe and yet kind of fantastic at the same time. Giacomo Balla is usually a lot more colorful than this, so I was really lucky to find something so subdued. They are so uncomfortable. I was about to they're, say, there's fucking they're other hard, eyes off. The angle of the back, it's you have to sit so upright. So it feels like a church pew, a little it bit. It looks punishing. like a church pew. I rarely sit in them, but I love them so much. Nothing blows up chat like when Hansen talks about fashion. I'm here for it. Yeah. I think a lot of people, a lot of people look at like, um, the way that we talk about fashion in here, a lot of people think like it's just about like not looking weird and gross, I guess. But I think beyond that, there is like, um, at least at this stage, right? At this stage of fashion, it turns into, um, a, a method of expression. Uh, there's a lot of craft and a lot of art artistry that goes into it. You can literally see the same discourse as chat in the YouTube comments. Yeah, probably. Um, but yeah, it's um, it is a it is a form of self expression. I mean, a lot of it is unrelatable to most people. Um, this part is definitely true. But having said that, I think a, a, like Rick Owens is is relatively inaccessible. You can still, if you do care about it, you can still find uh rick owens pieces like older pieces uh in like thrift stores and shit like that if you did actually care about that sort of thing um but regardless of i think chat feels like being fashionable is classist yeah uh A lot of people don't understand this. For some socioeconomically marginalized folks, fashion is a genuine form of class mobility. I guess. Chat wears graphic tees and cargo shorts. Don't take fashion advice from these nerds. No. Stop saying only in LA. Oh my God. Speaking from experience, I don't even know what you're referencing, so I don't know. But I think one of the I think one of the things that people <laughs> one of the things that people like maybe if they do travel, right? One of the things that you see if you go to like France, if you go to Paris, or if you go to Italy, if you go to Rome, or maybe not Rome, but like you go to like any Italian city, and you see like a level of of elevated fashion. And you don't really even think about why that is the way that it is. It's not like every single person that is living in said cities are also incredibly wealthy. As a matter of fact, they're oftentimes not wealthy at all it, it, when adjusted to like American wages and American standards. Same with even New York. Okay. I think that much of that definitely comes from yeah the average japanese person mogs americans fashion wise even like 60 year old grandmas in the country a lot of that comes from i think uh holistically uh living around so much art maybe and also uh caring about it much of this can also be good tailoring uh, and and uh putting a level of attention and detail into uh what you wear and you consume that when you go, if you are fortunate enough to be able to visit these places, you kind of look at that and you, you recognize it. Okay. But then you don't really think about like how that happens. Motherfuckers like him are how that happens throughout history. They've always been, um, like a lot of these designers are always like the ones that work in these massive fashion houses. Like they study this. They, they learn it and they are looking for new ways of uh, looking uh, for new ways of like pushing boundaries, right? And not to get very uh, Devil's Wear Prada here, but that video, uh, that, that famous like Meryl Streep moment in Devil Wears Prada is real. It goes from, 
it goes from um it goes from runways all the way to uh it goes from runways to like rich people wearing it and and uh, you know many 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 seasons later all the way into the fucking bargain bin of a Ross dress for less yeah it is the uh, it is straight up the scene from Devil Wears Prada blue sweater moment because it is, that is real. That is how this works. Cerulean blue. Here. Where are the belts for this? Uh, why is no one ready? Here. It's a tough call. They're so different. Mm. <laughs> Stanley Tucci the goat. Something funny. No, 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 nothing's, you know, it's just that both those belts look exactly the same to me. You know, I'm still learning about this stuff and uh, <laughs> this stuff. You also completely blow up by Rick, uh, calling Rick super controversial, though. Simply not true in comparison to like Wang. Alexander Wang is who I was, I think, mistaking him with, by the way. So I think you're right. Or Carl Lagerfeld. Oh, Okay, I see. You think this has nothing to do with you. <coughs> you go to your closet and you select, I don't know, that lumpy blue sweater, for instance, because you're trying to tell the world that you take yourself too seriously to care about what you put on your back. But what you don't know is that that sweater is not just blue. It's not turquoise. It's not lapis. It's actually cerulean. And you're also blithely unaware of the fact that in 2002, Oscar de la Renta did a collection of cerulean gowns. And then I think it was Yves Saint Laurent, wasn't it, who showed cerulean military jackets? I think we need a jacket here. Mm. And then cerulean quick... Am I a bad person if I don't care about fashion? Fuck no. Not even remotely. What are you talking about? It's just, it's just an interest, okay? Our interests as human beings is what makes us so fucking unique, Okay? What it's just normal. It's normal to be. Uh, it, it's 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 perfectly normal to not give a shit about fashion. Okay. It's perfectly normal to not give a shit about fashion. Okay. It, it's it's perfectly valid. You you don't become a bad person at all. It's just another interest. That's it. Um, the the point I'm always trying to stress here. Whenever I talk about stuff like this, is that. It's it's valid to chat. Are you basically the idea of at this point? Yeah, it's it's valid to to be interested in things like this. Okay, perfectly valid. Quickly showed up in the collections of eight different designers. I'm gonna uh, filter down through be the open -minded. department stores and then trickle on down into some tragic casual corner where you no doubt fished it out of some clearance bin however that blue represents millions of dollars and countless jobs and it's sort of comical how you think that you've made a choice that exempts you from the fashion industry when in fact you're wearing a sweater that was selected for you by the people in this room from a pile of stuff she ate she did she left no crumbs and this is huffing farts yeah dude i know i know you you're you're right it's it's totally silly. The key part of the scene isn't that Andy doesn't care about fashion, but she's actively judging those who do. She's thinking she's superior because she's not in the fashion scene. Exactly why I showed this, because it's it's one of those things where it is it's one of those things where it's like it transcends beyond like it, it is a part of your existence, whether you like it or appreciate it or not. If you're putting on a fucking article of clothing, there's a history associated with it. The colors that are being used, the sewing that is being used, the techniques being used uh, have, have come throughout history. There's a reason why people fucking study it, uh, you know, for half a goddamn decade and then go into this business. That's it. Wait, what? Your ticket to six months in Japan. Japan is launching a digital nomad visa that allows people to work remotely from Japan up to six months. If you have an annual income of over 10 million yen, you might qualify. Read more in Japan Times. Yo.
What if I walk into Meryl Streep's fashion job naked? Then what's she going to say? Nothing. Because I got no fashion on me. <laughs> True. Okay, fair. You win that one, okay? But you're also going to jail, so... I feel like this chat thinks proximity to luxury fashion equates to being pro-capital, which isn't true at all. Yeah, all the shit gets expensive, but if you think... What? Virginie Baird is hand-sewing Chanel pieces and not the working-class seamstresses in Paris, then... Dot, dot, dot. Like, I think uh, dye workwear it does a pretty solid job of, like, merging politics with fashion quite expertly, in my opinion. I'm not just saying that because he fucking finally unblocked me, even though he was he had blocked me for some weird reason uh, beforehand. I don't know why. But, like, uh, he does a good job of this. Like, listen, you guys love Mao, right? You love Mao. He has, like, Mao had iconic fashion, too. Same with fucking Che Guevara. Same with Fidel Castro. These are all... These these are all uh, uh, historical important figures that also definitely cared about the way that they look. You know what I mean? It's normal. It's a it's a form of expression. It basically it, it genuinely doesn't matter that you think that like these guys are above that sort of thing when they're not. He apparently blocks you if you disagree with his fashion takes. I've never disagreed with his fashion takes. Yeah, same with the Nazis. Fuck you. Yes. No, you're absolutely right. Same with the Nazis. Exactly. It's another form of expression. I'm not even saying it's good or bad. Okay? So fascism absolutely relied heavily, heavily on aesthetics. Yes, there are entire, there, there's, there are YouTube videos that we've even watched here in, as far as like the, the, um, the aesthetics of of fa uh, the aesthetics of of fashion or not fashion sorry the aesthetic choices of fascists yeah and what that and what that means why it even existed <sighs> yeah But yeah, my first and only well-paying job with health insurance without a degree specifically because I perceive as fashionable, familiar with high fashion. Yeah. Anyway. Fascists hated modern and contemporary art. That's why hating on modern art is known as a Nazi trope. Yeah, exactly. They considered they considered anything beyond classical arts uh, to be... Um, they considered anything beyond that to be morally perverse, morally degenerate, re uh, and, and they had a reactionary approach to art as well. 100%. If you want pretty privilege, start dressing nicer. This is a message for chat. Eh. It, it, you also have to remember, like, for example, for me... I have a lot of, I have a lot of, of, uh, issues with fashion. A lot of people like dunk on me and make fun of me, but they don't realize that it is because like I have, uh, a very bad sizing. Like things don't sit on me in the way that they're supposed to. And it's a, a lot harder to figure out a lot harder to figure out like what looks good because it's, you know. A millionaire circle jerk that art is today is not the things that Nazis hated. What are you talking about? We're not talking about like fucking Art Basel and like the weird crypto shit that people are selling. Okay. We're talking about people that are like, I don't know. I mean, I'm not super invested in, in uh, art, so I can't talk about it that much. Do you get your stuff tailored? No. Too much. Too much time. And I've probably kind of... Please get that Baki physique. There you'll find a problem. Finding a size that fits. Dude, I don't have the Baki physique. But uh, no, my sizing is so beyond the norm that it's hard. Knock them off with my furniture collection to a certain extent.
One of my favorite things that I do like to wear, even though I don't wear very many things, is this robe. I've indulged myself with this from my Spring Summer 17 collection. It is silk taffeta lined with a cotton pele ovo fabric. It is regal and cozy on a winter morning when I'm wandering around having coffee on the terrace. But my favorite object is this one. I was working. I remember when you were in Japan and you said you wanted to get Japanese denim and immediately people said just get normal denim since it was the same thing. Yeah, and remember when I couldn't fit into any of that? Working with a dealer in New York who would send me images of sarcophaguses that were up for auction. And they were always a little bit too colorful and they always kind of looked a little fake to me. But anyway, finally this one came and so it was so worth the wait. We call her Liza after Liza Manette. This motherfucker doesn't like the the original way that sarcophagus looks. Space in this building became available a few years ago, and we entered into an agreement to collaborate with the family that was running it and to turn it into an Owens Court bar. It is part canteen for- Have you ever looked into any Scandinavian brands and designers? You know what's really funny that you said about that? I, when I was in Italy, I walked into a store and I got this beanie from, and it's called Norse Projects. The brand was called Norse Projects. I just needed a beanie because it was really cold, right? And I had no idea what this actually was. I had no idea what this brand was. I wear it all the time now. It's great, okay? And it turns out since then, I've actually bought a bunch of their shirts. I've worn a couple of their shirts on stream this week they actually do fit at least the double xl does genuinely fit me well so there you go chatter you're you're not wrong norske projects isn't that expensive either it's not very it's not crazy expensive Scandinavian brands, Acne Studios, our legacy. I wrote an entire paper on degenerate art during Hitler's time uh, for an art history class in grad school. Everyone wanted to go see the degenerate art show put on by the Nazis. Lines around the block. The real art shows Hitler approved of were, were, were pretty dead, lol. For our crew, our team that is in the factory right across the street, but it's also for the community. I mean, it's open to everybody. We've included furniture pieces from the Rick Owens Furniture Collection. We have bronze pieces from our accessories and home objects collection. And the pièce de résistance of this space is this mural by my daughter, Scarlet Rouge. This when I said my rich friend that's in the fashion that I understand why the fuck he would spend that money on some flip-flops, he told me that I wouldn't understand it anyway. Tell me that it ain't some pretentious elitist bullshit. Brother, you are absolutely right. There are certain pieces that people fucking spend a shit ton of money on specifically because of the brand, okay? And you're 100% correct on that. In my opinion, there is like, there is something to be said about the unique Rick Owens pieces. Even Balenciaga. Balenciaga has a lot of hits, but it has far more misses, in my opinion. Gross as fuck. Like, uh, Vetmon, another brand, okay? I feel like that about Supreme. The irony is Supreme actually isn't fucking expensive if you buy it on retail. It, the only reason why people think Supreme is expensive is because nobody goes to the Supreme store and buys, like, regular Supreme pieces or buys it retail. They fucking buy it. They only know, that uh, they only know like, the famous Supreme uh, pieces that are uh, sold in secondary markets. So a lot of that shit is, yeah, going to be way more expensive. I have uh, like two, oh, I have a Supreme t-shirt and a Supreme long sleeve. I bought it at the store when I was, I think I was in France or something. I bought it at the store uh, because I was like, I, I've never been inside of a Supreme store. And it's also not high fashion either, regardless. Um, but I bought it at the store. It was literally the same price of a regular t-shirt. That's it.
And it's also the same sizing of a regular t-shirt. Balenciaga should just be runway avant-garde stuff. I think Balenciaga has like really cool things. And then a lot of gross, like uh, logo mania abundance that I despise. I've always despised it. Shadows don't know about luxury basics. That's why the real bourgeoisie buy, not Gucci and Ricks. Yes, that's the other part of this story as well. It's like now that kind of stuff is becoming more accessible, like the Loro Pianas or whatever the fuck. Um, and people know about it. But like what actually super fucking wealthy people buy is what is now a trend on TikTok called quiet luxury. It's the stuff that's like cashmere. It's way more reserved. Uh, the the quality is like really the quality and the worksmanship is like really elevated, but it doesn't actually. Uh, it's not actually like in your face. I don't think Laura Piana. I guess Laura Piana kind of would have fit the bill, but I don't know if it's like actually a part of that. Um, but I love Balmain. Like, see, that's this is what's interesting about this. I despise Balmain. I think Balmain is awful. I think it's dog shit. I'm not going to shit on you for it, but I do think that it is like very, I think Balmain is so gaudy. Every, the way I treat, the way I think about fashion is exactly the way I think about like, um, the way I think about fashion is exactly the same way I think about like music, right? I know people are going to say, oh, you're fucking, you don't listen to music a song, but like I used to, right? I have, I had artists that I love, right? When you buy a CD as an old person, okay? Or when you stream an artist's like new EP, right? I love Yoji Yamamoto, the goat. I have a lot of Yoji Yamamoto stuff that I've thrifted as a matter of fact, and we're very accessible and very cheap. Um, Yoji is... But again, Yoji Yamamoto is a great example. There's some shit that is just really weird and I don't like it. Okay. But anyway, my point was, my point was, um, you're not going to like all the songs thrifted in Japan. <laughs> I mean, but I think you can still thrift it in America too. But anyway, um, when you, when you listen to your favorite artist and you stream their album, you're not going to like all the songs. Some of those songs you're not going to like at all. Some of those songs are going to be like for the radio. Some of those songs are going to be real hits that you appreciate. And that's the same way I feel about that is the same way I feel about fashion as well. I look at fashion houses and there are bits and pieces that I appreciate and like. Okay. And then there are a, a whole bunch of things that I don't like. Balenciaga is a, is a great example of this. There's some stuff where you're just like, damn, that shit's great. It looks awesome. I, um, one brand that I think is really sick that I love that I actually don't, not sure you understand women's wear. I don't understand women's wear. I never said I did. Um, for example, one brand that I love right now is Le Mer. Okay. It's incredible. Problem is their sizing is awful. Okay. They're actually relatively affordable for a high, uh, like a, it's a French brand. They're relatively affordable for luxury uh, clothing, like elevated high, high end clothing. Okay. But unfortunately they have Euro sizing and lol, they're not affordable. No, it's like if you are looking at luxury clothing, $200 for pants is affordable in comparison to what the other brands are selling. And no, I didn't crash the website. I tried to get on the website and I couldn't get on it before I even said La Mer. So, cause I wanted to show it to you. Yeah. You're talking $200 versus $2,000. Here are some of the, Oh God, it's so beautiful. Look at the silhouette. Look at the fucking silhouette of this, dude. Oh, God. Layers upon layers. It's so... It's awesome. I'm currently wearing Le Mer pants, as a matter of fact. These pants that I got, they're the relaxed ones. I think it was like... I think it was like 150 bucks or 200 bucks. Uh, they are super, super fucking comfy. Um, and they look great. 
Oh, also, yes. If you didn't know, Lemire's Designer collabs with Uniqlo on their Uniqlo U collection. They aren't as cool as the original collections, though. But if you want something that is, like, way more affordable, Uniqlo U is uh, made by the same designer. So you're right. It's hard not to chirp about how boring and pretentious fashion time is. Well, the reason why I tried to like explain it ahead of time is that I, it's a, it's a way of self-expression. Okay. It's a way to express yourself. Like, wait, so silhouette means they're a thin material. No, uh, it doesn't mean that it's a thin material. It can be made out of a uh, thick material as well. The thing that I like about it is that like, it's very flowy. It also feels really good. I can tell you from the pants I'm wearing right now, they feel so fucking good. It, it's how it drapes on your body. The shape. The shape that it creates when you wear it. Forms of classes expressionism. Um, I think the sticker shock comes from our addiction to fast fashion. It could be. That's a whole different conversation, for the record. The idea, do you fuck with COS? Yes, COS is another brand that is like, well, I can't fit in it, but it is another brand that is like more affordable uh, uh, as far as its price point goes in comparison to uh, like the Gucci's of the world, right? Um, but uh, overall... Oh, yeah. These are the ones that I have, literally. Yeah, it's soft silk. The relaxed pants. They're out of stock. I got them for, I think, like 150 bucks or 200 bucks or something, which is, again, um, very affordable for its um, very affordable for its quality and its timelessness, I guess, in comparison to like other. The other ones are more expensive. There's a lot of like very expensive stuff. Um, but it varies. Like the price points vary. There's like shit that you can get for $1,200, which is very expensive, right? I mean, or expensive for sure. And then there's stuff that you can get for $300, which is not so expensive in comparison to other, uh, uh, in comparison to other, like, uh, uh, luxurious, uh, high fashion uh, brands. But so the the other thing is, um, what was I gonna say? You can collab with Pape San. Who's that? He will be in LA. Oh, he's the he's the French guy. I'm trying to get uh. Lucas to come uh, for for the streamer awards as well. But um, as far as like, as far as, for example, the socialism of it all is that ironically, um, Ironically, it is uh, shit that is like made to last that is way more expensive that uh, is, is oftentimes made with like craftsmanship that are better paid with materials that are uh, nicer in comparison to the fast fashion of it all, which is like the hyper exploitative aspect of fashion in general. Now, the, the irony, of course, is that that's one less sustainable. OK, and two made in a fucking factory uh, with like maybe even sometimes, uh, you know, uh, child labor. Okay. But to be, but there is something to say about like ASOS, right. And, and all these other brands, like I still wear, you guys know that, that one denim jacket I wear all the time with the red stripe across it. That's an ASOS jacket. I've had that jacket for 10 years. I still wear it all the time. So some of the fast fashion shit you don't actually have to just throw away H&M really bad, right? H&M is really, really bad. 
uh, for the most part. Every t-shirt I had from H&M back in the day just like rips apart uh, and is just like, it basically perishes it, it with like three, um, with three tumbles. Whereas like that one, that one long sleeve shirt that I wear, the, the, uh, the Yoji, the Y3 uh, long sleeve patterned sweater I wear all the time. I will wear that sweater for the rest of my life. Does that make sense? ASOS is shit nowadays, probably. Is this a Lululemon safe space? I think Lululemon is fine. They make good, uh, good quality gear. I mean, I beat the shit out of my Lululemon shorts that I had for like ten years. Um, you're doing what now? What? I mean, I, I still, um, I still wear a lot of the same things that I bought many, many years ago. I, um, I love beating up my clothes. You know what I mean? Cause it, it's way more comfy, which includes underwear. Oh shit. They're here. Hold up. What's your favorite type of silhouette? My favorite type of silhouette is um Why is the open? Okay. Unfortunately, there's not much affordable and good looking fashion for plus size. Fast fashion is the only one that wants to cater to us. Yeah, that's true. Um, hold on. I got guests. Uh, we have two guests, not one, two guests for the price of one, uh, Denims and Jenna Miari are here. Uh, I am going to greet them and have them. Oh, shit. And then I'm going to be ordering Turkish food for all of us. And we are going to rank said Turkish food together. Okay, we're going to do a tier list together of the Turkish food. <clears throat> yes, please be respectful to our guests, of course, as always. Um, oh shit, I don't even know if the third mic works. Fuck, I wish March was here. He said he was going to. There's one spot that I order from that has really good uh, Turkish food, yes. Türkiye'deki kadar iyi midir? Hayır. It's not as good as... Uh... It's of course not as good as uh, the Turkish food in Turkey, of course, but it's still pretty good. Um, do you get any obscure Turkish dishes? Yeah, we'll see. Does your family cook any decent food when you visit? Of course. Also, um, the three minute outbreak is upon us, ladies and gentlemen. Before I forget, let me run that. Are you guys coming in or what? Oh, you need to pee? Okay. Apparently, the Turkish food in Germany is better. That's not true. Okay. We're getting re Turkish restaurant where I live in Montana. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel good. I'm happy for people. Okay. Um... And I'm going to show them your TikToks, too.
Boom. I think this works. Okay. Um. Yes. Uh, hold on. I'm going to tell his ass is a thing. I'm mentally preparing myself uh, for Arab food to be called Turkish shake in my head. Okay, we'll mentally prepare harder. Shawarma, it's Ottoman, but made in the Ottoman held Levant. Yeah, it's Turkish. Sorry, that's how it works. I don't make the rules, except I do make the rules. Um, okay. Denim's having a denim's length intro even on someone else's stream. Yeah, they're getting ready. They're, uh, I don't know why it's taking them so long, but. Who are you doing? You can open it. Hold on. You can actually come say, come say hi. And. Uh, all right, we'll see how I'm going to do this. What is the Roadcaster Pro 2's like? What is it called? Is it Road Central? The app? It is Road Central, the app. Oh, fuck. I need to update. No, I don't want to update right now. Shit. Did you just say shawarma is Turkish? Are you a road man now? I don't know what that means. But maybe. Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna let her out. You can come say he's I'm gonna let her out in a, I I gotta I gotta do that. If you update it, it will turn your shit off. That's what I mean. I can't even update it, but I need to, I need to fix the third mic. And I don't know how to do that. What are you doing? How do I fix this? Does anyone know? Any of the sound guys know? Uh, I don't want to update it. I just want to like, uh, make the third mic not be shitty. If I update it, it's going to power cycle most likely and break it anyway um audio heads can help once yeah i know audio heads will only fucking scream about being uh oh my god everyone is sending me fucking wikipedia pages about shawarma She's not even a year yet. Not even a year old yet. No on the ground reporting this stream. Oh my god, dude! Imagine being such a fucking loser that you come in here on a on a Saturday. I'm on the ground with your mom. Okay, I'm fucking your mom, chatter. Um. Yes. Um, hey, what's up, guys? Hi. Hi. What happened to your pants? Oh. Yeah, oh, my bad. I just, it, wow. it's just, it looked ripped. Um, okay. I need to, I need to fix the third mic, and I don't know how to do that, because uh, Jenna just said that uh, you were coming last second, so I don't know how to, like, I don't know how to do the software side of that, unfortunately, um, but I'll figure it out. But yeah, we have Denims and Gentlemen Maori in the building. I am going to uh I am going to make them eat Turkish food and then we're going to tier list it. Okay? No, March is of course. Uh, I asked March, I need his help, and he fucking literally said, "Sure, of course, I'll do it." And then he never showed up. So, I'm kind of cooked. Anyway, regardless, can I have my shirt? What shirt? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> Well, you texted it to me. All right. Um, Kaya does not get to eat uh, the Turkish food. Anyway, you guys sit here and talk uh, to them while I take Kaya out and, and do some work. Hi, chat. What? Actually pregnant?
my wife <laughs> hi chat how are you it's good seeing you again for our annual yearly stream it's like you don't even have them you're on solo adventure now i feel like we hang out enough on twitter though i've been making friends uh you guys know vulcan parrot right oh yeah he's been he's been teaching me about warhammer 40k so oh that's been too far from the mic <laughs> hello Talk to talk to it. I don't know which. There's so many. Why does he have so many friends? I don't think it. I. Why does he have three friends so close. going at the same time? Oh, it's a mic. Get very close. Are you Turkish? Am I? No. <laughs> no, that's for real. Um. Is the noise get really bad, chat? And his mic is muted. Yeah, the third microphone is currently muted, but even if I unmute it, it's just like it's not, it's not doing anything. Also, don't pull on it too much because it'll it'll break for sure. It'll drop. It's only on your mic. Yeah, you need to get close up with the mic, close up and personal. Yeah, there's hair everywhere. She's <laughs> that's the reason why she's shedding a lot is because it's just static on the third mic. Yeah, that's shouts out the march. It's not broken. It's just. It's just static just on working. the third mic because, oh, I hate this so much right now. Oh my God. Okay. I'm going to fix it. I'm going to figure it out. I just, I hate, I, there's no way that for me to turn off the noise gate because the fucking application is just like, um, the road application is, uh, is demanding that I update it. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to update it. Let's see what happens. Please do not unplug any of your devices. You're probably going to stop hearing us for a second. Okay?
Hello? Okay, we're back. Wait. Welcome. What the fuck? Why is it? That's so weird. I'm looking at it right now, and it's like picking up my microphone. When I speak, it picks my voice up from your microphone better. Here, speak into your mic. Speak into Hello? your mic. Hello? You're, you, you're muted. Okay. Hello, hello. Okay, um, we're back. There's just like constant static on the third mic, so I have to set that up real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. No, it's because. Uh, yes. Yeah. Well, they can't hear it. They can't hear your uh, your jokes <laughs> because you're muted, or it, rather, it doesn't like pick up any audio at all. And I don't know how to do the fucking audio setup on this. Why can't I do the audio setup on this thing? Oh my god, I'm so fucking annoyed. Uh, three? Is it Thomas. here? Left is funny. <laughs> I've actually never, I've actually never used, it's not the XLR cable. Uh, I've actually never used a new Roadcaster Pro 2 app. It's like, I had to update the driver because uh i needed to use the application because it was like locking me out of using the application and i don't know how to fix it what is this oh it's just color nice um how do i um drag and drop input sources I do. We speak louder into the microphone. It's not going to pick you up if you speak that quietly. If you want to talk shit, hold on. <laughs> I would never. I would, <laughs> I would. I would never talk. Never talk shit. to do this because okay here's the thing here's the situation roadcaster pro 2 doesn't work on the software side normally i have uh, i have it set up for a two microphone situation i didn't have it set up for a three microphone situation so the third microphone i'm trying to fix however the problem is that the third microphone is for some very weird reason and i don't know why not working in the way that it's supposed to um the second microphone i could just like take off the noise gate on and then try and work with that um then i'm just gonna just sit on my lap too it's it's uh You're very good at sitting on lap. see this is the type of riveting commentary that they can't hear from you guys at all <laughs> so um let me see if i can fix it i'm just gonna i'm gonna try something Tried unplugging it and plugging it back in. You have to speak louder if you're gonna Have you tried unplugging it and plugging it back in? Yeah, I don't think he actually tried it. I don't think he tried it. 
I think you're lying. Okay, there you go. I, I, I took the noise gate off, so they'll be able to hear both of you guys from the second mic. Okay, so fine. We can share. You can share it. Someone yeah. clip that and put some like punching noises over there. <laughs> but it's like barely. <laughs> the problem the problem is my my audio is going to be much louder, but the, also the other fucking annoying situation is that Roadcaster Pro 2 unlike Roadcaster Pro 1, I can't fucking fix uh through the software side. I literally have to go into the hardware and fucking touch these like dumbass dials, not even dials actually as a matter of fact. The 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 stupid ass fucking uh, touch screen thing that they have here. That is the only thing I can use to fix it. I don't know why I can't do it. I can't do a fix on the software side. It's very annoying. Does that make sense? That's my issue here. I don't know how to fucking fix the audio on, on the software end. Like the, oh, there it is. Okay, never mind. I can do it apparently. But even then, you have to like m use it with a mouse. Okay, I turned off the noise gate. So this is the third microphone. There are distinct differences between the two, and I don't know what it is. Um, I know this is legit annoying, but you're also hangry. I'm 100% incredibly fucking hangry as well. I was so... I'm trying to figure out, like, what is different in any of these. Uh, thumb was pretty good, though. Yeah, I'm just gonna crank the gain on this so that hopefully One, that'll be two, better three, and they can four, hear four, big, four, they can be heard. Speak into okay. the microphone. Speak into the microphone, Jenna. Hi, chat. And okay, well no, no, that works perfectly. Okay. All right. Oh, we're in business. Too much? Oh, it's too much, really? There's an echo when I speak. The noise in the background is Kaya throwing her <laughs> fucking bone around. Reset the PC and it'll all be fixed and you will never know the answer. Yeah, I'm not doing that. If I reset the PC, I'm just ending the stream. Okay. All right. Um, welcome. Welcome. Uh, we fixed it. We did it. Did it's we working. It? I think. I mean, to a certain degree. There's going to be some limitations, but uh, <laughs> regardless. Um, welcome, Denims. Welcome, Gentleman Maori. Uh, we are... Who's playing pool in the background is Kaya's fucking toy. <laughs> I'm going to take it away. I'm going to take that toy away from her. It's very, very loud. Um, given the circumstances, the best we got, I wanted to show you ladies uh, Turkish cuisine. Okay. Oh. And for that purpose, I'm going to be ordering from this restaurant that I'm not going to disclose what it is, but I'm going to make you guys taste... Uh, I am going to make you guys taste a bunch of different Turkish food. We're going to order it first. It's going to take a while to get here. So in that time frame, we're going to look at uh, we're going to look at TikToks and shit like that uh, okay. that this community has. I got to take this fucking toy away. I'm gonna... <laughs> Kaya, come here. Come here. Get in here. I just don't understand why he hates Kaya so much. I don't either. I hate women so much. I'm just uh, doing this to my female I, dog. I bet you call her a bitch, too. I do call her a bitch <laughs> wow. all the time. Wow, wow, dude, wow. Okay. Um, sweet Lord, baby Jesus, someone get this man a PA to help with the stream. I'm going to literally end the stream, I think. Okay, stop. Shut the fuck up, chat. Uh, not helpful. Okay. Oh, oh my God. First and foremost, okay? Baby. First and foremost, here's what we're... Here's what we're going to get. We're going to get cigarette bure, okay? That's a staple. It's uh, in English, it's like deep fried rolls or a cigarette burek. They are deep fried rolls with cheese filling. I'm going to get you guys pasta de matos, which is uh, breakfast food. Simit, achma, poacha, which are uh, tradition and traditional Mediterranean bagel and soft bagels. It's kind of like a bagel, but it's like a, it's like a salty pastry. I am going to get you guys a sujuk omelette and a cheese burek. And then on the traditional soup side, we're going to get a lentil soup. I love lentils. Actually, we'll get a half a lentil soup because it's too much. Then we will, of wow. course, get a hummus. Wow. Wow. Or actually, four piece uh, sarma. Sarma, four <laughs> pieces, mama, hummus, shakshuka, tzatziki, Turkish spicy esme. It's a special Levant mezzet plate. Okay? Mm hmm. 
Um, that that's going to feature all of the uh, different uh, types of appetizers. Appetizers being uh, dolma, also known as sarma. They're grape leaves stuffed with rice, onion, parsley, cooked in oil, pine nuts, and I lemon juice. Those those uh, Muamara, which is red pepper paste, olive oil, salt, garlic, breadcrumbs, coriander seeds, and uh, black pepper, basil, Aleppo pepper, and ground walnuts. We're gonna be uh, we're gonna be tasting esme salad, which is a type of salad, but it's not really like a salad. That is, of course, uh, onions, tomatoes, parsley, green pepper, tomato paste, special med Mediterranean spices, and pomegranate syrup. Pomegranate syrup is a big part of Turkish cuisine. Um, these are just the appetizers. Um, and then after that, we're going to have uh, ichli köfte, which is bulgur, ground beef, onion, semolina pepper, and walnut and spices. Oh, hummus with pastırma exists as well. We'll get that instead. Okay. And we'll take out the... Such a baby. She's so nice. Okay. There's no magic makeup to set this place, chat. Okay. We're skipping the salads. We are going to get the special mixed kebab. Okay. Uh, which features one skewer of beef, uh, lule. Four pieces of beef shish, four pieces of chicken shish, two pieces of lamb chop served with roasted tomato pepper, red sauerkraut, onion, and lavash served with bulgur or rice. I'm going to get it with bulgur so you guys taste that. And then we also have beiti, which is uh, a type. It's a different kind of kebab as well. And uh, last but not least, of course, lahmacun. Uh, that is a huge staple as well. I'm going to show you all of these things. Don't worry. And we have lamb chops, which are goaded. I love lamb. Uh, and that's with mashed potatoes on the side. And also, of course, köfte. Köfte is the meatballs. That's uh, ground beef with onion, garlic, Mediterranean spices, cheddar, and uh, also all this other stuff on the side. And uh, to finish off, we have three different types of dessert. We have marash ice cream. We have rice pudding and kazandibi. Of course, normally we would also you're you're also gonna get a, a Turkish drink as well, uh, ayran, and we'll have lavash and we'll have service bread on the side as well. That's basically everything this restaurant offers. Okay. I'm excited. It sounds good. Okay. Good. I'm so hungry. Um. Do you have ajili shalgam? No, I don't. Not at this restaurant, at least. Okay, it's gonna take a while for it. No manta either, and no baklava. Uh, pilav is uh, is coming, on the side. Okay. So, and no, no chikofta. Chatters, I live in Los Angeles. Uh, some of the foods that you're describing, unfortunately, either don't exist at this restaurant. Okay. Or, um, I mean, I can get a baklava from a different place for them to try it, actually. Have you guys ever had baklava? Of mm -hmm. course. I'm Arab. Of course I've had baklava. Yeah. I've made it from scratch, too. What would what, you make me last time I was in town? What kind of Arab Cause, were you? Cause, yeah, yeah. It was Dennis, really enjoyable. Dennis, what kind of Arab are you? Uh, Egyptian Moroccan. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, you've had a lot of this food, of Oh, course. yeah. You listed them off. I was like, kufta. Oh, shit. Yeah, Send them back. <laughs> oh. um, Jenna, on the other hand, is... Uh, White. Uh, you would swagged say out. She's a swagged out, quirked up white girl. What do you mean I'm white? Through and through. You are so you are the whitest person I know, <laughs> I think. Like literally, both both in paleness, but also just in general. But um, I brought I brought my POC friend. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> um, I'm cool, I'm cool, guys. Let me see if I can find the Can't argue with that, man. Fuck. <laughs> there is another Fuck, what is the place that I get the baklava from? I gotta go through my... <laughs> Exotic white girl. White I gotta go through my white orders. Red. Okay. How does it feel to be a minority? You know, it's really hard out here in LA, these streets. I have to take Uber blacks everywhere. Wow. Not, there's no Uber white. You ever think about that? <laughs> you ever think about that? That's fucked up. I am now. I am now. There, mm -hmm. there, is, no, there is no Iskandar, okay? The, the things that I did not mention... As far as like Turkish food, like donat and stuff like that. I mean, I guess we can get like one. We can get like. You're so funny. <laughs> You're so quirked up. Um, 
Grupo Julia doesn't exist uh, here as well. Okay, listen. We I got a shit ton of stuff, okay? Obviously, it's not going to feature all of the things. Uh, unfortunately, it's not going to have all the things that we want because it's just, you know, they just don't have it. It's not available, okay? So everybody calm down. I'm doing my very best here. Um, and I think this might be like a decent baklava place. I don't really know if it's good or not, but yeah, we'll get a mixture of baklava as well from this place. Okay. And then, hold on. That should be good. Hopefully it's good. That'll take some time to get here as well. Okay. Kunefe is not on the menu. That sucks. Yeah. Okay. Before we do that, though, or rather, uh, while we wait for that, because it's going to take a fucking while, I was watching some uh, home... You know, we were looking at architecture videos, which we can all look at together, if you would like. And then... We will, total price of the order was around $400. Can I help pay for some of that? No, it's fine. Okay. Well, with the, uh, with the tip included, because I, I slapped on a fat one there. Slap fat wow. Tips. Yeah. Um, okay. Did you introduce them? I did. Okay. Do you guys know who Jacob Elordi is? No. This is like the new heartthrob. Uh, he was on, was he on Euphoria chat? I think he was on Euphoria originally. Oh, I've seen TikToks of this guy. Is this the guy who was dating? I don't remember her name. <laughs> I don't remember the actress. He's hot. Name. He's just, he's tall. He's, I think he's Australian. Salt he's Burn. hot. He was in Saltburn. He's skinny and tall and hot. Have you watched that one yet or no? Have I watched Saltburn? Yes. I haven't watched it yet. It's it's all is right. That, is that okay? It's it's mm. okay. He dated Zendaya. Well, in the in the show, right? In Euphoria. <sighs> um. Anyway, this is his home. It's from uh, when Fezco beat me up. Very cool. <laughs> Actor Jacob Bellotti plummets in to real his life. Death. Oh, he dated he dated Zendaya in real life. That's crazy. It's Fuck like, this guy. Like Hollywood son. Cut <laughs> I was getting Jeepers Creepers vibes. <laughs> <clears throat> kind of speaks for itself, you know what I mean? It's, it's pretty surreal. I remember when I was small, this, the first memory I have of coming to Hollywood, I was like eight years old, and I have this impossible memory because it wouldn't work from where I was standing, but I was where the sort of the stars on the boulevard are, and there was this postcard of James Dean, and I remember saying to my mom, I was like, who is this guy? Like, his head is everywhere. In my memory, it's burned in. It's like this slow motion turn around, and there was just this giant white sign. So it's impossible from where I was on the strip, but for some reason, that's like what stuck with me. It's kind of, uh, I don't know, it's quite magical. You should reach out to him for a collab. Listen, pal. Listen, how? What would we collab about? Houses. Oh yeah, he owns a house, I own a house. That's all I talk about for the most part, actually. Just like ownership of houses. <laughs> Did you guys know he's British? Is I he did... British? I thought he was uh, Australian. Oh, is he Australian? I thought he was American. <laughs> She's only a natural actress. Too. She doesn't perform for the camera. Listen. I feel like it's wild to just like tuck your t-shirt in when you're casually at home. Am I crazy? Have you seen this like a... He's wearing like like formal pants, no belt, tucked in t-shirt. You know those like Vogue interviews where they like go to celebrities' homes and they like ask them questions and they're like, I was actually just, it's crazy you're here right now. I just finished picking lemons from my lemon garden. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, they. I, I like to believe that they are just picking. Wait, what? You you don't believe them when they say that? Oh, no. I, I, I like to believe that they're just picking lemons in their lemon garden. They're having uh, a lemon party. Yeah. Don't look that up. I gotta be better. There's a Hollywood girl. She is. This is me with Kaya. I've lived in LA. I think it must be. Dog. Close to four years now. I used to live in, in like a. He's like also casually putting his foot in his pool. Is this free? In the back Just the of the valley. I like that the water's down. distorting it though, so sort it looks like a club foot. Looks like a little oh, stone. <laughs> he just didn't want to give it to you for free, and you're over. You should understand that better than anybody else, okay? Should I? Yeah. Why is that? Because the the photo of <laughs> you <laughs> choking me with your legs, like you literally censored your foot. I didn't censor it. You yes, you it. did. You said, you said, Jenna, I no one else can see those dogs. I don't want no. anyone I have to see to them without paying. Yeah, pain. put those dogs away. I said. She has the dogs away. Denim's on the other hand, just 
Just being <laughs> extra slutty with the feet. She just came She's in. Beautiful I exotic. didn't know. I didn't know they were gonna be wearing socks. So yeah. now I got my dogs out. I she's she's literally raw dog in the ground right now, straight up. Damn. She's out. Is out. Hollywood They're over the hills real here. I'd see these houses and I'd be like. <laughs> This is how you know this person is literally a pervert, okay? Immediately goes painted toenails. <laughs> like He's like, are they white? Like French no, chips. No, it's always no, those two colors. No normal guy who's not a fucking foot fetishist immediately goes, painted toenails? Tell me the details. <laughs> you, you, you know when they're a real freak. If oh. they ask if they're white or if they're French. Like a French manicure. Those are the two main People ones. get like their feet painted like that? Huh? What do you mean? Wait, you guys... I forgot that that's a thing that people do. Um, you're, I w for a second, I was thinking like you only get what, your what, hands. What did you say? You people. Yeah. <laughs> I just don't get like why. <laughs> I was wow. being racist against wow. women or just people that get their shit done like that. Get their shit done like that. Yeah, it's just. You can't. What do you mean? You people me when you're the whitest person here. OK, why are the you singling her out? Thank you. Yeah. It's, it's fucked up that you would do that to your guests, man. I forgot that people painted their toes and shit. It's okay. okay. It's okay. You all need this right now? If you don't watch this message, you will never have the chance to see me again. He's so hot. Why is Jesus so hot? What's up with that? This I, is like... Why they go sicko mode on the titties? Do you, do you think... Dude, he's breasting so <laughs> boobily. Like a little peak of red oh. is doing it for me. You I'm know, half chubbed right now. Me Let me too. be honest. <laughs> You know the person who put this in the fucking mid journey was like sexy ass Jesus with like sick pectorals. Like they wrote that in specifically. You mean the Many AI have artists. passed. Yeah, the AI artist. <laughs> the real artists, okay? <laughs> Not like the fucking fake ones who uh, lame, learn how to draw and shit. Get out of here. Jesus is about to make me act up. That's all I gotta say. But That's you stayed like and God is very happy with you. I want to have a moment with you. Can you grant me an instant? I want to grant you a great miracle, but I need you to listen to what I have to say. That's like a 17 second intro for like what advice he's going to give. What the fuck is this? Are you at home? I'm sorry to interrupt you at this time of day. This is like this My name is Jesus Christ, your savior. Why does it seem that you don't care about me? <laughs> I have been protecting you constantly ever since you were born. I have blessed you and saved you from so many adversities that could have marked your life. In the background. I have never abandoned you and I never will. Now can you do me a favor? Share this message with as many people as you can, please. <laughs> That's it? Where's the message? <laughs> Fuck this Jesus, dog. The fucking call to action. <coughs> I feel Jesus. I'm ready to convert. I'm, I'm ready right to convert. Bro, he literally complained Jesus. about us forgetting about him. That's it? And, and then I demanded that we share it. John 3, 16, you from so many God adversities that could have marked your life. Gave his only begotten son, that whosoever shall believe in him shall not perish, but this have is, everlasting life. This we, is why I said you're the whitest one. This is crazy. <laughs> I went to a private Southern Baptist Christian school. It didn't take. We get it. You're oppressed. It, it didn't take. This is, you are the perfect demonstration of what happens at, like, when you, when you send your child you to one of those things. Okay. Um. Wait, there's more? Our sex ed classes were actually crazy. I remember. Ignore. You know what deacons are in, in like the church like structure? Like deacons? No. Okay, well, whatever. So it was like a flex if you were like married to a deacon in like small town churches. So like the moms, uh, like the wives, like the deacons, uh, they were... But elders? <laughs> so uh, the moms would give the sex ed talks. And I remember, because uh, they'd always split up the girls and the boys, so it'd be completely separated. And I remember uh, one of the moms who, who also taught the coach the volleyball team. She was like, now you can use tampons or you can use pads, <laughs> but you don't want to use too many tampons because if you use too many tampons, you'll lose your virginity. What? Yeah. Yeah. So I was terrified. I kid you not. I was terrified of tampons for like the longest time. Like I, I really was. I was so, I was what, so like, terrified. Oh, pads? Like she was just like saying, use a pad. Like not that there's anything wrong with pads. She was like, she if was a girl like, got a heavy bleed. flow, like. Yeah, free bleeding. Yeah, she was like, she was an advocate for free bleeding. Wait, oh, damn. What does she think about the Diva Cup then? She was like, big no no. No plastic <laughs> goes down there. Diva Cup's gonna scare me. They are very like, scary. Like, have you seen those squatting videos of people at like the gym who have like Diva Cups in and they like fall out because you know you have to squeeze when you know you do like. 
They fall out? I feel like they can. They can. Jenna, I feel like that's fetish content. Like the, I don't think that's, anything's a fetish. Are I don't you think me? I don't think what you're describing is something that is just like casually on my for you page. Well, we have very different for you pages then. What the fuck? So people's diva cups just like fall out while they're squatting? They, I mean, they can if you like squeeze just enough. Or I, I only had like a plunger experience. They launch out? What the f- They launch out? Are you out. putting old plungers? <laughs> Little plunger? What do you mean a it was plunger? Like, it experience? was like I couldn't get Damn, it Damn, denims. It was, it was, it was plungered she's, in there. She's saying she's got the, the gorilla grip. Yeah. Chat. That's what uh, she's saying. She's I mean, like, that's kind of given. She's like, oh, yeah. I can't Like you use can't it. have full hair like that and not have like she's bomb like, fucking pussy. I'm sorry. It doesn't work. Shit is fab, bro. It's like, just what it's fab. I, oh. I want to be like you when I grow up. Maybe if you try really hard. Uh, okay, day. let's move on. <laughs> All right. Um, how do we get here? I don't know. Jesus is how we got here. Okay. They had this lady come to my private Southern Christian school. I want you to understand that I didn't come today to decide for you what you're going to do about sex. And I can't choose for you. No matter how much we would wish that we could put you in a box, lock it, feed you through a window till you're 24, we can't. God created sex. It's awesome. God it's wants awesome. you to have great sex. God created sex. It was his idea, not yours. When sex happens within boundaries, it's awesome. What is the boundary or the context for which God created sex? <laughs> Most of you don't believe that. So many church kids I've had in my office for years look at me and say, but we loved each other. So God did not create sex for love. God created sex for one context and one only. Marriage, not love. Even the stupidest. No, that, that is a thing, though. Like, like that's what they. And some, like, very uh, conservative churches, mm -hmm. they will tell the women in the churches that you shouldn't enjoy it. It's immoral to enjoy sex. That's, yeah, I mean, isn't that like female genital mutilation too? That's like the basis for it. That's why they do it. So you just don't like, so you can't have like clitoral stimulation. Kind of. I mean, no, that's literally. It depends on what type of genital it's mutilation just about you're like, talking about. It's just about like uh, sex not being enjoyable for the woman. Which, by the way, I mean, I guess, uh, you know, misogyny takes care of that. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> Am I right, ladies? Ah, Am I right or what? Am I right? Hold on, hold on. Oh, I have sound effects. I have sound effects. Please. Look at this guy. That's right. You guys can't hear it, but everyone is, everyone is currently hearing. Yeah. That's so cool. Next time you make a joke, I got, I got another one. Do you have, like, cricket noises, too? For when you make not funny jokes? Um, wait, say that again? Not funny jokes. Yeah, that was for you. I oh. hit you with the crickets. You can't hear it, but... they The crickets came for you. Oh, they came for me? I'm yeah, so flat Yeah, they wow. did. This is... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like a cricket for real. Okay, let's Those of you in here can get this. You are not married. And what are most teens who are having sex afraid of? I got a newsflash for you. Pregnancy is not a disease. Pregnant teenage girls in this country today are carrying, on average, 2.3 sexually transmitted diseases. I will have a girl write me, email me, or come <laughs> right up. 2.3. <laughs> Where, yeah, where's the where the demographic for like the point three come from? Yeah, <laughs> they're like, um, well, we don't really like, know about this third one. It's just but, like uh, half a disease, you know what I mean? It's just not. Sort of like half spots crap. we don't yeah. like. Wait, why did she say? We're not 2. sure if it's like a keloid or. Wait, what does that mean? I don't understand what the point three would be. Even it's like half of a chlamydia. Like what the fuck? <laughs> it's like it's half just, of it's a the, crab. It's just the media, <laughs> or just the dia. Yeah, you like that? I Is have that the funny? V of HIV. Yeah, I, like what? <laughs> <laughs> it, this is, it makes no Get sense. It okay. Get You're embarrassing. Say this. Get well, my mom found out I was having sex, and so she put me on the pill. That drug has just made her ten times more likely to contract the disease than if she were not taking that drug. This girl's gonna end up sterile or dead. Thanks, mom. Glad you cared. Well, every Thanks, child should be wanted and planned. Well, I wouldn't have an abortion. That, that's terrible. But, but if it were rape, well, then I don't believe that. In the next 24 hours, 12,000.
12,000 teens will contract a sexually transmitted disease. 12,000 teens who got up this morning and said, like some of you sitting in this room, that's not going to happen to me. And that I happens see, in like Los Angeles like and San Diego and San Francisco kind of and Sacramento and scary schools like St. Paul. But we're okay here at Adam and Oh, yeah. Like other you're wrong. Oh, yeah. Pull out that yeah. diamond, look her in the eyes. If you're really cool, young men, you'll get on your knees. And you say, marry me. By the way, I've got dental warts. A bunch of people tell me I needed to watch ABC. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> isn't me too, girl. Me too. <laughs> isn't she just Rep like represent, bitch? Isn't she owning? So isn't she owning herself? I kind of feel seen right now. Oh, wait, can I say that she kind of looks like Monica Lewinsky, like evil Monica Lewinsky? Or is that just me? Uh, I see it. Not, I see it. Not really. I think she just looks like a regular butch lesbian lady, but like. You think it, she's in the closet, maybe? Yeah. I love that picture. That's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> I love your community. Yeah, they're very good. They're very talented. <laughs> but they can also collectively get together and be awful. Here, I blasted off for the for uh, announcing uh, Denim's. There you go. <laughs> and and uh, Jenny Lynn Meowry in the building. And I'm making them taste and tear list every type of Turkish food that exists. Hassan said, you're coming to my house and you're going to fill your mouth full of Turkish meat. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's right. Because ABC was going to do a little special about sex, and we all know what a fountain of truth the media is. Chlamydia, chlamydia, Cindy Crawford. <laughs> you actually believe that if you get up the next morning and herpes isn't tattooed to your forehead, you don't have a disease. Oh, purple nose, herpes, stay away from that. He produces sperm. I feel like she doesn't know what STDs are like from the way that she's describing it. No, but bro, she know. has herpes. She, she said, just told she us. She said it with she, her no, chest. No, she had genital warts. Yeah. Oh, she, said, <laughs> she said that with her chest. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, you guys Big are laughing deal. right now? What's wrong with you? Some kind of feminazi or something? The problem is, where do y'all get your idea about what love is? In television, in movies, 90210, Dawson's Creek, Felicity, the Titanic. My daughter begged me to take her to that flick. I made the mistake and did. Had to debrief her for two hours. One of the most abusive relationships I've seen on a screen. A young girl about ready to jump off the back her, like, of the... You know dream. what I will say? Controversial opinion. She has, like, good stage presence. I feel She's like I'm amazing at, I feel like, I'm at like, a, like one of those comedy specials, like a stand-up yeah. comedy special. She's, yeah. like, the coolest version of this you can get, I think. There's no way, like... Like, there's no way you can be this person and have these kinds of opinions around the world, like, about the world and, and sex in general, while also simultaneously, you know, have any kind of stage presence or charisma whatsoever. So I, I respect it. If Nanette was conservative, I guess. Well, Nanette, Nanette is conservative, kind but of. But both. Very nice looking young man. Very cute. She had all the right words within 48 hours of sleeping with her, and we called it love. All I can say is it's a good thing that boy died. And there's herpes. I have genital herpes. Oh my God, lady. <laughs> Why? Okay, she, uh, where, she just Where has is she it. picking these up? Like, She's just, she basically is, is admitting it. Um, okay. The 10 funniest. <laughs> listen, listen, 99% will skip and 99% will ignore, they no, said. No, 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 not we ignore. Did. Me now and the devil will laugh at me and approach you. On this morning, may the rays of my grace shine upon you. And at least this Jesus isn't like super white. You know what I mean? This is like kind of brown Jesus, so it's like real. What's wrong with being super white? Well, because like wow. Jesus is from the wow. area that where you're not really this, that area is not really known for white people being there. You know what I mean? Not a lot of whites. Yeah, they made him. This is Mexican Jesus. Wrap you in a divine embrace. Allow me in this sacred moment to flood your heart with love and hope. Share this sacred message for someone needs to be touched by my light. May these words overflowing with affection. What is the music playing in the background? It's like freaking me out. There has bit. to be like Jesus boyfriend ASMRs on YouTube. This is, oh, I need, just, I need right. you to look it up. This is I a, really need this you is to a, look it up. Someone in the chat said this is Jesus J-O-I. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And compassion. Yeah, it's not a jerk off instructional, okay? It's a, it's a Jesus. <laughs> Jesus over instructional. You feel, you feel so full of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> Let it enter you. <laughs> Find a way to that heart. You know my joke, bitch. I read your joke. I said someone in the chat said. I didn't say oh, I came God. up with it. For good news. Thus you will be the messenger of my word, bringing relief and smiles to the world. Trust in me, for I am the lighthouse that illuminates your path, the safe refuge in times of storm. In my infinite compassion. I grant you the strength necessary to overcome any adversity that life presents you with. 
And now, my beloved, I make a special request to you. Share this prayer with someone special. I hate the overlapping the music. I, think it, I love music. those like chain messages where it's like, send this to a hundred other people and you'll <laughs> die in like a week. Yeah, and you I don't won't know. go to heaven. I'll make you. sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You get genital work. <laughs> the the music was triggering. Don't end up like me. The music was triggering my uh, fight or flight over here. I don't know why it was like that. It's like there was an audio already on it, and then it, I shouldn't like, be dating. I shouldn't be dating. A oh, we should do a. We should look at misogyny TikToks together. Do you guys want to do that? Have you seen? Wait, wait, wait. Have you seen like the sexy cooking TikToks? Yeah, I fuck like it dude, so like, much. His fingering is like free. It's so gnarly. And I like you like those. You know, I I was thinking, I, feel like I was talking with my assistants and whatnot, and we're like, we need to capitalize on our new Twitch meta, you know, and like. What was what was like the most recent one where it was like the topless the sensor type bar shit? and that's oh yeah 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 like that and I was like I think it's like fruit camps like I'm just gonna start doing fruit camps I, start fingering the fuck out of like dude. I said it before, but like the I mean, the what? the men who get on TikTok and like sexually fuck fruit with their fingers, that's the equivalent of doing have you a sensor the, bar. Have meta. you seen the one where the dude like makes a like bread and he like finishes and he like his slaps bread. it? He like slaps yeah. the shit out of it. But so, then he like but then he like like kisses I, I on it seen, and like lightly suckles on it a little bit, like it's a breast. And he's just like I, I I've seen all of them. I feel like it's not it, it's not hot at all. Like is it hot? Do you find it hot? Be honest. It's definitely hitting the demographic it needs to hit. Like, I feel like it's <laughs> so. I mean, it's so working. Do, it's working for someone. You so know, so it does work for you. Okay, that's good. To, no, this is very good to know because, like, I try to pull my chat, and there's like you know, 14, 15 percent women in my in my community. It's not super high, but they yeah, were. Yeah, that, that's put well. It's porn for wine moms. Oh yeah. Between heaven and dream on TikTok, it's okay. like specifically moms whose like husbands never cook a meal with them. You know, I feel like it's like the women who go to Thunder Down Under. That's the oh. content is made for them. <laughs> oh, this Thunder guy is gross. Oh, God. Oh, 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 salmonella. oh. That's salmonella. Oh. You got salmonella, dog. No, no, why no, did, no. Why do you, you spell have chicken to think wrong? about it? You have such an untapped market here. You could, you could be doing this. <gasps> I would. We have to. We have you to would kill it, bro. Bro, you fucking. Actually, you know what? He's, you know, I just, I just want he looks my 10% so fucking for grimy. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so fucking grimy. He gave the chicken salmonella. Okay, that's like jail. I wish this were my lens. Oh. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Is for straight women who haven't come in 15 years. <laughs> I feel like so here, let me let, let's broach into this a little bit, okay? I feel like there's a very mechanical aspect to to making uh, a man come. I like the way you okay? say come. Like <laughs> for me, it's like I, I, I'm very easy to please. I, I'm like visual stimulation is enough, right? But I feel like Making a woman come is like a more holistic experience. Like it's just more, it's not just as mechanical. I feel like it's more complicated. Is it, am I wrong about this? Have you read the book uh, "Come as You Are"? I think by no. Emily Nagowski. But it talks a lot about. I mean, not to deep dive it, but it talks about like the no, mental. You can deep dive it. Like the like. I'm trying to think. Like, like, I was just put on the spot. <laughs> okay, my it's point gone. is, it, look, look, my point was like, it's, it's, um, like men are a little bit more simple in, uh, in, in getting horny than I feel like women, where there's like a lot more like environmental factors at play. It's like a more, it's a, it's a more, like I said, I feel holistic like, I feel like experience. women, I don't think have like a really an issue getting horny, but it's just like, there are so many surrounding factors. And I think to finishing. Well, like, I'm not even talking about, like, being horny. I'm talking about, like, finishing well, in general. Well, sure, but it's, like, you need a lot of mental stimulation as long as, like, the physical stimulation. And if you're not, like, in a good headspace and you also aren't taking time to incorporate the whole body into the process, it's, like, it's jarring. So if, like, if work's stressing them out, like, work's on my mind. You know what I mean? So, you, like, yeah, you have to... That's what I, yeah. That that's kind of what I was talking about, where I'm, like, I feel like there's a, there's a mental component to it. That's why, like, uh... Uh, I guess like this isn't this is a generalization, so it's not always going to fit the bill. But like, 
Like, I feel like there's a higher likelihood of, of uh, I feel like women flicking the bean to, I don't know, like smut or, or like uh, those like Twilight style books or Fifty Shades of Grey or some shit like normie women versus like no man is like cranking it. Most men are not cranking it to like a book. It's more visual. It's just like, I mean, well, one, it's very not cut with that and dry. Attitude. It's very cut and dry. <laughs> That's what I, yeah, literotica is uh, is the term, right? So, um, have you ever like, um, what? did you ever were into like Wattpad fanfics? No, I've never, huh? I'm, I'm not with my peoples. No, I, I, I but no, you, you like, are. are you Chad like a, is like you that. Like a, like Chad monster brings monster fucking, up. like monster fucker. No. Oh, shit. Now, now we're in. Now we're uh, in. Yeah. No. Uh, see, that'll do it for me. Well, anyway, it's <laughs> someone said it's literature, but <laughs> what I was what I, I was trying that. to say is like I feel like this is like very. This is what I imagine like. Like the, like a woman doing this would be like kind of hot for a man, whereas like I feel like a man doing this for women it doesn't fit the bill. If that makes sense, it's like a it's like what a straight guy uh, thinks women are into. I don't know. It's just like if you're gonna be fucking handling raw meat, like at least do like a nice steak or something, not like a raw little yeah. pasty chicken. Like that's how I feel after I shave. Like I don't like I don't. Mm. I don't know. No, I agree. It's like it's. Mm. I agree. Like my clip's going inwards. Like, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not working for you. You're just memeing. Ah. Oh, it's also bad. It's like not. It's, oh, yeah. that chicken oh. looks so dry. They didn't oh. even like let the skin oh. render. Oh, There's so much my. uncooked. Oh my god. I got you, fam. This is the one they talking about. Oh yeah, this guy. Why is he fucking the whatever that thing? Is it a bread maker? Uh, uh, run it back. Run it back. Let's see. Put it. Put it in a point two five screen. Wait. For Okay, okay, be, be be for real, be for real, be be I'm serious. Being, I'm being, I'm being you you think it's like, you think this is hot? I've called this guy Butterface before. He's a bit of a Butterface. This cinematography is respectable. Oh my god, condensed milk. Oh god, it's so good. Fuck, I love condensed milk so much. Have you ever had condensed milk? I've had a lot of condensed milk. Okay, it's the best. Trey Lecce's cake. That end shot. I don't know, I don't know. He doesn't have like enough body hair. Oh, that's what I is like stopping you. I feel like his jaw is like too. I don't know. There's some up with his face. It's like too angular. He looks or like something. kind of like chip monkey. Like he's got a lot of like random nuts in his mouth. Yeah, he's like what, stuff. What, he uh, stuffs uh, some nuts on the side. What's the of TikTok his mouth. term? Mewing. Mewing. Oh, he. Yeah, he's he looks needs maxing. To? He looks maxing. He needs to stop mewing. I think he's yeah. mewed too hard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I also think, um, you know, did you ever have uh, people that you went to school with that would have those bite, those bite chew thingies, you know what I'm talking about? To, specifically to grow their jaw. It was like a thing guys did. Is it like the chew trainer? I'm 32 years old, so no. This kind of shit, when I was in college, was like almost you know, exclusive. What is, I'm trying to think of what it's called. It was No, it's a, it's a jawser size. Uh, it's like a Kong toy for, for men. Yeah. Yeah. But it's like, it, it's supposed to like help. Yeah, Your this job. is new tech, is what I'm saying. When I was in school, this did not exist. Wait, how old are you? That's yes. rude, man. Never ask what. Well, yes, I don't know, like 25. Okay, close. I'm 26. Okay, there you go. Nailed I'll it. I'll but take. even then, it's like that you had that when you weren't going to school. Oh, I, I use mine every day. She was drawing, baby. That's why your drawing's so sexy, girl. Oh. I'm you for a minimum of four hours a day. <laughs> It shows. It paid off. Oh, I was I was pumping this morning. You know. Oh. Yeah. Ask That's why I look sharp. Covering the news is Riz. Wait, you kind of look familiar. Have you been on like? The oh, CV I've seen or this like before. That? This is great. No. Wait. Weren't you on the news? 
Yeah. Breaking news! A robbery is in progress involving this fine individual shown right here. This would get me. <laughs> Sources say that... Just as in, the police have found the location of the culprit and have cameras on him as we speak. Here's Julian on the scene. Julian? Thank you, Julian. As you can see, we have an outside view of his house. The suspect... What did I even steal? Their hearts. <laughs> Guilty. <laughs> it's so good on so many levels. Oh, I'd absolutely put up for this guy. Are you kidding me? He, He's a genius. That is so much work, but respect. This is a thing that I've seen. This is like a, a meme now. Like this is like a meta now. It could be like a solid three, but if you're funny as fuck, 15. This Minimum. Is, he he just he just did this on like Omega or whatever the fucking app. Well, is. it's it's even better because it's not like amazing quality. Oh yeah, you know it's, it's, got it's, it's better. It's better that it is like low quality. I'd click out before half of that was over, and you would have missed the fucking journey, the journey of your life. I would say. I feel like the cherry on top was him spelling their wrong. It's like it was just like. Oh. I liked when he was on the police hood and he was just like, uh, he that, that, that was a trend. On yeah, TikTok that was a TikTok a while, trend. Yeah, he like, incorporated the dudes it. would go get arrested and it's always like, they'd have the same like side shakes. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh. I'm a bad boy. I, I, I respect this. Anyway, so this is another, he's a food fucker again. And I can put you in. What is he just like slam? Oh, this is the bread one. Oh, is this one where he... It's like you, that's you. Why is it? Is that brown? Is that why? Oh God, he just washed it like that. Daddy's Nutella sack. I like the way you said that, Nutella sack. Daddy's got a trait for it. I can see the whole city from this balcony. Back in 2019. He makes this for uh, women, but only twink bottoms find this hot. Well, apparently I you find it hot. I want to slide in this guy's DMs. You you find this hot. There you go. You no, no, no. I just want to see if I could get him to like make me one of these videos. A handmade video. You're for like you. you're like can trying I, to get an OnlyFans. Can I get like a, <laughs> you're trying to get an OnlyFans <laughs> style get, like, situation from him? Cameo commission. Yeah. Yeah. What's his name? I used to do that kind of like back in the day. Not like cameo, but I used to. You know what X Hamster is? Yeah. Yeah. Isn't that a porn site? Yeah, but I'd go to like the cams and I'd go to the GILF cams and then I'd find like GILF? I'd find grandmas on there, you know, that maybe had like one to three viewers and I'd go in and just give them like a bunch of money and we'd take showers together. I'd have them make me like fan signs and stuff and I'd be like, oh, sing me a song, you know? We There was one lady who like peed with me while she was like holding her laptop and it was just really, it was, I was on a power trip or something. Just... Getting them to, I would have to explain what a fan sign is. I'd be like, What's, write my name on a piece of paper and then hold it up. That's insane. And I'd make, I'd make a bunch of different ex hamster accounts with, uh, under, uh, my different moderator handles, like my mod, my mod friends. So it'd be like, Hey, I got you a fan sign. There's something, <laughs> dude, Christian Happy birthday. Baptist school fucked you up, dude. Like. I feel like you were holding I them hostage. I was supporting sex workers. What do you mean? It's fair. It's just like still insane at the same time. All right. Let's look at some misogynistic TikToks to bring us back to, to the real world for a second. I'm okay. Gonna, when I get back home, I'm going to send you. I have like a whole folder I'm of good. like my, I don't <laughs> of my fan signs. They're like trophies. I don't need my to Oh killer? my God. Don't call them trophies. <laughs> Should I not say that? I worked hard for those. <laughs> it would be a really good bit to do the sexy kitchen thing, but you're making like dino nuggets and tortillas with cheese melted in them and it's on paper plates, etc. That is a good bit. But you have to still look hot while doing it. And you're like still fucking the dino nuggies. Oh, that'd be so easy. Cause you could do it like, especially like if Austin came over or something. Yeah, I couldn't do it. But Austin could. Is yeah. that what you're trying to say? No, you could both do it. And no, <laughs> see, you have to take up. it. If someone's already doing it at this level, okay, you could alternate. So like think about the camera angles where it's just like, bam, Hassan, bam, Austin. But then you're just like, you could throw bread to each other, like the dough. And you're hitting different audiences. So yeah. you, you should be really yeah. capitalizing on the market. Yeah. Why are we hitting different the women, audiences? The women, the gay community. Why are we, why are we, wait, are you saying that Austin is not attracted to women? 
No, no. I'm saying that he's not Harry, so you can get the people that yeah, don't yeah, like yeah. Harry. He is men. Harry. That's a that's actually what? a lie. He just like shaves. Okay, well he doesn't. He's not publicly Harry. That's yeah. what matters. He he hides it. He hides his Harry. Uh, he hides his. He's hairiness. Lebanese. Well, he Where's can't it? help it, man. Oh, what was what was that thing? Um, what what is that thing called? That um. I think it was in the Victorian era where they would get like the, like a muff was what was it called? What? Or it was like the crotch hair pieces that were like fake oh, crotch hair. Oh, the things. um, a merkin. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Wait, they would just like. Yeah, cause like lice and stuff, so they would shave it off. Wait, this merkin actually? Yeah, there. Look it up. Look up. A merkin. I don't want to look it up. Look okay, it up. I can't look it up. A dick wig. <laughs> <laughs> This is that's weird. Okay, okay. Does does anyone have any like good misogynistic TikToks like or else I'm just gonna search red pill. Actually, I'm gonna do that anyway. Let's look at some why, red pill. Why are you looking up tapeworms? What? Why are you looking up tapeworms? It's kinda weird. What tapeworms? That's in your search results. Yeah. Do you need you wanna tape talk worms? Do you wanna what? talk about that? Oh, I think it's because of the last thing that I clicked on. We're, like the chat sent. We can listen, man. What is a tapeworm? Isn't that like um or have you seen that video with the oh. big old tapeworm hanging off that grizzly bear's butt? Oh, it could have been Kaya. Kaya had worms. Uh, when she got tapeworms from her uh, mom from being born. Tapeworms are like natural ozempic. That's funny. I got worms from my mom too. That's the brain nice. worm. Okay, why red the red pill, pill blue is pill. Can you explain? A red pill is more of like a realistic idea of what dating dynamics are. Blue pill would be more what most people grow up hoping for it to be. What you see more portrayed in Hollywood, that you're going to meet someone, fall in love, it's all going to work out, a woman's going to complete your life, you're going to live happily ever after. Red pill more being, especially in today's day and age, where between Tinder, Bumble, Instagram, people know their quote-unquote value on the dating market. Women who have a lot of guys interested in them, it's free social media where maybe they weren't as aware of that because of that so you have to approach it from like a more realistic mindset that you're not yeah, i doubt that they know a real woman to <laughs> to get them to portray yeah. themselves i suspect this is yeah it's shorter it's stock like profess your love to someone and it's going to work out red pill blue pill what do you think about that yeah what do you think i thought is there more to it or you just that's it i don't know why i don't it was feel like, like i don't feel short. like there was any point i need more i need more like I need more from these guys. <gasps> There's this. Wait, hand me my phone. There's this one. YouTube. Movies that turn boys into men. Why doesn't the hero reveal himself and tell us all your real name? Don't. Yeah. Make sure you don't show. If the B movie isn't in here, I'm gonna be so mad. You know what? You here know what, is what mommy issues look like in. Embrace. You know about like when you do that and there's like muscles there. Life's too short to exercise. I'm just gonna be honest. There are so many better things to do than exercise. Have you seen the coin slot? No. What the fuck is the coin slot? I don't want to know what that is. I think he's a reminder for men that scientists have now discovered a way for women to impregnate themselves using their own bone marrow. So we no longer have any need for you genetically or physically. How can I your fucking opinion? Crisis of male suicide. Reject modernity. Embrace masculinity. It's so funny that like a lot of this stuff is just like. Do you know there's an alpha male convention? I really want to go to it. What the fuck? There's, Are you for real? I can, Where? I, no, oh my goodness. Here, I think it was in. Um, okay, I love that. No, here, look. Oh my god, it's so funny. Oh, I think I have there, seen it. Alpha video. Con. Yeah, so you should search that on YouTube. Alpha Con. Because there's, there's like a bunch of like recordings from it. But look look at what like the dudes look like in this. Yeah, those are alpha males. What do you mean? Those are like, those are sigma males. Oh, so the, wait. The bull. Jimmy so if you're if you're a sigma, like can you, Alpha Con the movie? Why do they all Here look divorced? In my hand, picture your competition, right? And this <laughs> Wait, it's all just people dunking on the Alpha Con. Where is the real ones that like are pro Alpha Con? I think you have to go to like YouTube though. For that. I, I want to. Alpha Con is also military preparatory preparatory school in Brazil. Yeah, we don't want that. That's like a whole thing too, isn't it? Those like pseudo hey, boot camps. 
Oh yeah. Can, like, Did you feel better about thing? being a white man in America in 2022? Oh, I think they, when you're around others. Is that just Tommy Lauren? Oh my it? God. It is Tommy Wait, Lauren. It totally is. Oh my God. I haven't seen her in so long. Like she's just so washed. She was doing Alpha Con uh, sponsorships and shit. That want to be their best self, that want to achieve great things. It rubs off on you and it inspires you. There's a lot of messages in there that people they need. Have, like, a, Dog, like, a what are you doing? Matt Lip. Yeah. What, are, what is this man doing? Look at this Alpha Com man. I guess, is that Bro. Alpha? That's kind of Alpha. He's got no hair either. What happened to hair? I mean, he's got great he's legs. He's got like the five inch inseams on too. He has great legs That's though. That's kind of good. Honestly, you got legs like that, you want to show it off to the other Alphas. It's like, it's like he's peacocking. <laughs> Bro got the Rhodesia shorts. The Aussies wear them too. There's like super fucking short. You hear about becoming your best self, learning how to invest, learning how to truly become the greatest version of you. That's what an alpha mean is. That means you're top dog for who you are. What I we're see here, alpha. what's really amazing about AlphaCon is like, <laughs> we're not selling anything. There's nothing to give. And so is all just... of the speakers and all of the experts. They're doing Christianity too. This is like right up your fucking no, alley. Did that man have legs? Experts and coaches are teaching from a genuine no, frame doesn't. and a genuine state. Wow. And they just want to serve. But I, I don't want- know if I saw what I saw. Bro, I mean, dude, dude, I, I, like, why are you dressed like this, my man? What's that shit happening? Looks terrible. Like, he's just like, listen, it would be ableist if I didn't make fun of his outfit, okay? Because that would require me to, like, treat him differently, and I'm not going to do that. My man, you don't have to look like a magician, okay? Like, what's I'm happening? Serve. But I don't want anyone here <laughs> to feel like they're being sold very, something. Like what? In a very like loving way, and I don't mean it in an offensive way. Oh, oh god! Oh, so here we go. Let's hear it. <laughs> but if he has the magician fit, do you think he goes like, I can show you to make my arms and legs disappear? And he's like, whoosh. You know, maybe that's why. I, I feel just, like I feel like I I'm shouldn't comment right. on this one. <laughs> <laughs> it was her comment, not any of ours. All I right, think we'll I wanted on. to put this on to provide as much fucking value as I possibly can. Oh my god, bro, you are 40 years old. Why do you have a fucking mohawk? Well, I know why he has a mohawk. He, that's that's the bull. It, no, it's because <laughs> no. But that's his name. That's it's his name, his, the bull. It's because his hairline is receding and he wants to like make <laughs> it seem like this is intentional. That's why he thinks this is hiding his hairline and is not working. Okay, <laughs> he looks like Guy Fieri in like an alternate universe. <laughs> yeah, it just, he, he looks yeah, like um, bad you Guy play, Fieri. You ever play Oblivion? Yes. He looks like like an Oblivion character, I mean, like like an Imperial. <laughs> okay. For every single one of you, the biggest part in any one of the things that like one of the things that these guys always do is they they dress up in like the tightest, ill-fitting suits of all time. And it doesn't matter. Like, they can still be, like, kind of skinny. And they still, like, it's like, it has to be super tight to show off the muscles. Oh. Like, like Anything in life is... A too. You know, like, guys with their... Applying the principles yeah, like, that like you... Like, they got a stick up their ass. <laughs> like, I don't know why. It's like, yeah, I fixed my posture. I fixed my posture by shoving a fucking metal rod in my asshole. Biggest part in anything in life is applying the principles that you learn. If people will apply the things that were taught on the stage... Come on, Brody. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with that, dude? Dude, they, this is. That looks like a Merkin. This is like a variety <laughs> pack of, of every kind of divorce dad you can get, okay? He's like the ultimate divorce dad. You have to fight other divorce dads. <laughs> like he's just, yeah, he's winning. And then if you beat him, then you fight the bull. He's <laughs> winning divorce. Oh, he's God. winning the divorce oh. dad court. <laughs> How much do you think he pays in child support? It's like, <laughs> first of all, none of these motherfuckers are paying. They suppo they're supposed to be, but that doesn't mean they're paying, okay? <laughs> it's like, yeah, he's got a Backstreet Boys haircut in 2022. Why are you doing that to yourself and others around you? stage at AlphaCon, absolutely life-changing. AlphaCon is about understanding as a man or as a woman, how to be the best person that you were meant to go be, how to be the number one version of yourself. What is this guy say? What does he sell? <laughs> I thought he said number one virgin. <laughs> His hands look so soft. I don't understand. Like, they just got an accountant there just for finances and stuff. <laughs> like, what? He just looks like a... He doesn't even look... There's nothing that says even, like, alpha in a funny way. You know what about he kind of looks he's... like? Have you ever seen a Modern Family? 
Oh my god, you're so right. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah except like, uh, it's like way less pizzazz. Like the the the, yeah, yeah. the collars are supposed to be like with like different shapes and it's, shit it's, on them. Yeah. Pause and check the audience of that panel. How many women? There's actually hella women there. It's like shocking. <laughs> Self that you could possibly. I'm a big believer in immersion. You come to an event for one or two or three days. Damn, dude, they got the smoke detector and the fucking in the See, best Western conference hall. Like think, that's that's a fire. I think this hazard. is how a cutie should start doing the streamer. Workout. I agree. I fucking agree. Like, yeah. we, we need fog machines. I think cutie should just debate everybody and make it be AlphaCon. She yeah. should just bring these guys over and be like, guys, actually, you know how like she brought the uh, the the fucking hypnotist, the, oh. the hypnotizer guy. <laughs> oh who was my like, god, is a chance. Yeah, you know? she should just do that again, but this time with like Alpha Gone guys and be like, yeah, guys, actually, I brought you all here because, you know, I wanted you to be Alpha. You know what my dream event is? Is I want to, <laughs> if someone else does it, they stole it from here. I just want to say this. Okay. But. Inviting like a bunch of streamers, but then also hiring a bunch of uh, actor like impersonators, like mm -hmm. character impersonators off of Craigslist or something. I think you can still hire people off Craigslist. <gasps> yes, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. But like having you know a Michael Jackson impersonator, and they're just like, hee hee, you know. Uh huh. And what's then just the, like uh, like a bunch of them, like all the, different characters. What's the meta? Like what's the? Is just oh, it's, it's just, just a, it's for just fun? a night of them being in like deep RP with just streamers. That's so. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> it's That's funny, nice. okay? It's funny. Dude, this Thank you and the puss for the raid. What? Hope you had a good stream. Also, what? before I forget, uh, I forgot to run the three minute break at the top of the hour. I'm gonna run it now. Let's continue and with you the go all con. When I sit at home and I'm on YouTube or I'm on Zoom, you just don't get that. Like there's something about this guy that says alpha, right? And by that I mean that in, as a pejorative here. Like at least like They love doing the t shirt and like blazer combo. Yeah. 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 He's and also like it's like a weird it's like an odd pattern blazer. Like there's something that like sticks out. That everybody was sitting in their seat. Everybody was glued to the stage that I that I saw people speaking at, and uh, it seems to be kind of a hit. You're gonna have to ask them that though. Seeing this come together, <laughs> AlphaCon, what it really you know is turning into <laughs> is what I've dreamed of. This guy's name is Bridger Penning. Pen. Bridger Pennington, I need to, he's a crypto guy. He has to be. Well, I guess they're all crypto guys. Bridger Real estate Pennington, funds. Fun hey, he has LinkedIn. Oh, Lord. I'm not clicking. Boom, LinkedIn. people, welcome back to the show. Today, we're going to talk about how to start a private equity fund. We've had a lot of people ask us about this, specifically in private equity. So today's episode, we're going to go through all of this. What you. What? Just like beg rich people like i don't understand how are you going to start a private equity fund from scratch that's why we got to watch the video man <laughs> wait okay the launch okay fun launch formula i'm skipping the other it's making sense so far now you're probably sitting there like bridger hold on okay I, I get it that's kind of the structure i understand the structure but how do i actually start the name of the video is how to start yeah by the um, way 16 minutes in <laughs> fun of a bitch and I, what's been interesting is over the last couple of years you know i've ran my funds and i've started what is that moving fucking shoe in the background <laughs> oh man he's like the type of dude that i think you know like gives a tiktok advice where he's like open up a business and then like take out a bunch of loans in the business name and then close the business <laughs> You'll never owe any money. Money, infinite money glitch. Dude, I saw that shit for someone like advertising Airbnb strategies. It's like. <laughs> Food is on the way, finally. It's gonna be a while. Still, I'm so hungry. Oh, to interview blood sugar other people on this channel and show that have all actually gone out and started their own funds. And I, I try to only interview people that did it unconventionally. We're Wait, you're right. His name is the bull. I, I thought told you were you. just saying that. Why no. Why would why I just Why do you say know that? all the characters? You know the lore? I do know the lore. You know That's so weird, dude. What the fuck? You are the only woman that has ever thought about these men. I wanted I wanted to go to this. These I feel are, like I like, oh, but it would be so I like funny. people watching, you know? <laughs> this is a convention comprised of men that have been forgotten by women. Okay? That's the whole reason why they're doing the convention at all. If they only knew that you were out here fantasizing about the bull, like you would, you would fix them like that. They'd be like, "All right, no more, no, no more need for this shit." No, I just like I like making people like that uncomfortable. It's so easy. Tim Ballard is the Sound of Freedom guy, right? He's the this guy. Do you know the lore about him? Mm -mm. Do you know the movie Sound of Freedom? No. 
Wow, you're such is a. Is that the, the you're such a kidnapping libtard. one? Yeah, yeah. You're not a real fucking patriot. That's wow, right. That's Jenna. why you don't fucking. I know. thought you were different, and I'm proud of being. Yeah, no, you don't, don't try to hide. Don't try to hide your when lack of patriotism. Yeah. <laughs> Tim Ballard is the is the fucking. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> you're trying to get me banned. What's happening here? It's just girly things. Don't worry about it. Don't even do. This is the. That's how we communicate. I have I have women on my stream one time and immediately I'm about to get fucking banned here. Jesus Christ. Um, you've changed, Jenna. Thank you. Tell them. I've changed. Jiggy Joe. Jiggy. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you could say the jigs up song. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, fine. I can't watch From the Jiggy rest Joe. of this. I just I can't. They all look like they're cops, by the way. Like they all look oh. like different seasonings of cop. All got thumb vibes. They all look like they own that specific type yeah, of like glasses. The thumb, like the thumb thumbs from Spy Kids or whatever they're called. Yeah. <laughs> but also just cops. Like cops look like that. Cops like that. What an incredible event, guys. Thank you so much for coming. Jeremiah the Bull. Why are entrepreneurs willing to sacrifice risk and go through so much stuff? What is it that we want to be successful for? Why is it? that you want to do whatever it is you want to do. Why is it that your message is that message? I don't want the status quo. I want something more. Anybody else feel that? You're with me, say I. <laughs> I want you to write down what the fuck you want. And if you don't know, that's what you're here for. Is Bro, the they, they need to fucking visit BarberCon. That's it's what like they, they need to so do. They say so much, but say nothing at the same time. This guy's called the Muscle. Figure out what you want. Money doesn't make you what anything you other than. <laughs> I think he's like maybe he's a power lifter. I don't know. I think I... everyone should just like you because it's like the bulls. So it's like the muscle. It's like this is the leg. Yeah. <laughs> no, they're like yeah, they're they're like um. They're like a Guy Ritchie movie. Like, this is the driver. It's the muscle. It's the driver. Yeah. Hey. It's the bull. He's <laughs> here to fucking... He's here to tell you how we're doing a fucking ice, yeah? What you already are. Don't blame it. Try to get... This guy, we call him the brawn. Get some of it. Get as much as you can of it. Because when you get that money, it allows you to do bigger things. Get in bigger rooms. Hang around better people. Grow and develop. You guys want to grow, right? You want to grow? I want to fucking... I want to grow, dude. Today, you can just do things to do things, or you can do them to be great. You can do them for in. Wow, that's. I never I thought feel, about it I like that. I feel like they have, like, there must be some sort of, like, training course you can sign up for, like a master class they offer. Yeah. One of them has to He's teaching you how to do things to do things. <laughs> Sorry, do things to be great. Not do things, just to do things. I'm gonna, which see, is what I'm gonna many... see if one of the one of these dudes does cameos. So I'm gonna buy you a cameo, dude. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. I I I do need that. I need my life to be a better. These guys yeah. will teach me. They can save them. Yeah. Impact. You can do them for purpose. Oh my God! There's not <laughs> one but yeah. two of these, bro. Bro, <laughs> they just keep getting worse too, and like There's... more gel. It's so ugly, How? so nasty. How is there more than one guy over the age of thirty-five with this hair at this convention? What the fuck? If I'm the bull, I'm pissed. Because I'm like, dude, that's my thing. I'd be like, it's like you stole it, dog, stole it. dog. I'd be like, like Hank, we both can't have like, Hank. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta pull you aside here, Hank. Hank, listen, like, it's a little awkward. Me and the guys were discussing, like, only one guy. Can have the fucking hair like you Kinda. can't you can't do it you can't do it just me i'm the bull the mohawk ain't fooling nobody man yeah it's like especially because <laughs> right here you can tell where the hairline starts and ends you know what i mean <laughs> the infinity hairline he has like <laughs> you have to like collect all of them it's They're like crazy. infinity stones <laughs> <laughs> yo the tip of his hairline is like behind his ear what are you doing <laughs> Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm so oh. funny. He should have he should have went full bald at that point. You know what I mean? I mean let's talk business. Let's talk strategy and growing some fucking wealth. I hope that you're proud of what you believe in, and I hope that you can defend it. And I hope when someone asks you what you believe in, I hope that you answer loudly and proudly. She rhymed on that. We all have alpha in us. The question is, is are we aware of our alpha? 
So we're all. Oh, we have all. Uh, we all, all alpha. Have alpha in We've all got the same fucking alpha in us, bro. The world needs oh, two shit. things. I think we need stronger yeah. men and women it's that are. He he he's inside all of them. There is entrepreneurs that create jobs and create outcomes, all that different type of stuff. But we also need stronger men and women who speak their truth and lead because we're in a very weak. Bro, I feel like there's a way better motivation circuit for this guy. Like, how did? Cause like there's a lot of dudes like this that like overcome great odds and stuff like that and they're like motivational how the fuck did he choose to be the alpha guy variety of this this uh, type of thing you know that uh, meme where it's like if i speak twitter will suspend me i just don't get it what i don't get is i feel like this is inconvenient to not have any like wheelchair or where the Any ramps? assistance? I mean, I think like, it's like his own. Uh, that's probably his own choice. Like, I mean, obviously. He's alpha. He did it on. In a, but but strength. like the thing I don't understand is like. With his magic. The thing I don't understand is like there is a lot of um, there's a lot of guys that, you know, there's they're like all over TikTok, they're all over Instagram, like dudes who like work out, overcome great odds, and it's like it's awesome, great. Like it's maybe not for me. I don't really care about motivation because I'm beta, but um, but the point is like. They don't, I don't think they attend these conferences. You know what I mean? They're not going to the alpha one specifically. <laughs> yeah. These guys could sell the fuck out of some life insurance. I think that's probably what they do. I'm right. You care about freedom. You care about impact. You care about taking care of other people. And that's something that I can rally behind. I think the people who are here are going to win big time. They just gave me something and they didn't ask for anything in return. When you give, you receive. And so Jeremiah's proven it. He's given, 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 and I guarantee you he's going to receive the next one. I'm really excited what this content will do to help fill up the room for next time. I know, it's definitely... Who's that guy? Why taxes? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Run, it, run it back to that guy. Yeah, he's just like a normal I'm guy. Really he doesn't look as alpha as the other guys. He just looks like... No, no, no. Go to like where it's like just a straight on shot. He looks... um, You know that Spongebob episode where it's like, chocolate! <laughs> 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 Or you know the Pokemon Shuckle? Like you could edit this guy's face into like the Pokemon Shuckle. I I, you, I couldn't tell the difference. Does anyone know about the convoy? Do, Chad, do we have any like videos of the convoy that's like heading to Texas, or is that not no longer a thing? Because I heard that like uh, there was apparently like a like a convoy of patriots that are heading down to Texas to protect America's borders, or rather, I guess like protect Texas's borders oh, from America. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if they're like they're in Texas already. I don't know if they're actually doing it. I feel like they should kind of called it off because of January 6th and everybody was always like, yeah, they're, this is, they're all feds, brother. Watch out. Oh, they disbanded because they thought it was all feds. Well, they're not wrong. There probably was a fuck ton of feds in there. <laughs> Anyone that's in shape, I would immediately, if I join one of these like white nationalist militias, you know what I mean? If, I'm looking around. When? I should say when. Yeah, you should have a little too. Yeah. When I join one of these white nationalist militias, I'm going to be looking around for the for the skinny dudes, okay? Anytime I see a motherfucker who could do more than, like, 10 push-ups, that guy's a fed. Absolutely. Without a shred of doubt, that motherfucker is a federale. That's a federal agent, okay? I'll, I'll vouch for you. It just remember that. Wait. Huh? How could you do that? Do you have a lot of pull? I just, I'm guessing it probably, um. it probably works, you know, like, the wider you are, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> okay. You're too quiet for this. <laughs> listen, um, listen, this, this, I, I'm, I'm a little sad that they don't have the, you've got the fed build. Yeah. Okay. Well, <laughs> I'll have to eat a little bit more donuts. They're baptizing people. Oh, so they are still operating. Oh God. They're only on NTD.com. That's how you know this shit fall off. It fell off so fucking hard. What's NTD? NTD is like, um, it's like one of those like Falun Gong, like uh, CIA backed, like psychopathic Chinese cults that are like anti Chinese government. So, like, oh. and this is like New Tang Dynasty. Yeah, it's it's one of those. What's the, what's that? Um, God. Epoch Times, another one. No, it's like the stuff you see all the flyers for that Shen Yuan. Shen Yun, oh, yeah. So yeah. Shen Yun is also owned by, uh, like Shen Yun is literally Epoch Times. Yeah. yeah, I was I was reading on that where it's a front. It's like a huge cover. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. This is all the same shit. Absolutely. No, you you nailed it. Huh. 5,000 years of Chinese prosperity, baby. Shen Yun is uh, the same That's as so like crazy. the Epoch Times. Yeah. And it's all owned and operated by a cult 
called Falun Gong, and they're fucking nutty. It's awesome. Have you ever been back there? No, I'm Muslim. Just for fun. <laughs> no. I would do it. I don't That's give a you aren't you literally a Baptist? Don't they? Isn't that because they baptize you? Isn't baptism a big part of being a Baptist? No. You didn't get like baptized. You said as, like, you a went baby? to a Baptist Christian school. There ain't no fucking way you didn't get baptized. What Christian school? Okay. Gaslight girl boss. That's what I like to see. They are baptizing her in a cow trough for feed. Yeah. Well, what do you mean? That's the perfect place to do it. Dude, I love this. I, I love this. This is your people. Yeah. <laughs> they're fucking. Yeah, I got they're the. They're defending Texas. I wanna. I wanna. What is that? Oh, Bucky's. Yeah. Let's Aww. go. That's uh, that's Texas. That's a Texas institution. Orthodox Middle Eastern Christian here. Uh, we baptize our babies in church, never in natural water. This really does show they have more fun than we do. It's a trade-off though, because like on the one hand, on the one hand they have more fun. But on the other hand, they're scared fucking shitless all the time of like normal things. Like imagine, imagine being legitimately honest to God, terrified of going into a city. Okay. I feel like that's no way to live. Like, I don't want to be scared all the time. I don't want to constantly be in panic mode. <laughs> I, so it's a, it's a little bit of a trade off there. Like, like you're having more whole, fun. Like, shtick? like, what do they stand for? These guys, what do they stand for? Yeah, like, what America. Are their, like, beliefs? America. So they're, they're scared of cities. Why? Why are they scared of cities? Yeah, like the bull. <gasps> oh my. The bull and his boots. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. And the skinniest He's skin type. Pepper Stephen. If you crop that, everyone would think that was a chick. I'm gonna say. He's. <laughs> I don't care. I'm saying. Yeah, it. he's he's. You know what's ironic? Like he doesn't realize it, but he's he's defying gender norms. He is. In a big uh, way. Uh, okay? Good for him. Good for him. In a big way. <laughs> He's slaying, to be honest. <laughs> With the no. skinny jeans? Yeah. <laughs> and they're ripped, too. A little slutty, too. He just, yeah. like, has no okay. idea. Come he on. has no idea. He thinks that's, like, peak masculinity right now. He's like, yeah, He's hell yeah. Right now. <laughs> hell yeah, I'm is that showcasing like, is it. Is it textured hoodie, Oh, shit, I think the food is here. Or, oh, shit, you're right, it is. Yeah, yeah no. It's hot. It's hot. It's, uh, I, I, I love it. That's With like a, the lifted truck in the that's, background. That, that pattern. <laughs> With the matte black wrap. That is a fashion crime. To have that pattern on a hoodie is not, you're not supposed to be. Why, why hoodies scare me? Because I feel like I always get the cuffs through. What? I found this video replying you know? to your chat. Oh. No. It is not ableist to say that if someone owns a Funko Pop and has it on display in their home, that I will not see them as a voice of authority when it comes to the specific topic of maturity. It's just simply not an ableist thing to say. That's crazy. Owning a Funko Pop I went to does a Funko not Pop meetup once. make you a disabled person. <laughs> <laughs> Funko Pop people, and like I would go so far crazy. as to argue weird. that it's the other way around. Oh, wow, you guys are being quite ableist right now. I, I see that uh, I brought some toxic people to the they chat were, today. I went to the SDC Funko Pop called disabled or neurodivergent thing within like a minute of them being listed up. It's crazy. They were guzzling cans of creamed corn when I went uh, to this. Uh, yeah, I had I had um. Were they all soy facing like? Ah! Kind of. There was like a dude and he was like dressed like the Joker. He was trying to talk in like a Joker accent. And then no. someone dressed up as like Harley Quinn that was doing like aerial like stuff with like the silks. I'm not going to lie. It That sounds like a meme, but I believe you. It sounds... No. Oh my God. I had a dude follow me back from my hotel because I got one of the black SDCC exclusive, a black uh, Power Ranger Funko Pop because you get three Funko Pops with your blind bag. And he saw I got it. And these full grown adults were trying to steal my bag. And this one dude followed me back to the hotel. Okay, but they're like Funko fans. You could probably beat them up fairly <laughs> easily. Like this, you you literally have squatted me before. I, I feel like you could just you could destroy a Funko Pop guy. 
I don't know. One hundred percent. You could like eat one kick to the chest and they're they perish. <laughs> but I feel like they like pain. I feel like they would like they would. Yeah, enjoy they would it. nut so hard. They'd be like, ah, they yeah. nut so hard they would yeah. pass yeah. out. Yeah. Yeah, if they're into that sort of thing, um, throw them into water and they despawn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Insane Disney adult moment. Okay, but I want to see more like Alpha Con style misogynistic shit. And I, I feel like we're not, I feel like we haven't been able to find better misogyny guys. You know right, what I mean? Right. There's like this, oh, that's where I was looking at. Man, we went on a tangent. Oh, wait, with Alpha Con? There was like a. Oh, alpha the bull show. has his own like YouTube. Oh, yeah, where they give like advice. Wait, who is Jeremiah the Bull Evans? Oh, shit. Oh, you my guys, God. we're just getting started. <laughs> he got the Christian Dior Air Forces. He's got an Audemars Piguet. Like, he's Lambo. got a Lambo. He's got all of it. The food is not here yet. It's going to be here very soon, though. The Buck Club I actually got here, but. God. I met Jeremiah. Man. He stood out to me really quickly. From my perspective, Jeremiah, his three words I would say passionate, oh, look, I would wait. Say friendship, and I would say entrepreneur. Trying so hard. You actually <laughs> Can you go back to like where it had the red background? Yeah. Where, why can't I? I met Jeremiah. Uh, he stood out to me. I'll pause really it quickly. From my perspective, Jeremiah. Look at like the little back tuft. Ah! Little well, back tuft <laughs> like, like this? A little, little rat tail. Yeah, like He's hot. Spartan wannabe. Look at the lambda symbol in the shield. It's kind of cool that he's like trying to make it seem. Okay. It's kind of cool that he's like. Subtly trying to make it seem like he has the hair because he loves like Spartan stuff and not because his hairline is like <laughs> has has gone away and that's the only thing he can keep alive. Like that's a that's a that's a post hoc way of just uh slapping it on together. Tier three to Nick Merckx. Oh dude, these guys are all Nick Merckx fans. One thousand p. <laughs> Thirty four. I'm Katie fifty. Thank you for the fifty. Get the subs. His three words. I would say passionate. I would say friendship. And I would say great. entrepreneur. When entrepreneur. you actually meet Jeremiah, you learn that. The dude is like the nicest guy on the planet. He just wants the best for everybody. Whole lot of projection today, huh? Oh, come on, dog. I already take hair medication. Like, my shit's already fine. This, this is it. It doesn't get any better than that, but it's not going to get worse. You know what I'm saying? Come on. Buddy, and he wants to teach, and he wants Alpha to dog, on the other hand, chose a, a different you know, way to 10, go about 15 it. 15 years of seasoning, dude, he'll probably end up a trillionaire. It's easy to think flashy cars, all the stuff like, oh, dude, this dude's probably a jerk. He's arrogant. He's a male. Alpha male nice affirmations. That. Like, legitimately, I actually mean that. I look at Jeremiah, dude. That's the American dream. That's the American, right? The muscles. The fitness. Potent alpha male affirmations reprogram your mind for success. Oh, my God. They we do affirmations. To. Affirmations for men. Masculine power affirmations for dude, men. Dude, dude, this is so... Okay, These so, have, like, 151,000 so views. So, here's what I... Here's what, what I've... Ta I talked about this quite a bit. Like, uh, there is, like... Um, I uh, I think that there is, like, there's, like, this neoliberal monoculture where, like, everyone becomes a liberal, basically. Like, you have goop on the one hand, as this chatter says, and that you have goop for men. Like, this is goop for men. <laughs> and there is, like, a very funny way that... Oh, I, there's no visuals on this. It's just audio. I want to listen to I it. I want to see the visual. It's like just a little. Okay, this one is 655,000. Want to be an alpha male? <laughs> I mean, that's gay as hell, dog. Like, <laughs> come on, bro. You have like a buttery ass. This is literally. You have like this buttery ass voice. Like, you want to be an alpha male? Yeah, hell yeah, baby. <laughs> like, why? You have a dude whispering in your ear, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> this is, yeah, this is gay SMR. <laughs> this is Alex from Mindful Wave Studio. The purpose of these affirmations is to help you cultivate your inner alpha male. Bro, he didn't even spell it right. Alpha male? <laughs> That's crazy, dude. That's crazy. Oh my god. This has 655,000 views. It's time to transform into your most alpha state. This Start is literally okay. This Hold is on, uh, what is it called? Sissy hypno. This is sissy hypno, but alpha hypno instead. This what's, is the what's sissy hypno? Oh, like Goonie? Is it uh, no, no? You don't know sissy hypno? You know sissy hypno. You're no. such a pervert. You know. Come no, on. No, what is what is that? Shut the fuck up. What it's is like it? A, it's I like am, I am not. It's like, like a the type sissification of, of someone. It's like a, no, no, no. It's like a it's like a type of porn where they're like, 
I'm just so out I think they say, like, you got, like, a small dick or whatever. Or no, is it... Is that how it works? There's like it's a it's a type of porn. I was like, oh, you're where they so, do this like, basically, but so in the opposite pathetic. direction. Like your cock's so small. Humiliation like porn. That? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, humiliation okay, porn. Yeah. In the in the opposite direction, forced fem, that kind of shit. Oh, okay. Force uh, forced feminization. It's awesome. A kind of alpha not seen before. An illiterate alpha. <laughs> 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 no, there's a lot of them are illiterate. It's forced fem stuff. Yeah. Look at the comments and see what they're saying. I am an alpha male. I have an alpha mindset. I have confidence. I'm a leader. If someone who already is ready for this, press big like. I believe you, man. <laughs> this has got to be bots, right? My voice got so much deeper. I'm more at ease in social <laughs> situations. I'm more at ease around women. It's been like two weeks. I didn't listen every day and was more relying on myself than on the vid to feel confident. But when I did, it was at least two or three times. This is Oh, women crazy. watch them too as a as a as a women. Do not. Okay. This is a TikTok alpha male reaction compilation. Not date attractive women. Oh my god, congrats on coming out. Slay. I'm on the right track, baby. I want dating okay. women. Yes. Yeah, wanting to be with a woman. How gay is that? You win, sir. Okay, everyone is like making fun of these guys. I want to I want to know not the I don't want the reactions. I want like the OG ones. How hard is it? I feel like it's like impossible to not see these fucking losers uh, normally all over TikTok. So why is it so hard to find them now? You know what I mean? It's like odd that... It, it's odd that we're having such a hard time finding like alpha male shit unironically without, uh, without having like other people react to it or something. You know, have you seen Ho Math on TikTok? No. Yeah, it is clear. Big Tech is silencing uh, alpha males, alpha dogs. It's fucked up. Lambda Con announcement? No, I don't want that. I don't want that shit. Alpha male soul on IG. Some. Okay, what a. What a better way to kill time when the when the food comes by scrolling the TikTok channel and Discord. Okay, first of all. I, I took a little peek at it. I'm just like kind of worried, but I don't know how it's going to work, but let's see. Um, I'm finding, I'm finding a lot. Okay. This is, I guess this is how we do it. Slow mode is enabled, but you are immune. Amazing. Seven psychological Rigs. traits that make a girl obsessed with you. Oh, I need that for you. Here, like this. Rules must be a part of an upload TikTok. No links. No TikToks longer than two minutes. Uh, use upvote and downvote to vote for the best TikToks. Posting anything TOS is a one month ban. This is my community's greatest TikToks that they were able to find. And I'm a little scared to show them to you because we don't have a very funny community. Whoa. Well, dude. sometimes they're funny, but. Whoa. I'm trying to find this one. <sighs> You guys let him talk to you that way, man? What the fuck? All right, let's see. <laughs> I kind of like those ones. The yeah. Shrek ones are stupid, but they're funny. Oh, here's this one. Like, modern males want to be penetrated by women. Here's why. 1.6 thousand views. Wait. Yeah. 1.6 thousand or 1.6 million? No, just thousand. Wait. Modern males want to be penetrated by women? Yeah. Is that what you just said? Yeah. That's the name of the fucking thing? That's the name of the thing. It's Wait, this is like... eating tapeworms. Huh? I don't know when I Google eating <laughs> That's what I was asking about earlier. Um, his channel is Mr. Oh, Locaria. What the fuck? Why did it pick that up? That's some... No, that's literally the TikTok I clicked on from chat. Why would that be in my search engine then? It's like about a dude eating tapeworms for clout. Is the TikTok that some chatter sent me. Yeah, if this is the page. Mr. Locario. Who is almost here? Fuck, I'm so How Mr. Hungry. Lucario got rejected at a sex party. <laughs> Why do they make these videos? Oh, like I don't understand. 
Doc Hunt, thank you for the 10 gifted. Mr. Locario. Yeah. Your search bar pulls from your history. Oh, that's why. How to never get played by women. The simple oh. way to get 100% cooperation. That seems insane. That was streamed five hours ago. Oh, shit. Wait, this is the recent. Today, I'm going to be talking about this topic because this topic goes hand in hand uh, with having a program because this is the thing. If you have a program, you need, a, you need to get to the next over. one. It's over. He, he just in. ended it. He, he streamed it six hours ago. He has a denim newsboy cap. You can't get played. It's impossible. You understand what I'm saying? It is impossible for you to get played if you have a program. See, Rosebud says this. Don't game know game. accidents happen with motherfuckers that have got game. Right? See, when you have game, accidents. He has that on his soundboard. Dude. <laughs> Dude, he has that ready to go. He had that ready to go. He pressed the button. How many times do you think he has to play that? That he, like, has it ready to go? That's crazy. I going to happen. <laughs> it's just not going to happen. Because what happens is that when you have a program, you have a structured... Hold on. All right, you, the... You want to see I the... I on his videos. You, yeah, you want to see the, the woman, like, the... Like men want to get pegged by women thing? Is that what you I want? want to yeah, see that one too. Yeah, yeah. I think it's the green one. No. How to eliminate the fear of rejection forever. Caller says you can get the hottest women if you have money. No one tells you about cheating. This is about cheating on your girl. Never give a woman a second chance if she does this on a first date. Why women want to be promiscuous and not settle down with you. Why modern males hate on women who like sex. Um... Mr. Lakari explains why Destiny was never really in an open relationship. Oh my god. That's insane. Okay. That's that that made the big meta. <laughs> a, he, he's competing in the divorce dad Olympics too. Um two time divorce champion. Okay. Uh he's farming. Where is it? Where is the one that you're looking yeah, for? I think you might have just scrolled past it. I don't see it. Never it's take right women here. who give choosing signals. It's a yellow background. Modern males want to be penetrated by women. Here's what wait, it's yellow. not showing up for me. What the fuck? There it is. There it is. Oh. Happen, you go and approach, you interact with her, and you see if that oh, shit could go down. If it don't go down, you move on to the next woman. Like, is that simple? See, the pro see the problem is a lot of y'all motherfuckers have big egos. And so what y'all want to do is Y'all want y'all want to be in situations where y'all are like y'all trying to look cool. You're like, oh well, I'm not trying to approach a woman and tell her or or, or 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 talk to her about sex because you know I just need her to approach me and she gotta flirt with me and she gotta you know give me the choosing signals and she gotta do this because it's like nigga, it's not that serious. Women are not aggressive like that in mass. You understand what I'm saying? It's your job as a man to take the lead. Calm it's down, your job man. as a man to lead the interaction where it needs to go. You understand? The fact that niggas are expecting women to 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 be the leader in the situation is bitch made. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Y'all are so bitch made on this. Man, you know, I'm going to just sit here and she just needs to come up to me. And if she really likes me, she's going to talk to me. That's bitch shit. Is true? You see what I'm saying? Because you as the no, man no. have to create the situation. No, no, I agree. I agree. I'm not one of these choosing single niggas. You know that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, like, as far as, like, flirting goes, like, there has to be a limit on it. You can't just be confident and check on their outfit. But this, this is what I'm wear, saying. Like, but, but this is the thing. Flirting is a way to get the situation to turn sexual to see if there's sexual interest. That's what flirting is about. It's not about just complimenting a woman so all day bad. or talking so all this funny. shit. If you're going in a certain direction, the flirting is to give her something to respond to. You understand? Wow. Remember, women have to react to the man. To the man. That's why when you fuck a girl, when you put the dick in, she gives that O face like she's reacting to your penetration. You have to penetrate women in every situation. A lot of y'all niggas want women to penetrate y'all. That's why y'all want women to approach y'all. That's why the niggas want women to, you know, give them all the signals. Y'all want women to penetrate y'all. You have to penetrate the woman. The woman is supposed to be in response to you. This is what I'm trying to tell y'all motherfuckers. It's the truth you guys don't want to hear. Why did the video pause in this window? <laughs> How did you feel about that? <laughs> I, I I thought he was spitting straight facts. You know? As a woman. Hi, come here. 
I mean, he was he spoke so confidently it had to be true. Yeah. He yeah. seems to know a lot about being penetrated. He's really obsessed with the penetration thing. I don't even know where to put all this. There's so much. So much. Okay. We'll put this, we'll, we'll hold this back here for now. I think I, I feel like I, I need an extra table or something. Oh, come on. Watch out, baby girl. What are you doing? Don't. <laughs> Is this a gift? Oh, thank you. I'll treasure it forever. It's like magic. It's like a dandelion. You gotta make a wish. <laughs> <laughs> You should blow it not uh. directly into my mouth. <laughs> okay. How about that? How okay. about it? All right. Can I have a piece of bread? <laughs> I've, been, I've, I've been starving myself. What? Please, sir. Uh, <laughs> fuck. Right, we have so much. You don't have to eat everything. You can just like take one bite or something. If you like it, you can eat more of it. But we have a lot. Um, okay. All right. So. Huh. Where? I don't even know where to begin. Um, I already listed out all the stuff that we have. Thank you. Want some hand sanitizer? Sure. Nice. Um, please play top left. What? No. How crime works, gang rivals? No, no, we're gonna be we're gonna be eating, okay? Mm. We're gonna be eating specifically Turkish food. Or this is just chicken. That's fine. Is it my phone up here? Oh, okay. Oh, what's that? That's kofta. Oh shit. But here, uh, get one of those bigger bags. Get that bag, girl. Yeah, but under yeah, but make sure that it doesn't like explode underneath <laughs> while you're picking it up. Worry, that it. one has like a hole in the bottom of it, I think, because it's too heavy. Okay, let's see what's in here. Fuck. A shit ton of utensils. <laughs> I love killing the planet. Yeah, we're we're fucking ruining the, the turtles. Planet. They sent, me them so many, they sent me so many utensils because they like think that this is for a thousand people. <laughs> I have to know, is that red wig or Gurgis dyed hair? Are you wearing a wig or is it dyed? It's a wig. Wait, really? <laughs> what the fuck? Mm -hmm. It's not a wig. I think I kind of crush it bald. Okay. You would crush it. We got hard breakfast bald. foods first. Okay. This is sujuk liyumurta, which is just eggs in sujuk. It's a type of uh, like spicy sausage, kind of. Here you go. Um, you can try it by dipping it. Uh, is it like just here. putting my finger. In? Hold it. Hold it for a second. Oh. Offering sausage on the first <laughs> meal. Um, huh? We have. I like simit. that it's eggies with me. <laughs> This is simit, which is like a oh, sesame, yeah. a salty pastry. This is achma, which is another uh, salty pastry with less... Uh, and this is a pocha, which is uh, another salty pastry. That's like kind of breakfast food. Here, put that over there. There's supposed to be some service bread. Oh, here it is. Here is a pide. Here you go. You can dip it in there and try it. What do you mean? Just in the yolk? I think so. Would you like some pizza? <laughs> yeah, thank you. Awfully kind of you, sir. Let me see. I think you're supposed to get some like the sausage with it. <laughs> okay, well, your turn. Yup, mom, this is your It doesn't look too good. You're not wrong. Two girls, one bowl. Let's see if you like it. Um, your food is foreign. It's confusing. First of all, Denim's is Arab, okay? So she's not confused. 
and it's okay. Get him a fucking plate, you ape. This is the plate. She, they have a plate. Okay. Girl so, dinner. Um, I'm gonna put it in a tier list on a. Like we're gonna try to make a tier list website if we can. Okay. Let's see if there's a. Turkish food tier list. Turkish food tier list gone oruç. Okay, this has some of it, but it's not enough. Um, mm, let's see. I have to make my own. You didn't get them drinks, bro. Jinne eve götür börek de açar. No. Okay, what do you guys think about this so should, far? You should put on like restaurant music. I don't have any restaurant music. I don't know what restaurant music would That's be. Just like tap music or like what? Well, like I don't know music that would play in a restaurant. You know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> the folks. <laughs> oh, like some Turkish music and the Turkish food. Yeah, I'm down. <clears throat> Run it back. Sucuklu yumurta. Okay, we're gonna take an image here. Opening a new tab. Wait, what the fuck? Save image. Oh, it's a WebP file! <laughs> fuck! <laughs> fuck! I hate WebP so much! I hate it so much! It oh it. no! No! I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. Okay, it's a JPEG. It it's a JPEG. We found one. It's a JPEG. Do you wanna put your bread here? There, there's gonna be more food, it's okay. You don't have to be scared of letting go of the bread. Wait, how do I? <laughs> My blood sugar is so low right now. <laughs> oh, it added it. Okay, perfect. Oh, it's like... Okay, so first up we have Sujuk Liyamurta. What do you guys think about it? S tier, A tier, B tier, C tier, D tier. You can be on. I don't know the, the, what do you call the sausage? Sujuk. Sujuk. Yeah. I like that, but it's pretty plain, so I'm gonna just say C. Okay, Sujuk Liyamurta, C tier. All right. It is pretty fair. I yeah. like I like how uh, it's seasoned though. The spices were good. It was like some the cumin or something. Good. It was good. Okay. This is pastırmalı toast. Okay. Pastırma. It's a little. I mean, it, it doesn't it doesn't travel too well. But it's basically like a grilled cheese sandwich, but with um, with kashar painted it with uh, kashar cheese, which is a type of like, it's a type. I guess it's like a salty cheese on the saltier variety, and then pastirma, which is, um, I guess like the English variant is pastrami. It, mm. it is also spiced though. So here you go. You gonna try it? Mm. Thanks. Cut it in half. Or something. <laughs> Split it. It's going everywhere. There I'm gonna try here as well. <laughs> I appreciate it. Oh, that's actually pretty good. You like it? So, this is much. This is much. Uh, like it has a lot of spices surrounding the meat in order to cure it, and that's what you're tasting. There's like a faint sweetness to it. Yeah, it's good. I think this would be really good if it was actually warm and like crispy. Uh, yeah. Want some more? We'll be ready for the next one. Okay, pasta my toast. Does it make your pee smell weird? You know what? It might. It actually might. Eat up. <laughs> Why, are you gonna pee on someone? <laughs> Is that what you think I do? <laughs> no. All right, what do you uh, what do you put the pasta on toast at? I feel like I'm not experiencing like primo toast. Well, yeah, it's not gonna be like perfect. Yeah. I don't also think keşke kuru kuru gitmez. Uh, we do have Aydan somewhere in there, in the other bag. Can you give me the last bag over there? And then, Swap this out. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, 
Thank you so much, babe. Thank you. Don't spend it all in one place. <laughs> Oh, I think this is ice cream as well. Turkish ice cream. This is Aydan. If you want to try it, we can get it out of the way early. Um, this is a salty uh -oh. yogurt drink. I'm scared. It's not. I mean, there's like different. Uh, there's like Arab versions of this too and Persian versions of this too. But I wanted you to try it because um, I feel like Americans like they don't. They're not used to this taste. Yeah. Salty yogurt? Yeah. He's talking about There's you. no mint in it. It's just salty yogurt. That's it. Does it have like variations where there is mint? There's yeah, mint? but that's not say. Turkish though. The, the variations with mint in it is like, I think dolg or something. Like there's... I like them. I like yogurt based stuff though. Why salty? Like, what do you normally eat this with? Does it matter or no? Um, normally you eat it with like, you, you just drink it alongside like all matter of different Turkish food. Mm. Like, uh, all matter of different Turkish food, like donut and, and things like that. But it's a, it's a staple, it's basic. It's yeah, actually, like, it's not offensive at all. I feel like the acidity would go well with a lot of the heavier spiced meats. Oh yeah. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so that's Aydan. Save Aydan for the lahmacun. Yeah, you'll have it. You can have it on the side with lahmacun as well. And pretty much everything else, really. All these fucking mezes. Oh, this is also another sweet one. Sweet one too. So, oh yeah, this is Dutch. Okay, I'm gonna put the ice cream in the fridge. So that, or in the freezer, so that it doesn't go bad, or it doesn't melt. But, here, try that. That's cigarette buri, the one on the top right this there, one? next to the soup, yeah. We have to rank the sandwich. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, hold on. I think it's back. Oh wait. Just like cheese. I got the appeal. And the sandwich for me was also like a C or D. The sandwich for me was like a B. I think it's just like. I gave it an extra point because I think it would normally be very crispy. And yeah, very... I think if it was like... Okay. Maybe on like a different bread too. I don't like the bread. Okay, I on. Um... This is I on. Okay. Let's see if we can save it. Okay, we can save it. Thank God. pretty neutral. What are these? So that one is a uh, cigarette buri. Wait. That one is a cigarette buri, which means like a cigar burek. Burek is like a... How do I describe what burek is, chat? I don't know how to describe what burek is. Um, it's like a pie. Like cheese pie? Like a cheese pie, yeah. What kind of cheese is in it? Uh, it's feta cheese. Oh. It's pretty simple. We call it, yeah, it's a pastry with cheese in it. We call it Bayos painted. It's supposed to be fried. Um, It's feta filo pastry. Oh, this is really good. It's actually a pretty decent version of this. I think the simplicity works. I think it's nice. Yeah. Like a Turkish spring roll, chap. Okay, what do you think about that? I think it's pretty like simple. Um, I could see like myself being high and like crushing a plate of those. Oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> B 
B. B? Yeah. Okay. Budik doesn't have cheese. We're gonna have a problem. Suck my dick, Balkans. Okay. Yes, it does. <laughs> Balkan chatters. Shut the fuck up. This is not about you. Okay. Okay. Um, you. We can try the the Turkish salty pastries as well before we move on from the breakfast section. I guess. Well, this the budik is not really breakfast either, but. It can be. Here, the pastries are in that big bag. Okay. Yeah. So, here. This is pacha. Go ahead. Uh, that also has feta cheese in the middle of it. This is all breakfast uh, food, for the most part. Um, they, they like, um, brush it with... Egg wash? Um, yeah, with egg. Yeah, on the top. And it has feta in it. And Achma has a like similar consistency uh, to the pocha as well. Do you like it? This shit is so good. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if it's that I've had some that's very similar. It's fucking good. I like that it has sesame seeds on it. Yeah. This is like A for me. Okay. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. All right. Um, there's many different variants of pocha. Um, this is just one of them. It's probably the the pinier de pocha. It's uh, probably the most popular one. I personally prefer like no. Um, I personally prefer the pocha with like no cheese in it, but the cheese one is pretty good overall. Um, you said A tier. I personally you, think so. Do you agree? We can be controversial. <clears throat> I guess you'd be like a staple. I think it has a lot of versatility to the dish. I think you could do a lot of stuff with it. That's why I'm giving it, boosting it a little bit. I'll give it like a B. Okay. I think it's an A tier. So I'm gonna, we'll, we'll put it, we'll keep it at two A's, one B. The A's have it. Damn. It's called democracy. Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> okay, thought, so if you like sesame, try we the simit. This <laughs> is an iconic <laughs> Turkish street food, simit. This is like a more breakfasty uh, spot, more breakfasty version of it. But this, um, you can find on the street, like street, uh, they sell on the street everywhere. Uh, it's a it's a salty pastry once again with uh, sesame seeds all over it. Here you go. The one ring to rule them. <laughs> <laughs> Normally you can uh, you eat mean? it on its own. It's a little bit dry on its own. Usually like the way you're supposed to eat it, especially when it's fresh, um, is, is with like a, with like a triangle cheese. You eat it with cheese? Yeah. I don't know how fresh it is though. Let me Seems see. Seems kind of dry. It's really dry. Is it? Yeah, it's a little bit dry. <laughs> you break in like sesame seeds fly everywhere. No, it's good. Here, give me the breakfast, uh, sujuk. You can eat it with breakfast food, too. Sorry, I put some stuff on top. It's all good. Do this. That would probably help a lot with the dryness, yeah. I'm like, this was some, like, shachuka. Oh, sh... I would go crazy. On its own. I wouldn't go out of my way to just eat one of these. Okay. Mm, yeah. Maybe harsh, May but like D. I would never, I would never get one of these. I think in a store. <laughs> I mean, I'm. I think this one's not very fresh. So I'm only gonna come in as a tiebreaker. I'm gonna say B. I'm noticing a lot of cheese. Are Turks not like those intolerant? Fuck no. Okay. And then the last one is Achma. This one. Mm-hmm. You want to show it off? Here, you can take it out and show it off. What's this one? That one is also still like in the same vein as a breakfast, uh, the breakfast food. See me, does that D? Is this the same thing? What, which one is it's, this one? It's just Achma. It's just a different variant, basically. Uh, similar to the Simit. I prefer Simit over Achma, but some people um, some people prefer 
Watch my What would you do? Do you not like it? Is it dry? Do you want to spit it out? I'm just trying to eat it. <laughs> you can spit it out if you need to. It's all good. I like this one probably the most out of the bunch. But I think because this one's like not dry. It's got a good flakiness to it. Yeah. You know? You're right. Yeah. Was... Kaya, get get out of there. So, what do you guys like about Achma? I like the texture. That one was pretty flaky. Kaya, out. Oh God, like you see all the crumbs. Are you kidding me? Oh, fuck. Finally, I can eat. I'm starving. Okay. I give that like a B. Yeah, I think so. I think when it's warm, also. Okay, Achma is at B. Um. All right. Now we're gonna move away from uh, the the you know breakfast stuff and things of that nature to this is lentil soup. You can try this. Do you guys want water, by the way? There's two bottles down there if you want water. Water rations. No. Yeah. Um. Don't drink it all at once. This is uh, Majime Chodosa lentil soup. Um, it's oftentimes, I mean, depending on who's making it, sometimes it's like even yellower than this. But uh, it's also another Turkish staple. You can just eat it with like by dipping the bread in it if you want to get a taste of it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Like that. Give me a piece of bread. <laughs> no. Lens is also a classic. It's even in this list already. This is like an. This is good. I like this. Okay. This is an S for me. S tier. That's Damn, actually, we're putting the that's actually, in there. Okay. That's actually seasoned. So I'm just like bread and cheese. Yeah, that shit is S tier. <laughs> it's good. Okay, nice. All right. Lentil soup at S tier. Let's go. We we got our first S tier. Um all right. So this is gonna be a, a an entire platter of like apps. Okay. And we're just gonna we're gonna fire them off. I'm not I don't know if I'll be able to wait. I think this is Baba Ganoush. Um mm, but this is Shakshuka, you were talking about that earlier. So this is yeah, this is Baba Ganoush, I think. Looks like it. You can dip the bread over there into oh, it if you want. Do you ever dip like veggies and stuff into this? Or? Do you eat it? No. Like, no? Oh, wait, bread. No, you, you eat it with like uh, lavash or bread or you eat it. I mean, in Turkey, like we eat hummus, for example, with like a spoon. We don't like dip shit into the hummus. Oh, that's Yeah. Good. That's like, you know, I like that. Çatal kaşık yok mu abi? Var ama ne ne boş var. Çatal kaşıkla yemez bunlar. Amerikalı bunlar. Um, they're saying why don't you eat it with a spoon and a fork? And I'm like they're American. They don't do that. Okay, so that's baba ganoush. What do we think about that? I give it an A. Hmm. I like it. A. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna remember. I'm gonna try to remember all that and then put it in afterwards. Okay. This is tzatziki, jajuk. Oh, damn. Classic. I'm sure you've had it before. Where's the spoon? You want it with a spoon? There's for you if you would like. Do you want another one or do you have one over there? I have one. Okay, perfect. That's a lot. Is it? I like tzatziki. I, it's, I use it more as like a dipping sauce. So you're supposed to in Jajik is supposed to be eaten with a, a in Turkey at least it's supposed to be eaten with a with a spoon. It's not like a really? yeah, it's not a dip at all. Hmm. But um, but in America, in many places, like they use it as a either uh, they use it as a dip or they use it as a condiment. 
But but yeah, we um we I like eat that it. there's a lot of yogurt based yeah. foods. So the Turkic people that came that descended from the uh Asian steppe were all nomadic. So they were always on horseback. Mm-hmm. So that's the reason why a lot of the Turkish food actually heavily incorporates milk because they would use horse milk and make like, you know, yogurt and things of that nature with the horse milk so that like a lot of our food has uh like early from early on a lot of our food has always had uh yogurt in it. It's also a good way to balance out the spice because there's plenty of spice as well, which is used as a preservative um in many of the um do you guys still actively use horse milk a lot with your dishes? No. Or? No, no, of course not. They once, you know, they figured out domesticating cows. They were like, this shit's way better. I assume. Can you pass the lid? I don't want anything to like spill. Okay. All right. So Jujuk, what do you, uh, what do you say to that? And this is a pretty good version of Jujuk too. I'll say, I'll stand on this one. At, at least B and A. I like the yogurt based one. So I'd, yeah, I'd agree with that. B? For the baba ganoush? No, for the uh, Jujuk. That was the yogurt one we just tried. Yeah. I like yogurt based, so I'd give it yeah, like an A. Okay, baba ganoush. What about that one? I know. I like that. Yeah. So both both baba ganoush and, and uh, jujuk A tier. Okay. That's good. Um, here this one is. Okay, so this one is Esme, and this one is Mamara, but I'll show you that afterwards. So this is like the salad one that I mentioned. It's like. It's got tomato paste in it. It's supposed to be like a salad, but not really. It depends on how you make it. Um, it's just means like crushing. And that's, I guess, like you crush the spices alongside the onion and, and the seasoning and the tomato paste and the tomatoes. It's mm. supposed to be a little spicy as that's well. Good. Maybe like an ash. I've had like a version of this. This shit's pretty good. It's also a good level of spice. Yeah. Okay, let's put that on there. The ones that we, the ones that I use, I'll just like put over. Yeah, you can put, um, you can use that with the bread as well. This one is Mohammada, which I really like from this place. Mohammada is like very, it's kind of similar to Esme in many ways. It's got um, uh, walnuts on top of it as well, but it's uh, it's more pasty, I guess. Here, you can use oh, this I'm with, definitely with, wait, I'm just uh, with bread, definitely. <laughs> You don't want it with the nut? I prefer no nuts. You can dip it with <laughs> bread too. You don't have to you don't have to hit it with a spoon. Well that we're supposed to use a spoon. No, Mohammed, you can actually uh, dip stuff into you can dip stuff into everything. This is meze. So like you can use normally there's a table bread. Turks consume a lot of bread. We are probably one of the most like bread consuming nations. Every Every meal has a shit ton of like, um, there's like a Turkish bread, uh, that is, I don't think they really have it in America, but here, I'll show you. This is what it looks like. It's nothing that you see here. Ekmek? Ekmek Khalifa? No, that's not bread. That's a You guys dessert. use a lot of pistachios and stuff too, no? This. Okay, so this sofre ekme, okay, is a table bread. This literally is like the, this is the most Turkish one of the most like iconic Turkish things you can have, okay? Um, it's really, it's crunchy on the outside. You have this little like crust area right here. And the inside is actually very, um, the inside is very soft. So normally this is the, this is the type of bread that you have at every table, at every restaurant, they slice it. And, um, and that's what you eat everything with. Stats feed. Bread consumption annual per capita. Turkey consumes the most bread. Yep, there it is. See? God damn. Turkey consumes, wait, what? 200 kilograms of bread per capita? That makes no fucking sense. How large is Turkey as a country? Um, Turkey is 90 million people. That is a sizable amount. It mm-hmm. looks like a Mexican bollillo. Bollillo. We also use bread. We also use like the Turkish bread, the table bread, and like uh, various different foods as well. So that's probably part of the reason why it uh, is is so. 
um, is like that. Okay, this one is Sodma or Dolma. It's a uh, grape vine leaves. I love these. Um, with uh, I think this is. Oh yeah, this was uh, this is cold. This is like Greeks eat this too. I think. Um, Do Dolma you put, or like, Sarma. The lemon? You can put the lemon on it if you want. Do you guys care? Um, it's actually not my favorite. I actually don't like this at all. But there's another version of this that is warm, and you're supposed to eat with um with yogurt. I could see these being good. With having like meat in it. This one does not have meat in it. It's, is this I one think, just rice? Yeah, I think it's like rice, right? Let me see. Yeah, I think that one is a yeah, that one is rice. And um Yaprak Dolma or Sarma. And uh this one is consumed cold. It's, it's really sweet. Yeah. It's not my favorite. And it hey yeah, it has like pine nuts and things like that. Yeah, there's an Arab version of this. It's called mashi. Hmm. It's not sweet like this. But so, it's also not my favorite either. Yeah. Also, a lot of this food is like... Uh, I mean, a lot of this is like every other country in the region also has their own variants of it too. Like, it's not just I think I like this Turkish a lot more food. with like the yogurt. I'm gonna have this mom on it. I'm gonna give it to you. I'll try it. Yeah. They put raisins in it too. Is that where the sweetness is coming from? Can I She's dip it? Can I dip it? Well, I know you said no. You just spin it. I mean, you can if you want to. I don't care. I mean, it's not like you're not supposed to, but it doesn't matter. I don't make the rules. This one is shakshuka, which is um, fried eggplant, tomatoes, and more tomato paste, obviously. Peppers, fried peppers. Way better with the yogurt. Fried yeah. onions. Do you want more or are you good? No. You eat that with bread for sure. Where do I put this? Okay, so what do you think about dolma? Mm, I've had those before. Or sodoma, rather. Which means to wrap. I don't know if I'd eat them on their own. It's definitely better with the yogurt though. I prefer the um, the cabbage leaf Russian variation. Mm. It's like gulps or something like that. Those are really good. That that for me is like C. It's not bad. It's oh, just not, before I forget, I just don't like it. Iconic, obviously hummus. This is hummus with uh, pastirma on it. So. Is it that meat or? Pastirma is the meat that you saw in the uh, in the first thing that you had the toast that you had. Um. So this is like here. I'm gonna try this as well. It's fire. Jail, why is there pastrama on it? You put pastrama on hummus. You can do that. I've had it in Turkish restaurants. I wouldn't, I'm Turk. Ben Türk restoranında yedim ham e, şey humusun üstüne pastırma koyuyorlar sıcak normalde. So normally it's supposed to be warmer. The hummus is supposed to be warm and the pastırma is supposed to be warm, but um, çok yaygın. I think someone said um, someone said maybe Aleppo. Like it's it might be like a Arabic influence as well. What do you guys think about the hummus? That's pretty good. It's hard to say because I feel like hummus is one of those things that's like restaurant to restaurant. Yeah. Some places yeah. just have dog shit hummus. Yum. This That's is, pretty good. This is a very good hummus. Yeah. Um, this is a Turkish hummus. Um, I don't know why. Maybe it's the mixture of tahin and the beans that they use in it that make it like different. But I feel like this is um, this is like very close to uh, Turkish hummus. It's like a little sweeter, almost. Yeah. Oh, what did you guys think of the shakshuka? Did you try it? Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, that was like an A for me. That's an A? I think I'd agree. Yeah. The hummus is like as good as fuck. Too. Yeah. Well, the hummus is an S for me. It's really good. We could put it up at S. Okay. Hummus S here. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to use that as a placeholder for hummus. And then. Is there shakshuka in here? No, it doesn't seem like it.
So they also put uh, eggs in shakshuka as well, I think. This mm -hmm. is the variation that I know. Yeah. Um, we we have something like similar to that, I guess, like called menemem, but we don't... I've never had shakshuka with egg in it. Really? Yeah. It's really good. Okay. Well, I'm going to use it as a placeholder for hummus. Um, okay. Let's move on to the meats because they're getting cold. Oh, last thing. This is ichni kofte. It is uh, ground ground meat or ground beef or minced beef uh, inside of a fried dough. Oh, this shit is so good. Yeah, inside a fried dough and it's got like some nuts in it too. It's like pine nuts, I think. Yeah. Mm. Cheers. Mmm. I love this. It's not crispy and it's not warm. Yeah. If not for that, this is S for, for me anyways. I really love this one. Isn't it fried bulgur? Yeah, I think it's not dough, it's bulgur. It might be bulgur. I'm not entirely sure what they what they fry it. Is this like a blend of lamb and beef or is it just Oh, um, I think it might be lamb. Yeah. Like, this it's is fire. Really yogurt, yeah. You can put um, you can put lemon on it if you want. Acidity for sure, just because it's a fried food. Mm -hmm. Kind of helps cut that. You want some lemon? Yeah, you gotta have the acidity. It's fucked up because it doesn't look as good as it is. In my opinion. I think that's about I should ask for this. being used to it. Because like when it, I it see it, fresh. I know exactly what it tastes mm -hmm. like. So I'm like, this is going to be fire. Mm. Okay. Imagine giving cold food and ratioing it. Chat, we have limitations, man. I, I don't have like a fucking five-star Turkish chef coming in here to fucking whip it up in my kitchen. You know what I mean? It's the best we got. Stop complaining. Okay. What do you think? S. S tier for the fucking uh, köfte. Okay, it's your köfte. Do you want a napkin? I mean, you could have afforded one. Oh, shut up, food munch foot muncher. Freaking perv. <laughs> Whip them dogs. <laughs> you just came in here. Like, you can't, you should have a little bit more, you know, shame. You can't be having a name like foot muncher and come into this chat and make demands like that. Okay. Punish him. Run an ad break. I thought it was like, you know Amen. what? I'm going to fucking, <laughs> before, because I forgot to run it at the th uh, top of the hour. I'm going to run it now. Foot muncher. foot muncher. you are now the reason why everyone's seeing a three minute ad break. Okay. No, this is, this is collective punishment. Is there a cap for this? Have you seen it? It's like somewhere mm -hmm. over there. Maybe? No cap. No cap. I don't see it. Is it not this? Or is this one for something oh, else? It might be right. What the fuck is right in front of me? Okay. This one's baited. All right. We're moving on to the real shit. This one's baited. It is basically Adana kebab, which is one of the kebabs you're going to have in a second. But instead, it is wrapped up in a lavash and has like a tomato, um, like, like a, what it would be. It's like kind of like tomato paste on it. Okay. It's one of my favorite foods. Um, this is the same sauce they use on Iskandar as well. Iskandar kebab. You can dip Are it into the... You can dip it into the, the uh, yogurt in the middle mm. and give it a taste. You're gonna fucking love this, I think. With the yogurt in the middle, yes? Mm hmm. Is it fork or spoon? It don't matter. As long as it gets in your mouth, that's it. That was just the thing around it, thing surrounding it. What is that face? It's good. It's like smoky. It is smoky. Yeah, the meat is uh, smoky. I like that. What's the uh, outside? Lavash, which is like a like a wrap, I guess, it's like a burrito wrap. I don't know how else to describe it. I like the smokiness. Yeah, same. And the yogurt? No. It is good. I give it like an A. Okay. Beatty. 
Beyti kebab is what it's called. It's a Turkish dish consisting of ground beef or lamb, grilled on a skewer and served wrapped in lavash and topped with tomato sauce and yogurt. The dish is named after Beyti Gular, the owner of the popular restaurant Beyti in Istanbul. That's weird. I don't know what the fuck it has on top of it here, but... Cheese. Uh, I don't think it's cheese. Or it might be. Weird. I don't know what else that would be. Weird to see it with cheese, but... Oh, fuck. <laughs> I almost fucked it up. Okay. Um, You said it's an A? Mm hmm Okay, Beatty's at A tier. Let's go. Um... Pop vagina is Mrs. Dude? No, I don't think it is. But anyway, um, Beatty is, is at A tier. Okay, moving on from Beatty, we have Lamb Shank, Pirizola. Here you go. I don't know how well it traveled. <laughs> you can take one first. Go for it. You don't want to. If you if you don't want to have it because it hasn't traveled well, it's fine. You could take like a nibble. No, no, I want to eat it. I just I haven't ate anything all day, so no, I'm trying, like, I don't don't even try it. It's not that good. Is I mean, not? you might like it. No, I love lamb. I just lamb don't. is like kind of gamey though, so when yeah, it's yeah. not like super warm. Like lamb and duck are probably my favorite proteins. Really? Yeah, right, right, yeah. So this is very gamey, um, normally, but and I, I think it's like hard to make really well, like lamb shanks. The thing is like. Um, you don't really put too much on the lamb shanks in Turkey. Like you just kind of serve it as is. Uh, the, the, at most you put kikik and like some spices. Kikik is uh, oregano and like some other spices on it. But overall, I mean, it's cooked well. No, it's not bad. Is this just potato? Oh, it's just mashed potato. Yeah, on the side. Don't forget to rate the iodine. Yeah, we'll do it afterwards. So that's how it's normally seasoned? Um, pretty much. Yeah. What did you think about that? I've had some good lamb shanks and those were not good lamb shanks. It's like C. Yeah, that's like a C for me. C or D. Okay, fair. Here it is. Also, we might be a little biased because it's cold. I'm freezing right now. You're cold? Mm hmm. Oh, are you actually? What the fuck? Are you sick? Oh, you haven't eaten. That's why. It must I, be. That's what I said. I'm you got like, like low blood sugar. Yeah. I was getting okay. a little nauseated there for a second. What is the caster? I don't even know. Oh, One of those oh, things over there. Um, okay. Moving on. This one is going to be fire. This is köfte. And this place actually makes it really good. Um, oh, uh, lamb, you said C tier. Let's put that into C tier. This is köfte. So a lot of people think Swedish meatballs are actually Swedish. When in fact, Swedish meatballs are actually a Turkish invention. That's right. I don't know if you knew that or not. These are Turkish meatballs. This is like one of the closest I've ever seen to like actual meatballs, uh, Turkish meatballs in America. You can have it with any of the stuff here. This is gonna be very spicy. It's very hot pepper. So watch out for that. What kind of pepper? Um, I don't know. It's just hot. Just a jalapeno? I don't know. But anyway, you good. There's in Turkey, there are regional köfte. You have bulu köfte, which is like a tube, uh, like a cylinder, basically. Um, you have like Izmir köfte. Uh, you have köfte from different places around the country. Um, uh, but this is like probably the most average, like I would say this is the most basic köfte. Like when people say köfte, this is what they think of. Inegöl is another one. What do you guys think? It's good. It's a meatball. This is S for me, but I'm biased because I make this shit myself. And it's, it's so good. Well, the thing about Turkish köfte is, um, I think you're supposed to make it with bread. 
You yeah. put like water in the bread. You soak the bread and then you add yeah. it to like the ground beef and then you add the spices and everything. I, I think it's S tier too. You don't like it that much? I mean, it's good. I'll put some fries. That's not spicy. It depends. It's a hit or miss. Sometimes it's really spicy. Other times it's not well, spicy at all. It depends all. on the seeds. The huh. seeds are what is, makes a jalapeno spicy. Is that a jalapeno? That's a jalapeno, yes. Um, okay. Um, why is Turkish food so much like Mexican food? Uh, Spanish uh, colonization and Lebanese people coming to Mexico as well. That's why. Uh, including, um, what's the what's the thing that they have in Mexico? The the spinning meat? That one is literally Turkish. Like, it's, it's origination is the Levant under the Ottoman Empire. Donat. Al Pastor. Yeah. Do you That's why. eat these with, like, those? Like, those as toppings? Or? Uh, köfte? You can eat like as a sandwich form. You can eat inside of bread. You can eat inside of the lavash, which is underneath it right now. That's actually pretty good too, because it traps all the fat mm. as well. Like the the thing underneath it. My late grandfather used to make it in like a little easy oven and he would put things of bread underneath the kefte. Oh. So as it was cooking, the bread would also cook underneath it with all of the oil that's like dripping off the kefte. That shit was awesome. He lived to like 90. I don't know how the fuck he did that. He just ate like shit, mm -hmm. drank a lot. I used to have, um, I was really good friends with this uh, Greek Orthodox family. Um, but every Easter, I'd love going over to their house because they'd have two giant like <clears throat> lambs and they'd oh. slow spit roast them and just cut it off. And all like the fat would go down on the coals. And then, oh, best lamb I've ever had. Okay, so Kefte, you didn't like it too much. It's not bad. I give it like a B. You give it a B? Okay, I think it's an S tier too, but since you gave it a B, we'll put it on we A average tier. It. We yeah. average it out to A tier. There you go. It's just so it's so versatile. You can do so much. Yeah. With it. yeah. All right. What the fuck is this? I don't even. I think this is like the mixture. Um, this is the mixed plate. Oh yeah, it is. Okay. This says. Oh fuck. Why did I get lamb separately? There's lamb in here as well. This is the mixed plate. Um, there's lamb, there's chicken shish, there is, uh, regular beef, uh, kebab, shish kebab. And then there's also supposed to be, oh, there it is, uh, adana as well. So this is basically like beite. This right here is adana kebab. It's basically like beite. Are you getting full, by the way? No, I just have to pace how I eat because I'm going to get nauseated just because I haven't ate all day. Yes, Same. And this is bulgur. This is what, this is what they use on the. Uh, this is what they made the side of the ichli kofte with. But yeah, there's also lamb pizzole in there. But if you don't, obviously you already had it. So this is a steak, um, steak shish, like beef shish, chicken shish, kebab, and also adana kebab. It's got rice in there too, if you want to try the pilaf as well. I just need, I need a second. <laughs> Take your time, I'm digging your time. There's also more burek here too, which I forgot about. But here, you try that. You eat that. I'm gonna try the burek myself. I don't know if it's good or not. It don't look too good. <sighs> Can I use my spoon for this? Yeah. And what was this? Simple hook. Oh. Or at least that's what we call it. <clears throat> that's chicken shish kebab. You like the chicken shish kebab? So what I like to do is I actually use the meze, like the tzatziki or the esme or baba ganoush with these meats. That's what I do personally, and you can do that as well. Like you're not supposed to like eat it on its own, basically. Why did you wait until I ate? <laughs> um, I don't know. I wanted you to try. I mean, you can you can eat it on your own, obviously. Like it's 
It's ready made for consumption. I'm just telling you how I choose to eat it, not the most common way of eating it. And then this is the last piece of the puzzle that I saved, in my opinion, the best for last. And people are going to be very excited for this. This is called a lahmacun. Okay? It is not Turkish, but it is very popular in Turkey. Isn't it is it Armenian? Um, I don't know what it is actually. Let's look at the let's look at the OG. I don't think it's Turkish, but Lahmacun. Oh, it is a it is Levant. So technically, I guess maybe it is also Turkish. No, it says Armenian. Um, Lahmacun or Lahmacjo, Armenian, is a Middle Eastern flatbread topped with minced meat, mostly most commonly beef or lamb, minced vegetables and herbs, including onions, garlic, tomatoes, red peppers, and parsley. Favorite uh, flavor with spices such as chili, pepper, and paprika, then baked. Lahmacun is often wrapped around other vegetables, including pickles, tomatoes, peppers, onions, lettuce, parsley, and roasted eggplant. I've never actually put roasted eggplant in there, but you're supposed to eat that while drinking the idon. That's like the duo. I'm gonna make it for you guys. So normally, this is just how it is, right? As you guys can see, but you're supposed to put um, all of the things that I just read to you, which come in this little cup for us. Luckily, including parsley, <laughs> you are dying. Including parsley, onions, uh, and also tomatoes. And then you're supposed to um, douse it in uh, lemon as well. Are you gonna be okay? You don't have to eat it. You're dying. That was just a big piece of chicken. That was, yeah. And I was, I raw dogged it. You told me after. You're such a big it. girl. I thought you could just fucking handle this meat. What is happening? I lit I'm genuinely shocked at how little you eat. You're like I a bird. I haven't ate all day. You you're, texted you're me this morning and you said, don't eat anything. That's so why, because stomach... I was going to make you a lot. I was going to give you a lot of food. Oh, so you're just going to shrink my stomach and then be like, oh, hey, put all this fucking meat in it. By the way, um, raw dog it. Wait, I mean, the chicken, did you not like it? It needed like one of one of those. It needed sauce. Okay. It's a little dry. Mom and dad are fighting. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> I I genuinely am shocked that you're not uh handling all the, the food. I, I thought you would be like hungry. I am hungry. I thought you had a bigger appetite. <sighs> I'm not even kidding. Okay. <laughs> Denim's is not Turkish. Why does everybody think? Why does everybody think you're Turkish? Uh, I don't know. It's just one type of brown person. Turkish. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you thought that was funny, white girl? Oh yeah. That's fucked up. I saw her. I wow. saw her laugh at that. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Calls herself an ally, and yet, <laughs> and the yet. no, it's just. It's been so funny because I don't know. You've said they've said it over and over that you're not Turkish, and it's just like. <laughs> well, it, this is the misogynistic community. They don't listen to her. That's true, actually. When she says these things, yeah. Because why would they? She's a woman. Based. Okay. Turks in Christ. You know. How much do you think you'd be able to eat? Oh, I'm full. You're full too? Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, then try this last, and then we have dessert, but we can wait. Or you're not going to have dessert, maybe. It's fine. You don't have to. Do you want to try it? I want to try it. Just give me a second. Okay. This shit is good. I know it is Armenian pizza. I didn't know the official name. It's pretty good. Is it S tier forever? When it's done well, it's really good. Mm. We're supposed to have it with iron. What? Lahmacun is... I don't know how to describe it. It's so fucking good. Armenian pizza is how they sell it. Yeah. I didn't know that. This is the only fucking time I've had real, authentic Turkish lahmacun. Okay, this shit is fire. It's actually cold. You're not supposed to be cold, obviously. <laughs> yeah. But it's still so fucking good. Turkish pizza, they them sell too a lot. Oh, okay. In Turkey, they sell it as Turkish. I mean, in Germany, they sell it as Turkish pizza. You gonna be okay, Dan? I'm, I'm thriving. 
She's not thriving. <laughs> I mean, it's I not walk. the same Turkish and Armenian? I suspect it's not. I, I assume that the Armenian one has deviations, considering the Turkish one has deviations as well. In different regions, uh, lahmacun is very different in Turkey. Different spices, um, different meat, different preparation of the meat. But more importantly, it's uh, different spices that they use. Um, we don't have chikofte, which is one of my favorite foods. It's raw meatball made with raw meat that you cook in the spices itself. Uh, unfortunately, uh, they don't sell that in America. And so yeah, and also uh, we uh, the other thing that I love is kokorech, which is sheep intestines, but they don't also make that in America either. So or maybe they do, but I don't know where they make it in. in, in the intestine Turkish has style. to be like prepared right, otherwise it can mm -hmm. be very. Mm -hmm. um, very like metallic tasting irony. I'm gonna put this over here. I'm you, wanna, try. you can put it on top of this. Mm. Yeah. You want to take a bite? A little nipple. Try with it on. Pretty good. I should have limited the yep. amount of food. <laughs> I realized I got ahead of myself and I bought everything. It was okay. You ordered when you were hungry. We've all been there. I did. But. I had a mini bro, so it belongs to the Levant area. So Aleppo, Gaziantep, Hatay, yeah. Um, Adana Kebab also is like different as well. They have Antep Kebab as well. Antep Kebab is supposed to have like more greens in it. Adana Kebab has more reds in it. It has more red pepper. Antep Kebab is supposed to be not as spicy. Whereas Adana is spicy. You're not supposed to just, you can eat it like this. But in many instances, you can also... Um, just simply, I mean, you, you wrap it up in a dudum. What's that? Dudum is the I'm lavash sure. bread you saw. <laughs> you have spilled so much. <laughs> Holy shit. Dog hair breaks, bro. <laughs> Hello, sesame yeah. seeds. I'd like that for later. Would you like to try an American special? <laughs> no, I'm good, thank you. <laughs> I feel like I like that a lot more, eating it with like these. Which one? So do you typically eat it with like which ones? Does it matter? Um, no, it's, it's a matter of your own personal choice. I, I, when I eat it, like when I eat like the chicken shish, I usually eat it with the tzatziki because it's like the lowest calorie one out of all of those other ones. Mm -hmm. But, you know, you can do it with any of them. I actually eat it with the, I eat it with the, with the onion. The tzatziki is good. It's like refreshing. Mm. Yeah. Because if you're saying that's how the meat's normally prepared, it doesn't have like a lot of seasoning. So you get, I feel like you get a lot of flavor from like these. <sighs> the, the chicken and the, and the steak do have some seasoning. I think, I mean, it's not like, <clears throat> it's not just straight chicken. The, um, the pizza doesn't have any seasoning. Oh God, they seem like they aren't enjoying themselves. Oh God, I, I have the, biggest simp audience of all fucking time so like if you're not smiling fucking ear to ear they're gonna be like dude you're not well we already knew that your audience is misogynistic they look at women and they're like you should smile it'll make you look prettier they're misogynistic in the other direction <laughs> no literally <laughs> he actually beats us off camera yeah that's where i got this bruise from yeah Gonna... Where'd you get that? My what? feet? <laughs> no, that like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 
I have no idea what you guys are. What the fuck was that? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. Well. All right. That's going to conclude our food portion. We can go back to watching alpha males, alpha dogs. What about the dessert? You want... I feel like if I give you like an iota more food, you're gonna explode. All I said is I just needed the food to settle a little bit. You've never had that when you don't eat all day and then you like try to eat and then you get like Fuck nauseated. No, I'm I want to I'm holding myself back right now because you guys aren't eating. <laughs> so yeah. I feel bad. No. I'm like I feel bad just like fucking crushing food. I want to make like, like like a plate though. I feel like. Oh yeah, you know, like serving a bunch of yeah. Because I feel like I'd enjoy that that more if I could have. More yeah, like these. I'll, I'll put them out for now and then you can make yourself a plate afterwards. Yum. Oh. 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 I should uh, try and see if um, yeah, she was Yeah, she have a little movement? Neat. Hi, Hi, chat. <laughs> what? I just say hi. Be honest, do you feel safe? This is what I mean. They're fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Where did I put? Oh, okay. here. My invasive thoughts like smell the seat, but I won't. Oh. What's up, ladies? Think about it. They think someone like you doesn't know how to defend themselves. <laughs> like, they're so dumb. It's literally misogyny by a different name. But we've got a big guard dog. Oh, that's good. <laughs> She's a fragile woman. I just like, when I don't eat all day, I just get super nauseous when I try to eat a lot of food at once. I have to like pace myself. What? Did you smell my seat? No. Dennis, why are you not on camera? Sure, I don't want to be on my phone. We, we have to retain his viewer count. Remember? Smile. Smile, Denims. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm pulling in Aiden Ross real quick. Who's that? Aiden Ross? You know who Aiden Ross is. Stop pretending you don't. <laughs> it's not gonna work on me. Eden Ross? Is that what you said? I yeah. think you're hearing things. Am I here? I must be hearing things. Okay. We also have, um, Desserts, but we won't do that right now. We'll do that in a little bit. I have simps for my fucking mods in the chat that are losing their minds about how hard the mods worked in the Discord for the TikTok channel. <laughs> so we're going to be watching some TikTok channel shit. Here you go. You can go through. Bagel, mind. no. Bagel, no. <laughs> <laughs> It's like the opposite of the mohawk guy. <laughs> Bagel, no. Deserved Bagel. it. Granny, what are you doing? I'm having a cookie. Granny, those cookies aren't for you. What do you mean? They're, they're for everybody. You bought them only for you? No, but I didn't buy them for me either. And Al's gonna eat them all? Granny. 
They're dog treats. No! No! no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that one was good. <laughs> uh, okay, fair. Missing some content. <laughs> it's like, what? It's like, what's all that movement back there? <laughs> you know, turn around. <laughs> Does he have the gap? <laughs> no, is, is Vladimir Putin blowing up the White House with the Skippy the Dub guy? <laughs> bro, bro, was it that serious? <laughs> all right, my fault. My fault. <laughs> Have you seen Skibbity Toilet? Stop. Of course I've seen Skibbity <laughs> Toilet. I love the beaver. <laughs> you think Chinese people have any idea that like the Chinese beaver has captivated America? Has someone translated what it's saying? I, it's from a movie. It's like originally from a movie. I have to know. It's the greatest. I think like this is this is cultural imperialism. Like America did it with like Hollywood. I feel like Chinese Beaver is doing it just on its own. Pure happenstance. Mm -hmm. He's just so iconic. Yes, the netizens love that shit. That's my other favorite thing. That like they the Chinese netizens, that's what they're called online. The Chinese the netizens. Chinese beavers? No, 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 just like regular uh, people on apps. Just regular beavers. Like, <laughs> the netizens. So I hear Chinese, Chinese beavers like a psyop? No, I hope, I, I mean, so. <laughs> I hope. He's kind of eating right now. Yeah, he kind of is. He's cunting. I'm not gonna lie. He's so sick. Where's the original one? Does anyone know where the original one is? Why does he have box braids? I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's, a, it's originally a movie. This is a fan animated version of like a real movie. Yeah, oh, here it is. Yeah, there it is. This is like the real. <laughs> this is the actual fucking movie. And then someone turned around and like. Someone turned around and turned it into the Chinese beaver. <laughs> he looks like a little. Not a chia oh. pet, but like the things that you used to like squeeze out and they would like make hair. Do you know what I'm talking about? I know, yeah, I know what you're talking that's about. What he was, that's his hair looks like that. <laughs> I didn't know this was the original. Yeah, he's... He's so fucking swagged out, dude. He is like, he's the coolest. Um, I love Chinese beaver. I can't believe we got into the Chinese beaver talk uh, again. But all TikToks inevitably end with Chinese beaver. All right, let's watch this one. You guys can watch through the other TikToks as well. I just gotta keep cleaning up a little bit. Do you need any help? No. Ooh, I, I fuck. Made, I made you and Peach already fucking clean all this shit uh, up last your time. Your workout thingy? Yeah, I made them. Why didn't even see this? All right. <laughs> Look at that. That's balance. Oh, you brought your ball over here. What is this Turkish food? Why don't you try it? <laughs> <laughs> Unless you're that, that a might pussy. Be, that might be a bit much for me. Wait, so. Wait, can we click it? I think he said we can click it. Wait, what? You can click the, uh, the TikTok. 
the doctors only care about making a profit when they give you HRT. They don't warn you it's gonna make you sound like Owl City. <laughs> Hands up if you're down to get down tonight. Maybe I did. What about it? I thought that was Tyler one for a second. <laughs> he does kind of have the build. Yeah. It would have been very funny if it was, though. He should recreate that. Yeah, yeah. It could be a hit. opportunity you get oh the silence is deafening that's incredible that's actually incredible that reminds, what was that that one time where i gave you like the edible are those my or? fucking socks i don't know did you steal my socks i might be i'll fucking kill you oh she did <laughs> she will yeah she'll eat him too wait where is it Oh, no, 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 not no. Kaya. No, Jenna <laughs> stole my sock. Oh, I uh, thought you meant Kaya stole your <laughs> sock. I got worried. Does she, does she like a sock? No. no. No, don't give her socks. Kaya's been good. She's been good. <laughs> you want a little treat, a little reward? <laughs> no. Just like the Tim Pool Show, your guests are making threats? Oh, no. What threats are you guys making? Nicholas! Hey, I'll be so mad. I will be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. That's Lore Agger LeBron. Finally, dude, they nerf. They nerf LeBron. They nerf LeBron for the game. It's kind of fucked up. Meowry will also eat your socks too. Oh, cute cat. It would be quite shocking if that cat hit the whip. I'm just no, but that cat can never do that. Earlier, raw chicken. Yeah. That's ew. Now I'm thinking about the cat being <laughs> fingered. Why did you? Wait, oh, wait, 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 wait. This is very important. It's very important. What? I have waited my whole life. It's my new favorite uh, response meme to mean people on the internet. Let me find it. Didn't I send this to you literally yesterday? No, you showed it to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it says this guy definitely fingers his cat. <laughs> what the like, fuck? Like how do you how do you reply to that? <laughs> Think about it. Your hater gets mad at you. You send them that image. They they're done. <laughs> they're done. I feel like it's it's weird that you have it on your phone though. You know what I mean? Like if if someone said that to me, I'd be like, why do you have that on your fucking phone, weirdo? Like. And then I guess you can respond with, well, I'm encountering people who figure Chicken their cats all the time. For the rest of your life, what meal would it be? Chicken biryani. Chicken what? This is Indian food. Chicken biryani. For breakfast, lunch, dinner. This is uh, lunch and dinner. But you have to have this only one meal for the rest of your life. No. Not this one. Not this one. Which one? Many. No, no. The, the question is you can only have one. For whole life. Yes. Chicken biryani. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, respect. Good. He's right, dude. I, I agree with him. Chicken Brianna's good. I don't know, Doc. I just be bouncing all over the place. All right, see. Have a seat. What? Get up off! That was kind of lame. That was a little bit lame. I'll say it. Kind of cringe. ADHD talk is so... All, right. uh, all we would need is like a, a very specific 10-inch 2x4 and then another one stacked just like this <laughs> on top of it. And this would be fixed. It would be fixed. No way! I met them. I met them at uh, sh the streamers. He's so sick. No way. No way. <laughs> yes. Finally. Something like this. No way. Out here in the field. That's like 
Also, that was never real. happens in the real world, for the record. It's like, I know because my motherfucking brother has destroyed my garage. I'm just saying. <laughs> it's filled to the goddamn brim with exactly that a thousand times over, and we never use any of that shit. Why do I know this? Because every single goddamn time I need something, we have to go and buy a new one, okay? Anyway. Like, like we have Tekken 8 still running, Lamau? What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. But anyway, here's here's what I was going to... Here's what I mean. I think Murad has bought... My brother's bought like 11 different Allen key boxes. Mm -hmm. And he keeps, lo like, he keeps losing the appropriate one that we need. Discord says you're playing still. Oh, oh okay. Nice. All right. Anyway, let's keep playing. Oh shit. Okay, we're netizens too now. Chinese netizens. <laughs> Viewer cosplays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Do you know what that's from? Mm -mm. Do you know who this guy is? Mm -mm. Oh my god. Who is it? That's the guy who uh is out of his mind. He like he was begging like Trump save me. Trump save me. He did a terrorism. Okay. He did a terrorism and then he like live streamed the terrorism and then he got like arrested and he kept going. <laughs> Who's it? Love that man. Video? He's a child of God, a patriot, real patriot. You should know. Somebody uh -huh. tag in Donald Trump. Donald Trump, if you can hear us, please, Donald Trump, please save me. Please save me, Donald Trump. Please. <laughs> Blinker noise. I'm asking. <laughs> please save me. <laughs> You're going to run, dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's please so save me. Please get these people away from me. In dear God's name, please stop this prison. <laughs> 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 Are you praying to Donald Trump? <laughs> They're praying. You reacted to this clip before it went viral, I'm pretty sure. I think so. That's crazy. All right, I think I reacted to it live when it was happening. <laughs> anyway, that's a nice little one. Okay, let's continue. <clears throat> All right, you know what? This is actually... <laughs> okay, you know what? This is actually kind of funny. <laughs> Yo, if you can hear us... <laughs> Please save me, Trump. Okay, wait, that's actually, wait, it's kind of accurate, too. Like, it's very accurate. What the hell? <laughs> Bro, his son. It's fucked up. That's tough. They got you locked up for life, my boy. The hell wrong with you? Hey, yo! <laughs> no, this gorilla zesty. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> you're trapped in here with me, he said. He's a homosexual. Is that all? Oh, come on, we've all been there, done that. Well, well, I certainly haven't, and you haven't. Kath, I was in the Navy for six years. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, some of these are bangers. Okay, good job. Okay, okay. Good job, Discord. You're actually, like, capable of making people laugh. That's insane to me. That's insane. This is insane to me. That, like, last time we did this, we did this for charity, and it was you laugh, you lose, and I wanted to actually kill myself. <laughs> yeah. Like, very openly, by the end of the charity, I was like, I don't care about the charity. <laughs> like, I don't <laughs> care about raising money for abortions. I wish I was aborted. <laughs> like, this is making funny? me... It's just, like, it made me so <laughs> upset... Cause like, it, it was just like a like a reminder that at the top of the hour there's a three minute ad break. And if you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is subscribe for five dollars or for free with the Twitch Prime. That's Prime. right. Prime. <clears throat> yeah. Or by getting gifted a sub. You time me out for TikTok. 
Bitch, you should be excited I didn't ban you for your TikTok. Okay? Let me tell you something. You motherfuckers sent me the absolute worst shit. I'm willing to bet that the mod team probably spent eight hours deleting 90% of the fucking TikToks that you dumb motherfuckers thought was funny. Okay? Let me tell you. They had to literally put boundaries on it. Like, less than two minutes. Has to be funny. So it was like a media share thing? Or no, not even a media share. Just like, <clears throat> I wanted to be like, let's see if, if I can, if we can actually like laugh. Man farts on dog? Um, oh, I love that. Wait, you like man farts on dog? It's hilarious. It's my favorite genre of comedy. Is it? Oh, you're reading the chat. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> you watch a lot of man farting on dogs? Yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta, people. Were... And you just got a dog? You want to know how bad this shit was? What the? Someone sent me a motherfucking Facebook link. Ooh. On like, I was like, let's look at some funny videos. Someone was like, here's a Facebook video. I still have my Facebook though. Speci specifically because there's groups and whatnot on there where you can find very niche memes and it's good. No. Yeah. No. I, it's a different type of brand of people that use Facebook. Oh, I love it. Exactly. It turns out they're also in the fucking Hasanabi community, though. I think if you post a Facebook video, you should be. <laughs> <All right>. <laughs> <laughs> It's just such a fat one. Hey, doggy. Uh, <laughs> hey. I love that he goes, hey, doggy. No? Is that like an actual fart or just fart noise? No, he farts on him, like, for real. And is that just, like, all he does? I think he. this was a wet one. Like, it was a particularly wet day. I watched a lot of his guys, to be honest. <laughs> Time stamped to their fucking shameful attempt at funny memes last time. He's like, I'm sorry. I don't even like coffee, but I guess I'll try it. Yeah. Delicious. Now let's see what goodies await me in here. Ooh, a cake globe. Wait, cake pop. It appears to be a perfect sphere. Nice. It kind of looks like a turd. First bite, incoming. Delicious. Yep, this is numb. I think this is one of my Activate least favorite types of dance. comedy that I see people on TikTok do, where they're like, I gotta do goofy faces for like everything. You know I'm gonna fucking chew new my cost arm off. It's over. Shut it down. We're shutting down the Discord. It's over. It's done. Um, <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst moment of my life. No, I'm not even kidding. Like, it bummed me out. I was like, will I... Like, it, it was supposed to be, like, such a sweet, fun little experience. Like, we're raising funds for abortion. Like, uh, it's going to make me laugh. It literally... It made me... You can see it in my face. I'm not acting. Like, I'm not a good <laughs> actor. Like, I'm legitimately so sad. Life. This is the worst... I will literally sinirini bozarak gülmeye çalışıyorlar abi. Başka açıklaması olamaz. Yok abi bilmiyorlar. Gülmeyi bilmiyorlar abi. Hayatımda gülmemiş mi amına kuluklarım? I wish I could do that too. It was so, it was so, was it so nasty. Like TikToks or like YouTube videos? They were, they were sending YouTube shorts, TikToks. It was just so bad though. It was like, it was making me so sad. Cause it was just like a reminder that like, these motherfuckers ain't funny at all. Have you ever looked into like the My Hero Academia, like TikToks? No, what? Why? Every time you open up this conversation, I always feel like you're going to show me tentacle porn. I don't know what it is about your fucking vibes in particular. But, like, you could be telling me about something perfectly innocuous and normal, but you you present it like it's going to be something weird. No. <laughs> you, why are Excellent you, rebuttal. <laughs> Excellent rebuttal. Why, why are you always scheming? I can't help. My face just looks like this. You have such a... You are such a schemer, like, with your vibes. I'm I don't just know what, saying, if you search Bakugo birth video... <laughs> What the fuck are you doing on your spare time? This is what you look at? There's some... I don't even... <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's, I mean, it's fully covered. Like, you don't see anything. Just... I don't want to see what it. What flag okay. is this? Italy. Italy. <laughs> Italy. Come on, French. What, what, what? 
Spaghetti mafia, io vediamo, shorty, where you from? Where you from? She, she from Italia, tu vuoi bif, io non mangio maiale perché haram, haram, haram. Chiamo mia madre per dire che ho sputato le... <laughs> Why? Why did she say Italy? That's crazy. I guess it's because it is Italy. This one's cute. I wonder if someone's made a burp compilation of you. What about like a sneeze compilation? Um, I mean, they, they monitor my piss. Like, they monitor how long it takes for me to pee. Yeah. They're just, they're just trying to make sure you're hydrated. Mm -hmm. That's actually kind of nice of them. Measuring like bladder capacity. Pretty much, yeah. Look, again, we're splitting hairs here. I, I understand. <laughs> we're I'm not splitting hairs, hairs ever. <laughs> huh. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. Are you okay? Can we? Can we? <laughs> Look, I, I... Oh no, that's like actually kind of fucked up, Chat. That's that's anti bald. I don't like it. By the way, uh, don't feel obligated to stick around. If you guys have anything else going on or if you're bored, Gosh, like you can always leave. Don't worry about it. I won't I won't take offense to it. You do have to try the don't show your phone the camera. But you do have to try the uh, the desserts before you leave. You literally you have to try the desserts. Trying to see if there's a burp compilation of you. <laughs> are you why are you looking up hot Hassan burp comp? <laughs> That's so weird. She just told you why, man. I just told you why. Off, and then he pulls out, and, and it's just hard. It's been a while since he's seen a hole that big. Huh. Huh. That's some nice Wait, thing. it's funny because, like, I guess she's saying her husband's gay. There's another Chabad tunnel. Okay, I pull up. Hop out at the after party. You and all your friends. So we love it tonight. That's so sick. That's excellent. That one, that one was perfect. That's so sick. God, I love capybaras. Oh. They're so fire. Tell them about the hentai you saw of yourself on eggs. Oh, God, I had forgotten about that. I literally zeroed that out of my brain. Why did you bring <laughs> that I've back up? That, actually. Oh, my God, bro. I sent that to you, didn't I? You were sending a hentai of me <laughs> to each other? What the fuck is wrong with you? Why did you admit that? Because I thought it was funny. <gasps> <laughs> no they aren't they literally float around on their own poop water yeah that's how fucking chill they are dog excuse me well, they don't even give a like fuck bath water, like poop water? yeah exactly this guy thinks he's like better than a cabin here is what i have learned after six months of no screen time motherhood can be so much less exhaust favorite Here's a quick update on the gaming baby. So the baby is now a toddler. <laughs> Since the toddler learning capabilities are enormous, she can learn to play three games at once, and that'll put her above. Dude, this is like, I wish my parents did this shit to me. I'd be such a better gamer, and I wouldn't have to, and I wouldn't have to fucking <laughs> listen to you gamer. losers. No, I'm not a good gamer. I suck at gaming. Are you a good gamer? I like video games. That's, okay. <laughs> sure. Are you, are you good at Dark Souls? I am good at Dark Souls. This is the only game I can play. It's like from software games. No. <laughs> I liked it. That was funny. All right, bro. See you later, bro. Yep. I think yep. you took your channel down. Oh, the burp channel? There was actually a channel that was like monitoring my burps or something. Who took what channel down? Oh, oh my God. No, dude. What the fuck? She's looking up like Todoriki giving birth or whatever the fuck it's called. No. Stop. I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Put it. Put that away, wanna... man. Put that away. It's... I don't want to fucking see that. That's crazy. I'm not looking down there. That's like, that is, it's a, it's, it's a fetish. Oh. That's as what bad the... as like the guy who married Do you like his Dracula sex doll. Have you watched those I don't know what it is. I, I don't know. Everyone always wants me to watch it. Should we watch it? Dracula? Oh my god, please. Dracula? I've never seen it. It's so funny. Jenna has very unsettling vibes. Yes, you're absolutely correct on that. Normally, I'd be like, wow, okay, don't fucking... Don't uh, say things that are maybe kind of mean about my guests, especially female guests. And honestly, you're the one that I would do make that exception for. Because <laughs> it's like so dead on accurate. 
We started off on the wrong foot when you said the chicken finger bang was hot. The chicken finger bang? You know what the chicken finger bang is. We watched it together. What is that? Oh, the raw oh. chicken. I don't want to watch Dragon Flow 1 through 4 saga. What the fuck? Oh, is this the... Uh, no, is this... no, no. We no. straight gas and cutting straight to the bricks. Ha <laughs> ha. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. He doesn't say the N-word, right? No. He gives off the vibes like he has the Jesus Christ is my N-word vibes. You know what I mean? You guys know what I'm talking about? I know the video you're talking about. Yeah. But he's like, he's woke, I guess. Thank God. I'm having a hard time. I'm not a professional streamer, okay? One day, one day, one day I'll learn how to stream. Joji made this? Yeah, this guy's woke. We smoking runts. Shorty got a BBL, took that shit out because she couldn't run. I had to do it to them, snipe. I went Judge Judy on that pussy, snipe. I'm not loyal to anybody, I'm a demon. I have no loyalty for anyone. Never did, never will. Shorty chose to be with a demon. Sounds like her problem to me. Ha ha. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. My money longer than James Cameron. <laughs> On and off the court, straight fundamentals. No funny business. This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Moving like Dracula, we get it back in blood. You see it? I really did this. I'm really him. Flipped a whole brick into an empire. Stop playing with me. I have no sympathy. I live for this shit. This, this is, what the fuck is, what am I looking at? Yeah. What was the first one? The first one's not that. Like <laughs> it's like, you know what you're feeling right now? It's like when you show your friend something and when you watched it on your own, it was like kind of fire. No, 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 no. And then like your friend watches it and like then you get secondhand embarrassment because you can kind of almost feel their vibes. Is that how you feel currently? Like, do you feel like that's what happens to me? Sometimes I'll watch some shit and I'm like, man, this was funny. And then I show it to a friend and my friend is just there like, <laughs> and to, I sit to, there like, and I three feel and four. three and four are the best ones. You click the compilation. Where's the fucking, where's four? How am I known? I know. There are separate videos. You don't know? You don't know. Is it Plum Corp <laughs> Records? <are> going. <laughs> what the fuck is this? What is this channel? <laughs> what the fuck is... Yeah, Dracula's phone. Bro, what is this channel, dude? This shit ain't nothing to me, man. Haters and shambles, they stay picking the corn out of my shit. The Smith & Wesson got me moving like an invasive species. I got Midas touch, fuck boy. Bitch so bad I made her shit in my chopped cheese. I'm at the bank about to withdraw all of it. These Valentinos are from Milan, you fucking idiot. That fentanyl gave me Vitruvian man flexibility. Got me in a state of rigor mortis. Caught a broke boy trying to come up on my Amazon package. So I skinned his ass alive. Ah! We smoking Serge Ibaka spinal fluid infused quick release perks. She spread it and let me take a deep snip of that mahi mahi. I gave that pussy a raspberry. They needed a stealth soldier so I put my hands on the hibachi hot plate at Benihana and burn my fucking fingerprints off. <laughs> they will not find me. Konnichiwa, you little jit. Snorting some premium modest yahoo got me fighting for my life. I make a nice stu- Jit's one of those words that sounds like a slur, but it's not, it just means like young kid. Is a Florida, is a, is a Florida word. It sounds like a, <laughs> it sounds like a slur, but it's not. It just means like, um, no, it just means, it's a Florida thing. It, it just means like a young boy. Is yeah. Is that a slur for children? No, it's not. A, you can't <laughs> slur children. It's not like a. If they deserve it, it's, it's yeah, okay. And like, children always children deserve it. Children vibes are fucked in general. Yeah, so you <laughs> fuck don't, them kids. Who cares? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Y'all don't have jit up there? No. People don't know. I, the first time I ever heard it, I thought it was a slur too. Two out of that pussy. Blacked out on the Percocet, 
ordered a Desert Eagle off Amazon. I used to nut in my socks until the crust smelled sweet. I ain't never going back. Hidden Valley Ranch ice cream cake in my fronto leaf. Got Subanese crystalline shards poking out my lungs. Fuck, boy. Go I'm gonna go Blecky Tepe shirtless in a loincloth blowing bareback asshole out smoking aqueduct filtered sherm. I told Shorty to keep that box breathing. Never yeah, that she's squeezing the garlic. We smoking Java Man. Face pressed up against that monkey sniffing for dear life. The I can't listen to this for 10 minutes, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's like Joji Pink guy wrote this? Yeah, I got it. Listen, I mean, it's funny. It's like very creative. A lot of the bars are very creative, but I just feel like... It's not supposed to be like good. <laughs> he did. <it. laughs> I just, I'm trying. Alpha Con 2025 keynote speaker. That's what I'm talking about. If, probably he, apply for if he was doing that, then it would be sick. POV that one homie that doesn't drive after the fang out. <laughs> That's you. That's you always, me. You, she always has to walk everywhere. <laughs> the energy on this is so ominous. <laughs> Our North City's wonderful. No walkability at all. Great. Love it. Damn, that went on. Like they could have, they could have cut that down. It's funny, but that is our future. She is the gram and the moon. A pick of me and my gold. She like to fuck the suck. Suck the fuck. I don't rock. I always feel like those dogs look like fried chicken. Right? They do. If you run out of ideas, try using a slur. <laughs> oh, I love all the real. It's so good. <laughs> Damn, was that an old lull? Is that an old lull over road TikTok? Uh, Look at that. Classic. I absolve. Oh, this guy's my favorite. I fucking love this dude. He's so good. Okay, let's watch this. He's a he's a great comedian in my I opinion. absolve you of your sins. <laughs> you have been forgiven. Um he has he has like uh Dan Henschel is his name. He has like different characters that he does. Uh it's like comedy but it's also kind of like performance art in a way i don't know how to describe it here i'll just i'll i'll uh, show you his twitter it's very weird where he will just be like um let's see what is it dan how do you spell it he does a lot of meta stuff like he'll just create like characters and nope that's not it and why is it not coming up? Oh, here it is. Here's a Patreon. He does this. He does stuff like this. If my grandkids wanted to call me, they would. I'm done playing <laughs> games. <laughs> is he that it's old? It's so enough? good. <laughs> what? Is that like a filter on him? POV, the cocked out twins are telling me to floor it into the farmer's market. <laughs> Why shouldn't I? <laughs> I've got nothing to no one. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not allowed to pick my pick up my son from school anymore because of one guy's opinion. What a dangerous home environment is. What? <laughs> when you finally see the truth, your medi <laughs> when you finally see the truth, your medication was stopping you from seeing all along. So he has ongoing running bits. Yeah. Don't like my grade. Suck my dick. Anyway, I like the makeup he had with like the red eyes. Yeah, he has a he does a lot of stuff like this. No morphine until you admit you're the most beautiful girl in the world. <laughs> no, the best is when he does shit like this, and it's very like uh, it's very realistic, and people believe it, and they will lose it. Like sometimes, at first when he started doing these characters, people would be like, "Cause he he would be like a doctor, like he would do this bad doctor character." 
Oh damn. Oh, he's linking up with Girl God. That's sick. Okay, well anyway, he would do like a like a bad doctor character that people would like legitimately get scared of. Like it would always go viral with people being like, This guy's fucking this doctor is like, you know, killing their pages or something. Like try to cancel him or something or Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, all right. That's random brief aside. Shouts out to Dan Henschel. I thought the doc one that Ed, Ed Ingermentum tweets was real. Oh, he did the I hate being a therapist one. Yeah, he he's that oh, one. Oh, that one was good. Yeah. Um. All right, let's keep going. Yeah, so get you one. Deep breath for me. <laughs> one. Into <laughs> the lower lumbar. Have you seen them? Um... Ah! Deep breath. <laughs> Like the chiropractor videos where they crack the backs, but they put the mics right near the girl's butt. Yes. Have you seen the ones where the chiropractors fuck up the dogs and shit? Yes. The vet yes. Oh, I've watched like uh, I watched it yesterday. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Watch Fellas, you need that. This is what? just orange cat behavior. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like when I disassociate, that's... Cat lovers. Peter, we've had complaints from all over town. You're gonna have to stop with the kick. Oh, yeah? I think my scary, otherworldly, shadowy spirit friends might have something to say about that. <laughs> I can't tell if it's like a real family guy bit or if it's just no! <laughs> What the <laughs> fuck? Hey, yo That's weird if I saw it <laughs> If Kaya was doing that shit, I wake up in the middle of the night, I walk over to the bathroom, and she's just pissing like that. That's it. The devil is taking over. Oh, I want to try to be like that. I feel like if a guy, it's easier to do that. This is some genotype TikTok. They nailed you. <laughs> that, this guy, IP, IP, read you to fucking filth. Okay? You haven't even been on this broadcast for that long, and they already know. They know that exactly. They know what your vibes are like. <laughs> oh fuck that's fucked up that's so fucked up but also funny as hell computer science jobs in 2024 auto transport coordinator uber drugs <laughs> fuck i'm sorry for laughing at that chat that's like half my community <laughs> fuck <laughs> every fucking every other goddamn week it's just like <laughs> shit dude it's like, it's funny because like, I basically watched it happen. Like we all did in this community where like, when I first started in like around 2019, all the motherfuckers would tell me, he's like, bro, just get a CS job. I'm doing CS work. Like I'm, I got a CS, I got a CS job. Like, it's, it, you know, I'm a comp sci guy. I'm a comp sci guy. And then everybody was like popping off about like telling everyone to do comp sci. And we kept talking about how like, it's you know, they're just trying to make you guys like they're trying to do the learn to code shit so that the market is like saturated mm. and you're basically yeah, nine thumbs down, nine comp side guys, 100%. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Do that. Learn to code. Learn to code. And we were like, dude, it's, you're just trying to set. They're saturating the market. They're trying to saturate the market. You don't get it. And now look at this. Sucks. Everybody got fucking fired. Mid college, I switched to cybersecurity and I barely made it in before that went and to shit too. I downvoted out of spite. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, I like this. Let one. me see him. <laughs> the starch. <laughs> <laughs> the starch. Extra, extra, extra starch. Double. <laughs> 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 
Bro, it's like pleated. <laughs> That's incredible. <laughs> Is that she's wearing armor? They want me to drink another whiskey, dude. Don't move. Oh, that's a weird impulse. That is a weird impulse, man. Billy starts acting very strange and has this sudden impulse to drink more whiskey. Hey, out of all the times that we've been ghost hunting and stuff, I have never had an impulse. I want to drink that right now. I want another shot of this whiskey right now. But then you're going to be drunk. It's the weirdest thing. Well, like, I want to do it. <laughs> Can I just do it? Well, you might get drunk. No, they're telling me we should do it. Billy. Cheers. That would be your third shot. He's never done this before in a lockdown. That's three? That's three shots of whiskey he just did, bro. It feels good. <laughs> <laughs> is that on the actual Discovery Channel? Yeah, why is this on the Discovery Channel? Oh, God, the Discovery Channel is turning into this now. I'm so hungry I can eat a horse. Huh. Fucking union guys in full equipment at the gym on lunch break, cuz. Now that's union. You got the fucking Rolex on. Yeah, that's 405 for five, baby. Now that's <laughs> union, cuz. Look at that thing. <laughs> Boys get your dollar and I get it done. That's why I'm shitting on company time. This is awesome. What the fuck? This is so. <laughs> This is this is so hyper specific to this community. I feel like, what the fuck? That's awesome. Stephen Hawking is trying to explain hey, to God how he ended fuck? up on Epstein Stink Island. Stink drift. Stink drift. Uh. <laughs> what the fuck happened there? <laughs> you know Stephen Hawking went on Epstein Island. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's. It's like fourteen times or something. I don't know if he went 14 times. He went a bunch, but he was he was a little freaky. Mm. Wait, why are there? What is happening here? What more Stephen Hawking question, ones? Uh, do you oh, think artificial cool. intelligence will one day take over? And uh, I'm hoping you're not going to give me just a yes or no answer. <laughs> Thank you. What? I I said hell no. Oh. <laughs> oh Jesus. I want those. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see those pictures when uh, Fifty Shades of Grey the movie came out and people were finding like uh vibrators left over and cucumbers and stuff? No, no way. Yeah, yeah. No, this is what I'm... Dude, oh my God. That's the late... Those are the ladies who watch the, chi the, the chicken yeah. fucking and go, I'm yeah. gonna bust a nut to this. <laughs> those are the ladies at the fucking Thunderdome. Oh my God. The <laughs> I what? remember That's you literally, you literally the left. The Thunderdome? What? The Thunderdome Under. We went when, uh, at, when we were at SwitchCon because we went to Medieval Times and uh -huh. it's held in Excalibur, right? That mm -hmm. hotel. But so is Thunderdome Under. I worked in a movie theater during that time. It's that true. was not okay. Dude, I think like, I, I I think it's just, you know, women are so fucking repressed. <laughs> it's just crazy. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> are women okay? No. I found a panties when I was working there. You found a panties? <laughs> that's, that's great, man. I found a panties. <laughs> The next time you see yourself as a failure, remember these wise words. <laughs> nah, uh. -uh. That's real. That's sick. Made this here with all the ice on in the booth. At the gate outside, when they pull up, they give me loose. Yeah, jump out, boys. That's Nike boys hopping our coast. This shit way too big. When we pull up, give me the loot. Give me the loot. Was 
off the Remy, had up at post. Had to hit my old town to duck the news. Two four hour lockdown, we made no moves. Now it's 4 a.m. and I'm back up popping with the crew. I swear to God, if you have a cat, this probably hits so hard. It does. Like, it for me, hard. I'm like, I don't really understand what the fuck's going on yeah, here at all. You're, you're like crazy, Kelly. Nah, I don't know what I was talking about. I know they do. Dude, I love this guy. Because this guy's I funny as fuck. He hoops everywhere. Duke Dennis reacts to the history of King Di Shang Dynasty and gets very emotional. Wait. This is also another one of my favorite genre of, of TikToks where they put like Aiden Ross. <laughs> Aiden Ross or like Duke Dennis, sometimes Kai on like random fucking random like history shit. I think I saw one of these with the uh, burning of the Library of Alexandria. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You good, bro? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That's sick. I can't believe you don't sell slices here. What am I supposed to do with a whole pizza? Everyone must be fat. Why are there so many black people? <laughs> oh, God. Where have they all come from? <laughs> oh, what do you mean I can't smoke in here? That's so accurate. Oh, my God. Finally, one of these that like actually fucking shits on Europeans. Jesus Christ, dude. It's always it's always motherfucking Europeans making fun of Americans for like having so many shitty things like. If you ever feel insulted by your community, just remember the W community calls Duke Dennis Dookie. Wait, what the fuck? That's fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> but it is a <laughs> kindergarten. <laughs> I'm sorry. What is this on the food? Seasoning. You mean like white wine? Uh -huh. How much is it to piss in your restaurant? It is also free to piss in this restaurant? Helga's free to piss in this restaurant as well? <laughs> this is not a croissant. <laughs> this is also not a croissant. There is not a single good croissant in all of Toledo, Ohio. <laughs> oh, jeez. I am begging someone to let me pay to piss. <laughs> That's actually, this is so valid. Oh my God. That one was fire. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the wire. There's so many black people one. That's the <laughs> Young man! Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, cats yeah, deserve that. Oh, don't cook him. Don't cook him. Don't cook him. Oh, fuck. No, oh, stop. <laughs> cook them don't cook them yeah those are fucking awesome people get so mad about it though like the the lady with the with the rabbit people are so upset it's like what do you how do you think meat is made man like what do you no like what do you think you're eating yeah people were like but also because she was asian too this one has 73 downvotes uh oh <laughs> oh we got hella vegans what the fuck 73 downvotes what's in this one <laughs> Like Kropotkin, I conquer and manifesto, and I ain't stopping till I spit the entire communist manifesto. This ain't a test, though. Income inequality. That's why it has 73 downloads. <laughs> That's like, I think they, like, I think the mods left this one in here just to make a... Maximum oof. No, they left it in here to make an example. To be like, this is bad. Don't do this. <laughs> 73 downvotes. You'll notice I was not here over the weekend. I think this is the part that we really need to take personal responsibility for. Saturday, I had a little low grade fever. Uh -oh. <laughs> God, he was so. Dude, he is so funny. Jesus oh, Christ, man. dude. Uh oh. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm a scientist. <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie, I'm gonna leave this one up just to see how Hassan reacts to it. Oh, they see? <laughs> Yesterday. Yeah, there you go. I told you they fucking left it on as like a. They left it on as like a. Fuck you. 
Okay. I love these. these uh, the other one I love is like, um, like people that fall into dead drops, like suicide drops. You know, like in voguing. Oh. You know what a suicide drop is? Like when you, f it, it, like the the when gay like dancing back, when you yeah. fall back into your like foot. Oh, oh, a death for, drop. Yeah. A second, I was like, you want? You're just watching suicide. <laughs> no, no, like a death like, drop. Okay, but what I watch is weird. By the okay. way, by the way, no one understood what I was saying at, until I said gay dancing. Okay, so <laughs> shut the fuck up. I literally said the right term. I said voguing, death drop, suicide drop. Until I said gay dancing, nobody knew what the fuck I was talking about. So shut the fuck up. Okay. <laughs> It's it's no, this is it. yeah. so I wanna go to a Oh shit. Now that Nicki Minaj like is is straight up fucking pro Ben Shapiro, I wonder if I can go to like a Vogue show without uh having them kill me. Cause all the barbs. Yeah. I have a I have a rivalry. The barbs the hate barbs me. Don't like you. Yeah, and I, I've always wanted to go I've always wanted to go to a Vogue show, but like everyone keeps telling me like they'll kill you. Hassan, they'll kill you. Your they bitch might. too bad. Your we too loud. <laughs> you ratio Nicki Minaj. Hassan, you can't go to a Sephora. They'll kill you. But like now, now I feel like the barbs are on like one HP because of the <laughs> amount of <laughs> amount of dick riding for Ben Shapiro they've had to do over the course of the past like month. A ball, yeah, that's it. Isn't yeah. he making like songs or something now? Something like that. <laughs> if you can call him. Bam, 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 Ready, ready, let's go. Hey, what's it say? Hey, don't call me your B. What I want to see, just give me the D. Cause A, B, C, D, my alphabet is all. What's it say? Hey, don't call me your B. What I want to see, just give me the D. Cause A, B, C, D, my alphabet is all. Oh, bro. Why, buddy, got the letter by his car? Why, buddy, got the letter by his car? Why, buddy, got it? Why, 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 why? Oh, it's so impressive. It's so impressive. I love that shit. I want to go. I want to go so bad. Hit him up to set up an IRL stream. The editing is so good. Yeah. Ball ballroom voguing a death drop a dip. Thank you. On what planet is Sephora not your target audience? Regardless of barbs. No, dude. Barbs run that shit. Like, I'm telling you. Barbs and, and uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, Barbs can't go around a school. I can't go to a Sephora. You know what I mean? It's just, <laughs> those are the, <laughs> th that's how it works, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that chatter was an undercover Barb. <laughs> <laughs> um, Ulta. Ulta is safe. It's full of BTS stands. <laughs> <laughs> I got to pee so bad. <clears throat> go piss her. I spent my lunch break going through these. I had to purge like two thirds of these mm. TikToks. Lamau, oh, I believe it. Stop. They'll blacklist you again. I'm having a boomer homer. What's a barb? Barbs are Nicki Minaj uh, fans. God save them. Yeah. Yeah. See, Nicki Minaj fans are like in the chat. Like, no, no, no you can go to a, you can go to a Sephora. I promise we won't kill well, you. You are. Just tell us which Sephora you're going yeah, to. I won't. I won't. <laughs> I promise we won't kill you, dude. Like, don't worry about it. We only dox you a couple times. Like, <laughs> not a big deal. Come on. <laughs> you snowflakes these days, man. Yeah. They're fighting for their lives right now. You good? Yeah, I know. That's why <laughs> they're more, they're more angry. They're more vicious than ever. They're like trapped. They're cornered right now. <laughs> this is when they will bite. Okay. Is like the IRA looking for Thatcher. Yeah. Where's the TikToks folder on Discord? I don't have it on mine. Oh, there you go. As a Sephora girly, I'm taking... I'm fine taking the five barbs left. Maybe now that the 10-year-olds have taken over <laughs> Sephora, you'll be safe in the barbs. Yeah, the 10-year-old community will defend me. Oh, shit. Now that the 10-year-olds have taken over the Sephoras, maybe... Maybe the barbs can't be there anymore either. <laughs> <laughs> like a school. Like, like legally speaking. <laughs> oh, Jesus. 
Okay. <coughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh. That's dope. Okay, what the okay, fuck okay, is okay. that? Say that? It's a moose, isn't it? It's kind of small. Oh shit. Oh shit, he's coming in. <laughs> She's insane. I'm going to give her another apple. Oh no. Uh oh. Hello, good morning. Oh my god. What the okay, fuck? You guys stay out there. Okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> That's sick. Oh man. Like all of a sudden I'd be trying to prove that I'm not crazy when I knew I wasn't crazy. Right. Um, <laughs> so dumb. Mm. Why they saying you ate a treat if you ain't eat a treat from? Did you eat? I'm gonna ask you again. Did you eat a treat from where? All right. That's sick. <laughs> Sit. Gentle. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh Jesus. Is he vaping? What the fuck? <laughs> That's <laughs> like Fry is not supposed to do that. Like, like what the fuck? I feel like I'm too old for that TikTok. <laughs> I mean, it was fire. I respect it, but also at the same time, like <laughs> this chatter is too young for Discord. Yeah, whoever posted that is definitely or Brazilian, one or the other. <laughs> Which means, like, automatically shouldn't be on Discord anyway. <laughs> Talk about good vibrations. These happy little crackers dance around, <laughs> up, over, and down. Uh -huh. I can't, I can't say that. That's fucked up. They, they mean, like, they don't mean, like, white people. They mean... Just a snack. The Look, saltine. I, I, I understand what you're saying, but you're not listening to me. This is plywood. Uh, you can't return it after you've cut it. It's policy. Everyone agrees, don't they? They say, sir, it's the best policy. We've received no complaints, actually, about our policies. Absolutely no complaints. People come here, they buy the plywood, they cut it, and they love it. They say, this is the best plywood we've ever used. It's true, believe me. I've been dealing with plywood my whole life. I know plywood. But it splintered when I cut it. You're telling me I can't splintered? Just... Impossible. It doesn't <laughs> splinter. And you're probably doing something wrong. Me? If it was me, it would never splinter. It's never splintered when I've used it, actually. It wouldn't splinter if I wanted it to, and you're trying right. to tell me it's splintered. <laughs> well, I, I've probably cut this same thing a thousand times, and they all come to it's me, like they say, apples? Donald, how no, it's do real. you cut <laughs> it so perfectly? He works at Home Depot now. <laughs> This is why I maintain the position that, like, the greatest thing that we could do for world peace is, like, put a camera on Trump 24-7. Like, just have his own TV channel. We just need to Truman show him. Throw this out. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> like, if he... Because that's what he wants. He wants... Like, he can't go to jail, okay? We just, you know, we, we don't let him go to jail. <laughs> don't forget the baklava and ice cream. Yeah, you, are you guys ready for the... Uh, sweet treats after, go yeah. Piss, after you you go piss. 
Yeah, we can like even tell him he's still president. You know what I mean? I feel like he liked being on TV more than he liked being president anyway. <laughs> keep going, keep going. You got it, you got it. Keep going, keep going. There we go. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Wait, what? Oh. Wait, how did keep that going. happen? There we go. What was that? Is oh, fall? the airbags popped. Oh. oh my God. Blew his MAGA hat right off, brother. God damn. It's all good, brother. What the fuck you mean? I only had a couple. I only had a couple drinks. I want to give you a quick update. Um, Ty is a big humper. He's overstimulated. Um, literally. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. A little bit. <laughs> Landlord said he's raising rent. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, it's Jover. Done. Wage in without telling me your wage in. I'll go first. When I was growing up, I remember. Ah, uh, yes, another Wajian that knows about the little sunglasses dilemma. Yeah, I don't know if I look as shocking as that guy I does, should but. Wajian, <laughs> without telling me you're Wajian, I'll go first. When I was growing up, I remember. Ah, uh, yes, another Wajian that knows about the little sunglasses dilemma. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that guy is the final boss. I don't know if I look as shocking. As that guy I does, should but. <laughs> cool. That's cool. Look at the cool. That's cool. You're cool. Fuck you. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> the fuck? Turkey's the most Asian place. I mean, Turks are just. Turks are just Asian. They, they are white and they're Asian. So I guess it's Asian in that sense. But Turks are what happens when you have Asians for like, you know, 500 years. <laughs> That's the difference. Have you ever done that? What? Put furniture polish on the floor to like prank people with? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> because I'm not a cartoon villain. I used to put it. We had like hardwood stairs growing up. <laughs> I thought it was the funniest thing. <laughs> or you are them. most likely to have like you're most likely to have uh, tortured the class hamster. No, <laughs> but it was really funny because I'd put it on the our hardwood floors and it'd be three a.m. and my dad would always go downstairs and get snacks at night and you'd hear him go, oh fuck, and it's just like dun 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 dun. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> there was one time my mom went down the stairs and she fell and then my dad went to go check on her and then he fell. <laughs> You are evil. There's there's something wrong with you. <laughs> you ever put like saran wrap on toilet seats? Yeah, no. <laughs> you did not do that, dear. That shit's funny, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, you ever uh, take an anvil and then like tie a rope around it and then comically <laughs> drop it on top of someone or like a piano, maybe? <laughs> Yo, these TikToks are kind of bangers, though. Actually, respect, chat. This is like... At first, when I first started this, I'll be honest, I was a little embarrassed, okay? I was worried. We have female guests here. I thought this was going to be embarrassing. You're going you're gonna to ruin this. Um, You know, I asked the leftist Discord to for their funny. favorite funny TikToks, and I thought it was going to be devastating. Turns out... Turns out, it's actually not bad. It's actually pretty good, as a matter of fact. I'm glad that the moderators of the Discord, of Hoscord, did a, a phenomenal job cleaning up probably like 75% of the jokes that you guys thought were funny. They've been pretty um, solid. Yeah, these, these are all been like, like the lowest one has been like, aside from the one that you guys, <laughs> the, the one that is the perfect version of like what leftists think are funny and interesting and cool to watch. Um it's been it's been pretty good it's like the the worst one is like a seven out of ten you know what i mean 
overall. Very rare. Very rare. I'm going to do this more often, actually. I like it. All the politics frogs left, so the only the funny people are left? That's not true. Picture of, <laughs> picture of Jenna as a child? Yeah, this is it. No. Oh, my God. Same hair and everything. It's literally you. That literally is you. <laughs> yeah. Look at the country gal. I <laughs> just like you. Oh, now, new Hoskord in the dirt, please? No, Hoskord is fucking funny, dude. Hoskord is better than chat. Actually. Hoskord don't don't let him talk to you that way, guys. No, Hoskord is literally better than chat this time. It's like, I asked chat to send me fucking TikToks impromptu. It sucked ass. Half of you motherfuckers sent me Facebook posts and shit. It was awful. <laughs> it was so sad. It made me want to kill myself. And when it's like actually more moderated, <laughs> Hoskord rise up. Bad rap. Bad rap, dude. Hoskord's got a bad rap. Okay, no way this is true, right? Like they said, you stand here and stare at it for 10 seconds, you're gonna fall. Like, no way this is true. It kind of looked like... Oh! <laughs> Oh, fuck. <laughs> One guy sent a Vimeo link. True. Yeah, dude. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. It was like really fucked up. Um, We can't even spell cum. What did you expect? Yeah, that's right. That's what we need. We need like... You know what they said earlier? Cummed? What? <laughs> Cummed in panties? Yeah. I found oh, panties. I found a panties. <laughs> At least they didn't send any like daily motion videos. Oh, chatters are trying to spell cum. Oh, you guys are so stupid. <laughs> You're getting clapped. Enjoy getting massacred, dummies. Okay. All right. We've done we've done eight hours. This is enough, I think. We've done it. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? We're gonna do the desserts. Let's do it. Let's get to the desserts. Okay. <laughs> You better fucking appreciate I every do. goddamn I do. I do sweet treat you're going to put in your fucking mouth, okay? What is this? What is this? Attitude. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hold on. Ah. Go you. Okay, first. Baklava. Take it. You can open it. And I'm gonna bring the other shit. Open it, female. Yes. <laughs> My e goddess. <laughs> oh, there's like a bunch of different things. These actually look pretty good. I'm seeing the dessert. I really want it up down there. <laughs> and the little, the little dog <laughs> down here. They've been collecting dirt. They got some nice seasoning on them. <laughs> some sesame seeds. <laughs> <laughs> you like that one? Is that funny? No, it wasn't. Stop thinking you are. <laughs> okay, so that's baklava. Huh. Oh, shit. Okay. Have you, have you had before? Yeah, I've made it before. You've made baklava before? Mm -hmm. How the fuck? What? Okay, that's like... Okay, that's that's swag. That's white girl swag. Respect. I cook, yeah, I cook a lot. Why are you serving them Turkish desserts? Oh my God, people saying club is Greek. No, it's not. Suck me, okay? 1453, best year of my life, bitch. That's right. Is it called Constantinople? No, it's not. It's not called Constantinople. It's called Istanbul, motherfucker. Baklava is not Greek. Shut the fuck up. Okay. I'll concede that Lahmacun is like, there's an Armenian variant of it. Baklava, on the other hand, not motherfucking Greek. This is sütlaç. Kazandı bir sütlaç. So it's, uh, I don't personally like the, the roasted part of it, but it is a rice pudding. Mm. Here you go. You can try it out. Um, I'm gonna hold one of these for you. You want it? You want a spoon? Is there more spoons over there? You need another one? We got so reuse, many fucking. Reduce, recycle. Yeah. Oh. 
Half the stuff you had today was Greek. Shut up. No, it's not. <laughs> You like it? No. What? Speaking to the microphone. <clears throat> I like it. Oh. That's good as fuck. Okay. That's a good ass version of this. They have rice pudding in America too, right? Yeah. Okay. So that's one. What would you rank it at? I think like a B. It's a little too sweet for my taste, but it was a little less sweet. I think I'd like it. I think if it was just like a few spoons less sugar, it'd be like A. I mean, it's, it's to too sugary. Price. It's too sweet. It is a little sweet. That one. Okay. But the texture is good, or I like it. Mm -hmm. I like I like rice pudding. Okay. Yeah, I give it like a B. This one, I think, I, I gotta look it up. I don't know what this is. Hold on. I think it might be Turkish, but I don't know if it is. <laughs> I hope it is, because it's like a very unique Turkish dessert. But I think this is Kazandibi, actually. Yeah, you're right. Um, it might be Kazandibi. Here you go. This is Kazandibi. Dig in. It's for this like, not Kazandibi like, Sorry, Kazandibi is different. So that one is Kazandibi. So what is this? Um, it's a Turkish dessert, uh, a type of caramelized milk pudding. Ooh. Developed in the kitchens of the Ottoman. Interesting. Ottoman Palace. Is mm. one of the most popular. I like that. Okay. Do you know what it is? Wait, let me see if it's the one that I think it is. So Kazandibi. Do you like it? I like that, yeah. Okay. Oh shit, this is sick. Hold on. I think it's if it's the if it's a real OG one, you guys are gonna freak out. Why? Oh it is. Okay. Guys. This is made this is Tok Gosu, okay? It's made with chicken breast. Yes. Like how? I don't even fucking know how it's made, but this is a very special Turkish <laughs> delicacy. Um, it is made with chicken breast. I don't know how the fuck the consistency gets to this, but it's very sweet for the record. No, for those of you who don't know, this is a very sweet dessert. Like, you would never know that there's chicken in it. Yeah, the texture is uh, and it's more balanced than that one. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder how. Can you look it up? Here, this is it. It's a Turkish milk pudding made with shredded chicken breast. It was a delicacy served to the Ottoman Sultans in the Topkapi Palace and is now a well known dish in Turkey. Chicken pudding. It has long been believed that this chicken pudding had originated in the Roman recipe collection Apicius. 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 And it was later passed on to the Eastern Roman Empire, Byzantium, and subsequently the Ottoman Empire. However, no surviving copies of Apicius include such a recipe. Similar Arab dishes from the 10th century exist. Considering the lack of evidence for the Roman connection, it's possible the Tawuk Gosu in the Turkish cuisine is likely of Arab origin. Apikios. That's so cool. What are they going to talk about? No, of course. It's not as... This is, I think, surprising that they sell this in America, um, considering that it is literally made out of chicken breast. The traditional version uses white chicken breast meat. The meat is softened by boiling and separating meat into very fine uh, fibers or pounding until smooth. And then the meat is mixed with milk, sugar, crack rice, and other thickeners, and often some sort of flavoring such as cinnamon. The result is a thick pudding, often shaped for presentation. It's yeah. a very interesting flavor. Yeah. Yeah. It's not, it's, it is interesting, especially because like, like I said, you would never think it, and it has no like remnants of chicken in it at all. Yeah, the chicken part doesn't even bother me. I wonder how it gets to that consistency if it's but a cartilage it's very thing. Good. Yeah. Does it taste strongly like chicken? No. Mm -mm. You, you probably don't even believe. Like if I didn't explain this to you, you would not believe that there's chicken in this. First, I thought you were gonna be like, "Oh, it's like hooves or something." And no. Because that's technically what uh, gelatin is. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. All right, mm -hmm. let's get to the baklava before we get to the marashtonderma, which is. It's uh, incredible. So baklava, 
I don't know if this is going to be a good one. In America, it's very hit or miss. This doesn't look very good. This looks like very dry. Yeah, I was going to say. You see that? Mm. Normally... Normally, this is supposed to be glistening with uh, sherbet or syrup. Mm. And it's not. And this is look. This looks very, very dry too. So I think this is not going to be a good... This is not going to be a good baklava at all. But I would recommend this one maybe. Here, this one over there that looks kind of good. Mm -hmm. Here, try that one. Back there. Yeah, I've had them with like honey and like rose water. And... But, oh, so yeah. if you've had, yeah, if you've had like real baklava, then you know what it's like. This is probably not a very good version of it. I couldn't get it from the place that I actually get it from normally. Um, but. Still pretty good. In America, they. It is dry. Yeah. Um. This one must be a Greek version of it, or an Armenian <laughs> one. <laughs> but it is a it is a dry one. <laughs> That's why I bought that piece of chicken earlier. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> how do you close this? I'm just gonna leave it open for you. Alright. So, this is Marash Dondurmasa. I'm gonna taste it first to see if it's actually real Marash Dondurmasa. But from the consistency of it, it looks like it is. Eh. Uh, I, it's it's a it's a decent version of it, but see, I'll show the chat. See how uh, when I pull it, you can kind of see it comes apart like that. Uh, before coming apart, it's like sticky. This is the type of Turkish ice cream that you see very famously online, um, with like, like the flippy thing? with the flippy thing. Yeah, it's very sticky because it has a I think it has mastic gum in it. Huh. It's close. Here, try it. I think it might be with goat milk, though. This, I think is this one is made with goat milk. I love goat milk. Um, so you can you can taste the the goat milk, which I don't think it's supposed to be made with that. I think it's of course. Um, it should be goat milk. No, I think. Marash is normal. It's not always with goat milk. <laughs> Can I have some of that chicken stuff? <laughs> Do you like that? I, uh, I like this. Interesting. So, I think that yeah, these are the the Turkish ice cream guys that that uh, fuck around with everybody and say like you can't have this. Like they they do the fake thing yeah. where they like pull it back and stuff. They're only able to do it because it has um. It has that like gum in it, like literal gum in it. Um, it's very good though, and you're actually supposed to. In, in uh, Mado is the name of the restaurant that like specializes in uh, Marash Dondurmasa. Mm -hmm. Mado is short for Marash Dondurmasa. It's a franchise in Turkey, and they usually have um, baklava, and then often they will give you with a side of like dondurma. So you eat it. You eat the baklava with a side of like uh, ice cream. So that's it um and that it, that's it that that concludes our we gotta finish rating them um that concludes our our hold on yeah that concludes our, our i guess dessert portion they have mother in canada wait no way really maraj has salip in it as thickener oh i didn't know that okay hold on i'm gonna bring kaya inside real quick kaya enjoying that chicken kaya yeah. Like the top's kind of toasted too. Mm hmm. It, it's like pistachio on top? Yeah, yeah, but you see like under it? Oh, yeah. That one gets like an S just for like, I've never had anything like it before. It's so unique. Yeah. It doesn't, it doesn't taste like anything I've ever had before. Mm. 
Yeah, I'm trying to think if I've had something of similar yeah. consistency. I'm sure I've had things that are close, but. Mm. Okay, so what do you, what do you rate everything? Mm, dessert wise. Yeah. Did we finish rating all the food? Um, not all of it because I wasn't able to put it in time. Mm -mm. But. I'm gonna get so I'm gonna get so banned for this, but Turkish cuisine is all stolen from the Middle East except for Donat. And Germans have more unique cuisine. What? Yeah, the last part is like the grossest and, and most false thing you could have ever said. <laughs> I keep eating your fucking bratwurst and your schnitzel, <laughs> weirdo. Don't they have laws in Germany too that you can't have you can't like salt your food past a certain extent or Wait, really? I didn't know that. Yeah, I went to Gamescom a few years ago. Even schnitzel's not German. It's like fucking it, it, schnitzel's Austri Austrian, right? Yeah. This guy's like, wow, we've invented eight different types of sausage. It's the best, yeah. It's so good. <laughs> Germans invented one thing, and that is the grossest fucking... Um, uh, the, the grossest fucking children's stories of all time, okay? Germans invented Nazism and the scariest children's stories that you're not supposed to fucking read to anybody. Mm. Anyway. Here's what a baklava normally looks like. evidence of the what Turks it looks like. bringing baklava it. to Anatolia. How come it is that the Greeks have laid claim to it all? They haven't. Now, Professor Spiros Veronis talked about the Byzantine dessert no, cup awesome. and equates it to baklava. But there's some crucial differences going on here that were found out by American journalist Charles Perry. Fuck. I'm so livid? What? Why? <laughs> what? I'm so angry? <laughs> Why? Why are you angry? You drunk? <laughs> What's happening? Somebody thinks I'm gay for pay because of a tweet that said I wasn't gay with you? What? Why are you mad that you're gay for pay? <laughs> and I'm actually gay. Yeah. Are you mad because you're outed? As a fucking being a breeder, bitch. A breeder and feeder. Yeah. Oh, shit. It's actually a great way to, like, That's talk right. about a date. That's right, chat. <laughs> it's time for the truth. It's time for the truth to be revealed. Austin is gay for pay. He's actually a breeder. IRL. What tweet is he referring to? Dude, he's, he's not. He just like sits around because he's so <laughs> because he's so fucking jobless, okay? Baby needs attention. Because he's so goddamn jobless, he sits around all day and looks for comments that he's going he's going to get like really mad about. Mm. Okay? And he'll find it. Persian Wolf 100 mentioned you in a comment. Bro, you literally tweeted saying you and some guy named Hassan are not gay. Wanted to clear that up. Wait, is that the actual guy? Yeah. Listen, Every group of girls has one unemployed bitch who's <laughs> fucking constantly sitting around reading tweets, okay, and doing nothing else. Austin is our guy, okay? That's our guy. You want some more chicken? I'm good. <laughs> you fucking house that chicken. That's awesome. I'm stoked. This is good. Oh, he's an OnlyFans reader. Yeah. Charging his phone. <laughs> charging his fucking phone. Reading all the tweets, okay? Getting mad. Getting angry. He looks for hate comments, you, but you stream it the whole time. It's true. Oh my fucking God, I'm serious. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway. Man, cinnamon and baklava, please? Yeah, it, uh, that's actually what I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna talk. See why Factor can say this is partly false. 
<laughs> yeah, they say he's partly homeless because he's straight. And someone should post that on Twitter and see if you can get community notes on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, this is, in fact. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, my point is, who's calling? What? Oh, my God, he is calling. Yo. What's up? Brother. I didn't, I wasn't, look, first of all, I work very hard. I'm working, I'm currently developing my In the Tub show, which is debuting this month, okay? Uh-huh. Second of all, um, I was fucking, so I was, I was just laying in bed on my phone, plugged yeah, in. fucking Trump. a woman, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, be honest. After she paid you? Yeah. Yeah, Wait, say it. stop. You were <laughs> fucking a woman. Okay, go on. In the tub. <laughs> no, I was not having sex with a <laughs> woman. You laughing. You see that? <laughs> Typical breeder, okay. dude. Disgusting. Okay, right. So I'm, I'm sitting there. So I did this interview with this, um, with this guy named Art. He's like a, a fellow, um, he's like a OnlyFans creator, and he wanted to do like man on the street interview with a me. fellow, a fellow OnlyFans creator. Well, I'm, look, I, I, look, hold on, no, 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 I, I don't have an OnlyFans. I don't have an OnlyFans. But um, look, so he interviews me, and. He, the, the, the video is how long should a top last, right? And I, I say 20 minutes, whatever, yeah, that's yeah, irrelevant. And then he, DM, he, he texts me today and he sends me a screenshot of this comment alleging that I'm gay for pay. And I'm like, what the fuck? Where did this guy see this, right? And then Art <laughs> evidently DMs him, right? And the guy pulls a tweet from when I, because I, I was going through this phase where I kept like saying you and I aren't gay. And it like, cause like nobody thought that, but I kept tweeting it cause I thought it was funny. And he fucking shows him the tweet. And he's like, yo bro, do your research before you, before you figure it out. He admitted that he's gay for pay. So he took that tweet and thinks that I'm gay for pay. First of all, I don't even, what am I gay for pay for? Cause I don't do porn. Um, but he thinks that I'm gay for pay because of that fucking joke tweet. Which I love that. I love that you have like, like, this guy's doing gay research on you. Like, he's doing gay <laughs> opposition know. research. What's, what, what, this is oh, damn. Oh, my, oh, my God. God. We're looking at the guy's TikTok right now. God yeah. damn. Why is yeah, his beard like that? It's he's so... a fucking huge... He's a fucking Shark. huge... Um, like, OnlyFans oh creator. God. And that's what irks me. Is like, dude... I, I, how do I explain to him the lore between me alleging like people thinking that we're dating, but like nobody believes it, but me thinking I have to defend something that like, how do you explain that to somebody that he doesn't he'd live in our wolf. He said he'd rather be a wolf than a sheep all his life. You know what I mean? Persian Wait, daddy what? XXL. <laughs> like, does, do I need to like bottom for him in order for him to believe me? Like, like what the fuck is it? What the fuck is it? What the fuck do I have to do? Hassan you know? and I are not in a gay, are not gay or in a gay relationship with each other. <laughs> I just thought I would clear up the common misconception. Wait, this had 56,000 likes, Austin? <laughs> yeah, and so he thinks, he thinks that that was me admitting that I'm not gay or something. Bro, that's, that's awesome. A, you deserve it. That's such a banger yeah. tweet. What the <laughs> fuck? Honestly, honestly, this is the best payback for like dragging you through that, like the fake. Uh, but you did it because no one thought I was gay. gay. <laughs> you just kept making it on your own. It's just like <laughs> the, the funniest part about it is like there's plenty of people that that think I'm gay, right? Of course. Yeah. But yeah. like none of those people thought I was gay because of the. The, the way you kept saying, like, oh, me and Hassan are in a gay relationship. Everybody just thought I was gay because my name is Hassan Abi, and they thought it means Hassan Abai. And because I, like, <laughs> preach woke shit, so I must be sucking cock on the side. You know what I mean? Dude, so, dude I, I, I cannot fucking believe it. And, like, I don't... He's fully convinced that I'm gay for pain. He's fully convinced. Now... I would be, I would be like, you can pay me a lot of money to have sex with a woman. Like I'd probably. Bro, I'd be, maybe, I'd maybe he has like, wait, maybe he has a Turkish military style. He doesn't think it, you're gay because you top. Oh shit. Maybe that's right. <laughs> also, he probably looked at, dude, he probably looked at Wikipedia and saw that you're heteroflexible on Wikipedia. Oh whatever. my God. No, please, by the way, please, whoever, please change it back. If you Austin fucking show Wikipedia, let's take a look. 
No God, Let's no. See what it Somebody says here. Um, it says here that you are Lebanese of Irish descent. Lebanese of Irish descent. A big lie there, <laughs> right off the bat. Not a lie. I'm, <laughs> I'm Lebanese. Okay, drop the Raj persona with Khalifa. Okay, come on. Now. We can skip over that part. It was a long time ago, right? Different mm -hmm, time. Different mm -hmm. time. All right. Austin is openly gay. He came out via Twitter in 2020 saying, my sexuality isn't a meme. I identify as what I would say mostly gay. But maybe yeah, bisexual I because sometimes I find women more attractive. Copium. I, I don't. Look, it, it was a stepping stone. Yeah, okay? exactly. Yeah. It was a stepping stone to you coming out as a straight man. No. Fucking got him. <laughs> Fucking got him. Chat, <laughs> fix the, the Wikipedia case. right now. What do you mean he has a tweet well, out okay, there? Okay, hold on. Well, I gotta, How many? <laughs> without... I, I keep likes? my life very personal, but look, but hold on, I keep my life wait, very can personal. I, can I just say something? Wait, hold on a second. How many likes does your tweet coming out have? Uh, I, I think like 46,000. Exactly, bitch. You're fucking straight now. You better be fucking pussy right now. Uh, hang up no, the call I, I don't, and, and go eat some pussy, dog. That's you know, right. Okay, guys, look. 56,000 56, likes saying you're not gay? 46,000 no, okay, likes saying you're gay. This is so funny. This is so funny to me because, like, obviously, without divulging too much about my personal life, Hassan has literally met Twinks in his house with me. Okay, like that. I'm like I'm currently. Seeing. Don't pull me into this. <laughs> Don't pull me into this. What? He's trying to hide it. He's trying I'm not to hide hiding. it. I literally, I've literally during our podcast, there's been like somebody waiting outside afterwards. <laughs> like, what yeah, a fuck? woman. No! <laughs> no! Oh, we got him. Fucking got oh, him. Oh god. Yeah, dude. You oh, oh my god, bro. He has a reverse beard. This is what happened with woke culture. Okay. Everybody's uh, like, oh wow, I'm white. Like I gotta have something. So oh I'm gay now. Austin is lying about being gay as a personality <laughs> thing. Oh my yeah. god. Oh god. Hassan, this is so toxic. He's gonna believe it. People are gonna believe it. <laughs> Persian XXL, listen, King, don't fall for this straight breeder's disgusting oh lies. God. Oh my God, Hassan, stop. <laughs> I, I swear. Oh my God, this is so bad. This is so bad. Yeah. He's no, actually, it's like, the thing is, is Hassan, he doesn't get it. He doesn't get it. Yeah, well, guess what, dude? Uh, I think he gets it, okay? I no. think he gets it. I think he gets it pretty oh hard, God. actually. Okay. Oh my God. Yeah, being gay uh, is not a choice, Austin. What the fuck are you doing? Running oh around, God. acting like okay, you're a gay I'm, man? I'm, I'm <laughs> this, is, this is the worst. This may be the worst thing you've ever done. Uh, Dude, you know what's <laughs> funny? Yeah, if you don't have gay, what do you have? You're so cooked. <laughs> uh, this, this, is so, this is so toxic. I, I expect to call you to have a good laugh, and then you fucking... Fucking... Uh, Double down. Yeah. On the, yeah, that's on you the, know why I'm doubling the, down? Because your ass thinks I could not out fuck you, okay? On a competition. If I took a pill that made me gay, I would be fucking clapping nah. butt cheeks nah. way harder. Nah, 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 you nah. have no nah, fucking nah. clue. You're like, nah, oh, nah, you nah. throw your back nah, out. Nah, nah. Yeah. I that's what you, you wish. You. That's what you I wish you. would happen. I would fuck I would out fuck you under the table. You wouldn't even you wouldn't have even woken up. No, I no, wake no. up before <laughs> you do. Okay? By this the time you got to Starbucks, I'd be on my fifth no, no. pussy. No, no, no. You you would you would uh you oh. would uh you you would you would you would you, you would, like I said, you exceed the weight limits the most weight. Wait, hold okay? on. Hold on. That's not true. Uh it and also no, there's listen, dude, Twinks uh, Twinks uh, can take on a lot, okay? They're they're load bearing. That's number one. Okay. Number two, okay. Number two. <laughs> yeah. Here's a. Okay. I, I have a second. I have a second key piece of evidence. Your honor, okay, Judge okay. Judy, the adjudicator of homosexuality, okay. Okay. What's let's that? go to let's go to Austin Show's Instagram. Oh no! You're gonna fucking pull up the picture of me and me and Malkova. Oh, you already know. <laughs> seems to God me, it. seems to me like uh, here is exhibit 17A. Uh, oh, wow. what's that about? Wow. Oh, doesn't seem gay to me 
at all, as a matter of fact. Oh, God. You know what? You know what? What I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to. You're gonna. You're trying to make me gayer. It's been. It's been a part you of You are hanging out with famous. Oh wait. Oh, Exhibit 17B. Oh, no. Not one, but two famous porn stars. I'm female right. Look, porn stars. Not it. only are you a breeder, a straight mm. man, mm. but you are constantly hanging out with female porn stars as well. Uh, you know what? I can't help it. There's just so much pussy that I love, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that, I, I, can't, okay. I can't lie. I yeah, can't lie. You I that, if you did that, everyone would understand you're gay. <laughs> that was the gay. Yeah, look, I love to eat it. I love to flick it. I love to do everything to it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I, I, love, to go to the, I love to go to the strip club and see titties. And, and uh, yeah, I love... Love, love it. Yeah, this. I'm gonna be honest with you. This outfit that we bought for you is your saving grace. You should just send this back to him. <laughs> Wait, you the just one, send Persian hey, Bear the, the XXL from the Yeah, just send this back to him. Be like, what the fuck are you talking about, dumbass? <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know, but like, the guy. I don't. I, I just can't. But I get it though. I get it. If you're from outside the community, and and you don't know what's crazy is why would somebody that's gay for pay tweet that with 50,000 likes and then just continue gay baiting? I don't know. You know what I mean? Is that like a big problem? Is that like a thing that, uh, the gay dudes hate or something? Is that, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. So like in the, in the gay, specifically the gay porn community, there's like a lot of resentment, rightfully so against, against men that like queer bait basically. And, oh. And, and, and being pretty heteronormative looking, and this guy probably, he, he, you know, I didn't fit the check all the boxes uh, or his personal boxes. He decided to go to my Twitter to do an investigation. Bussy Angel, Bussy Angel who is uh, our, our uh, bottom correspondent, says, yes, there's an overinflation of straight baiters, only fans models. Yes, and so... First of all, I'm not even a, so he so first of all, this guy's saying that like I'm gay for pay. And and then like first of all, like to be gay for pay, you gotta be fucking like what am I a gay for pay for name your price? Like what the fuck? Like I'm a gay for pay podcast host? Like I, I don't know what, what what that means. Uh and then a lot of, uh, you do you do sure make a lot of jokes about being gay, dude. I feel that's like that's true. like ninety percent of your jokes. If you were if that's you were true. outed as a straight man, which I know you are, right? Oh yeah. If you were outed as a straight man, that's like ninety five percent of your jokes are gone. What are you gonna? Now yeah. you're just a sassy straight well, guy. Hey, Nobody fucking not, cares about that. I got news for you. If I'm out as outed as a straight man, ninety five percent of your jokes are gone too. Wait, why? Because that's all. That's half your fucking. That that's your catalog is making fun of me for being a homosexual. Yeah, no, that's still fine. I can still call you gay while you're a no, straight guy. No, no, you can't. It's not as funny. It's not as <laughs> no, funny. No, no, I'm homophobic. If... That's why it's okay. <laughs> like, Don't worry. I can still do it. <laughs> Wait, no, 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 no. That's not the case. It doesn't work. It Wait, doesn't work as well. No. Bro, April 1st, 2020. I'm straight, folks. No, it's, it's April Fool's. Oh all right? my it's God, April dude! Fool. Oh, it's you've been April fooling fool. everybody, calling it's yourself gay this whole time, dude. <laughs> it's April Fool's, okay? You can't help it. You keep coming out as straight. <laughs> Look, you know what? I'm gonna start fucking. I'm gonna start a. a por- I'm gonna start a porn career. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna start a porn <laughs> career. And I'm just like, my entire life is going to be dedicated to proving that I'm gay. Okay, well, you know, that, that is, there's, a term, there's a term for that. Yeah, straight guys who are gay. No, what the fuck is, oh my God. Like, what the fuck is, <laughs> straight guy hangs out at the Abbey. Like, what the fuck? What do you mean? Will and I used to go to the Abbey before you even knew you were gay, son. What are you talking yeah, about? You're, uh, uh, maybe you are gay. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. And I'm, ta- I'm revoking your gay card. You can't say that no, word anymore. 
Fuck. Oh, shit. Well, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I just got, I guess I got owned. I guess I'm a straight guy who likes pussy. What the fuck is this? Them. This pussy is tight? <laughs> Wait, what Dude. the fuck? Dude. Dude. Is that a hotspot message? You, yo, dude, you're outing yourself oh, in Hotspur, you're outing yourself everywhere. Don't try to say a it's plane? a plane pussy. A, Don't even try to act like you're talking about planes. Pussy. You were drunk. You were drunk trying to write pussy, but you slurred it. No, it's plane pussy. No, oh yeah, I like to fuck planes. I'm not gay. No, I'm gay. No. <laughs> oh my God, dude, I, I, I can't. I, I don't know. But Loki, this guy's fucking dick is huge. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, hold on, hold on. Have I'm on my way to Florida. Weapon? Exhibit 19C, your honor. I'm on my way to Florida, so naturally I'm wearing my cross like a good straight Christian boy. Oh yeah, and I love women. <laughs> okay, 17,000 likes. Obviously there's a point. Oh dude, I, <laughs> I, I can't believe you I, I made me let okay, me Okay, there's a another one, there's another one. I'm straight. I've been secretly saying no homo all these years. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it's obviously. Okay, maybe I've been joking about it a little too much. <laughs> right? Another one. It says you just said boobies. That's the that's classic straight guy shit. You're like, oh, I'm so horny. Oh man, I yeah. I just type uh, boobies in the chat. Oh. Yeah. 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 Bro, I've been you, caught, man. I've been I think caught. you've I tweeted. You've tweeted about being straight more than I have. Oh fuck! Well, you know what? That you know, that means you know. Well, uh, sorry, ladies. Um, Hassan's gay, and uh, I'm straight. So there you go. I hope they send this guy all these screenshots. Oh, I dude, really yeah. do. I hope he like legitimately thinks. Uh, Bussy Angel says, "Tell Austin I'll take Persian wolf for him, but not to defend him." <laughs> Oh my God, Bussy Angel's got your number, son. You're so cooked. I am straight. Oh I like God. to slam puss. March 13th, 2022. What the fuck? Oh man, bro, can you say uh, the f word? Like, that's, is that allowed now? What the fuck? Wait, the f slur? Yeah, now I'm I'm like conflicted now. Like all the times where I've like laughed along, turns out it was like a a pure homophobic straight guy. <laughs> Oh my gosh, shut the fuck up. <laughs> You're having way too much fun. Today. I am. This is this is a new meta. It's so sick. No, this is not a new this is not a new meta. This is not a new meta. <laughs> Dude, you have tweeted so much about being straight. <laughs> oh, it's like alarming. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny that this guy thinks it's because you look the the funniest part is because you look so like like a straight guy. <laughs> you really do. Especially if he saw like older photos of you, he would be like, "Oh, this guy's lying." <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm gonna have to. I mean, like like you said, the only saving grace is the fucking photo with cutie. <laughs> yeah. If. We, yeah, you're welcome, by the way. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, thank you. Honestly. Thank you. Exhibit well, 18. Wait, what the fuck? Dude, you've tweeted about being straight so much. Scott, yeah, I'm it's straight. A, it's Let's not forget. It's, dude, it's I'm currently having dude. sex with at Emma Langevin. Okay. It, yeah, obvious. She's a lesbian. Or no, she's not a lesbian. She's, she's um... Asexual. Fuck. I, I don't know. I, she's, uh, <laughs> I don't know what her sexuality is. <laughs> Oh, Yo, God. dude, what the hell? What the hell, dude? You think okay, you fine, know? Fine, you caught me. You caught me. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I've been, I had sex with Emma Laundryman. Okay, you caught me. Right? <laughs> you, you literally, bro. You are just, you're just straight. You're just straight as a fucking doorknob, dude. You're straight as hell. I know. You I can't help it. I like can't this. believe I got away with it for that long. You know? Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a twit longer. <laughs> yeah. Austin has been gay baiting for this entire time. I'm really sorry. I wanted to apologize to the fans of the Fear End podcast community. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! So oh my God, Anti Piper's gone, gone black. Piper Why the gone. hell am I in Milf City? <laughs> what the fuck? You were in Milf City? That's crazy, dog. Anti Piper went black. He went. He went dark. This yeah, is he sad went day. dark. This is a sad day for him. Yeah, Anti Piker. Anti Piker went dark. 
Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, wow. the surprise sound wow. effect in full, in full uh, right you live here. You know? Yeah, you did that. Yeah, New the surprise sound effect, it wouldn't be so in effect if fucking Hassan wasn't Barbara Streisand herself. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it wouldn't be an issue if my best friend didn't fucking start to peddle the fucking conspiracy. <laughs> Damn, bro. Nice body, no homo. And I'm straight. Go women and boobs. <laughs> See? I mean, wow. there, there it is right there. All the evidence you need. Yeah, you know? this is this is pretty crazy. We need to compile those. Austin calls yeah. himself a straight baiter. I think I'm a straight baiter. He's just straight. Mm. He's just hiding it. Yeah, that's me. I can't help that God made me straight, dude. Oh, God. They'd be so cute. I wish Austin was gay. <laughs> dude, dude, okay, now there is so much. Okay, now now I'm beginning to feel like, yeah, no shit, this guy thought you were faking it. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, look, but see, the thing is, is the song within our community, nobody ever fucking batted an eye at that. <laughs> Yeah, you no know? shit, because it's funny as fuck. Also, who cares that this one random guy thinks you're faking it, Austin? The whole point is, <laughs> I hope you don't, like, turn around and actually get like, upset about this and start, like, posting gay as fuck shit. Like, no, just, I mean, I, I'm, I'm a, you are the, you're the reason why I slip into gay porn. That's what, that's what happened. I'm going to slip oh, into Oh, yeah, you just <laughs> slipped and fell into gay porn. You really, <laughs> yeah, you really didn't yeah. want to do it. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start like publicizing more of my private life so people, you know, can see, you know, who I'm dating, you know, what who I'm seeing at the time, you know, just so people know, you know. So Austin telling Prezo he was straight. What Wait, the what? fuck? You, you said I was gay way before you. Look at these. Okay, you went. I was straight for years. There's another yeah. one. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, anyway, whatever. Fuck it. You're right. Wait, You're right. This is another this is actually a banger. Growing up, I was totally Wait, Meow, you responded. <laughs> Growing up, I was totally straight, but then I saw a pride flag at a target and was immediately gay. This could happen to you guys. That was a banger tweet. That was during the whole fucking target. No, I know. That's a fire tweet. That's a good tweet. Yeah. Anyway. Um Yeah. So well, okay, well, you know what? Cat's out of the bag, you know? <laughs> Here I am, ladies. I'm so happy that I was put in the S tier. So happy I think I'm straight. Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, you know what? There's a lot of straight tweets. Okay, they, they got a lot of traction. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, anyway. <laughs> Oh, He's gonna God. if I if I were to DM him, he would keep sending me all these tweets, all these exhibits. Yeah, no, you're cooked. Like this guy, I don't so, think you can. I don't think you can win him over. You could, you could literally fuck this guy, and he still would be like, "Nah, you son of a bitch, <laughs> you fucking son of a bitch." <laughs> yeah, I th this is gonna end in gay sex for sure. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ. Yeah, like, uh, Austin back on Furan tomorrow. We need him back. Yep, that's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm back, and and this F, this will probably be discussed. This will definitely be discussed. Okay. Yeah, and I'm gonna and you can't come on, take a different spin on it. No, right? no, yeah. no, no, dude, we're we're spinning it. <laughs> the only person spinning here is you. You're trying to fucking do the spin zone over here, trying to act like you're. No, gay. Uh, yeah, all right. we'll, we'll discuss it on we'll discuss it on Furan, and I'm gonna wear the gayest fucking outfit I've ever worn. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna bring I'm actually packing it right now. I'm I'm packing my gay outfit. Good luck. All right. <laughs> I'm literally gonna be hold on, let's see, I'm packing it right now. I'm wearing <laughs> That's I know you're gonna open the podcast like that too. Talk about how if you may notice Austin is compensating for something today. Yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah you're gonna oh, rip yeah. into it. So Absolutely. I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna wear. You know, I'm gonna show up to the podcast in a jock strap. Okay. Yeah. That's well. what I'm. All right. Nothing's gonna save you now. 
<laughs> yeah. uh, well, thank you, Austin, for coming on. We I had uh, two wonderful guests here, uh, and uh, you know we. Hello, lovely guests, ladies, denims. <laughs> Typical nice straight team. guy just doesn't even care that there's there's women. Like he's just like, oh, it's me, 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 me. See if he was gay, yeah. he would have like respected mm -hmm. uh, you guys. It's true. <laughs> Yeah. True. Bye, guys. See ya. Bye, Austin. All right, bye, bye Austin. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. <clears throat> All right. Finally, this okay. great guy's gone. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just those ladies now. Thank God. <laughs> um. All right. Well, that was that was a fun experience overall. I shouldn't I shouldn't even like delete these. I'm gonna keep no. these tabs open because I'm gonna use it against Austin uh, <laughs> tomorrow. <laughs> So okay. We have to edit the Wikipedia, so it says he's straight. Oh, they do it all the time. Yeah, that's why I, think, I yeah. thought. And then cite with each citation. That's why I thought. It says seven citations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> That's why I literally thought that they would have, uh, you know, uh, they would have done it. That's why when I clicked guy. on it, like, back in the day, I think it used to say that he's straight too. Like so. Um, this is so funny. I love that he like got so mad about this. Um. Anyway, all right, everybody. Denim, thank you so much for coming on, Janelle Mary. Oh, just thanks for having me. Thanks for coming <laughs> on as well. Um, this is wonderful. We we experienced some Turkish cuisine. Yeah, thank you for um, we looked food at, and all that. We looked at alpha dogs, big dogs, which was fire. Uh, Austin came out of straight again. And uh, yeah, that'll be all for today, folks. Uh, after the podcast tomorrow, I may go live. I'm going to probably go live, but we'll see. And uh, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for you on this wonderful Saturday. It was a fun day. Hoscord on top. Don't forget, Hoscord rise up. Rise up, Hoscord. You guys did it. You guys did it. Take a bow. Bye, everybody. Sunny Los Angeles, California says her song. The starlight to the starlight to the top, it just begun. There he is again, a sort of streaming.
ACS React Lord frame gets broken, cover blown. A full blown best pandemic months are streaming at your home. Total radicalization coming out to find. System you were taught to trust in was broken the whole time. All these daily streams, whether big or whether small, have helped me and so many find a meaning through it. Street.